Same thing applied to the Senate president. Akwaibon has such a lot too. So the Senate president should, at least he has all the, what the, all the entitlement as Senate president. So while looking back at what uh, Akwaibon will still pay him. So they need to relinquish those payments. Mm. Because one wonders uh, how we actually got here. Good mm -hmm. thing you just reminded us how yeah. it started in Lagos, Lagos. even though some mm. governors, some past governors, uh, well, choose to uh, excuse themselves of such uh, benefits. Uh, benefits. Mm. Uh, it, 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 it stretches into housing of your choice in, in, Lagos, in FCT Abuja. and some other places. Mm. But again, speak to us. Can this also be linked to if the president... Uh, can truly do what you have just advised? Can it also be linked to what he just said about travel for uh, Minister, appointees, uh, uh, where he said, look, there's going to be an embargo for you to ask government to uh, finance your trips? Because uh, we are in dire straits, and uh, the Abia example seem to be uh, c catching on. Yeah, it's, you are very correct. This is the time to cut costs. How do you, you know, we, they always ask us, we should tighten our belts. We over tighten the belt. So, what are they giving in return? Yeah. Marilyn, it's what's a better way to cut costs than for former governor to relinquish those uh, entitlements? It's a very perfect way. So, it's in line with what he's trying to do. That's why he may not need to use an executive fiat, he can call a meeting and say, look, we committee of former governors hereby agree to. Instead, if the state governors are lily liver, many of them are not as uh, independent as OT, and they don't want to offend their former godfather. So if we are expecting another governor to follow OT steps, we'll be wasting our time. It's never going to happen. Never going mm. to happen? It's not going to happen. But the, the president can make it happen. Right. He's occupying a position of influence. You don't expect uh, Governor Sowolu to repeat the law that uh, his benefactor is. So, 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 right. here, Toby. so uh, as, as former governor, former senator, now president, uh, can, mm -hmm. and even the vice president, former senator, yeah. mm -hmm. can they lobby from the executive aspect and, you know, bring this before the National Assembly, some of the leadership, and see if this can actually become a national law, repealing it in its entirety? Well, what they can do, they can amend the Contributory Pension Act. They can amend, amend the Pension Act. Right. If they amend the Pension Act by inserting their provisions that will make it legal for governor to earn uh, salary if they are, I mean, there are two things. One, we can look at the case of a uh, governor like Ikbe Azu, who is not holding any post. All right. Good, good morning, good afternoon, good evening to you all, my people. It's good to be back here again. How are you guys doing today? Today is Saturday, 23rd March, 2024. Yes, uh, we have a lot to talk about today, but we might not stay here for long, depend on the people uh, how people engage the panel. Yes, it's Saturday, as you all know, is a day that I like to finish early, Saturday and Sunday. But like I said, depend on how the conversation goes. Uh, I, I can see that for the past couple of uh, uh, days now, I've proposed finishing by at least a max of three hours, but <laughs> I've not been able to achieve that. We always finish at six hours. But yeah, depend on how the conversation goes once again. Thank you very much, my people. I appreciate every one of you right there. Thank you for joining us again here as usual. Let's continue to talk about the things that are affecting you and I. I appreciate you all. Thank you very much, mommy. Good evening to you. Thanks for all you do and happy weekend to you. Thank you very much. I can say Mr. Johnson, Emmanuel, Nena, Bona. Good evening to every one of you right there. Sabrevo Kongai, thank you very much. Good evening to you. I can see Gab. Uh, thanks for joining us. Good evening to you. Good evening to every one of you, my wonderful people. Abo Aze, good evening to you, sir. Thanks for joining us. God bless you. Thanks for all you do. Faith with Fred, thank you very much for joining us today. God bless you. Good evening to you. Timmy DB. Uh, Theodora, I can see right there. Thank you, thank you, thank you, my people. Guys, press on the like button, help us to share. Uh, is there one go in the building? Good evening to you, sir. I appreciate every one of you, my people. Rosie Ayosh in the building as well. 
great mind in the building. Stella Macevedo, good evening to everyone of you. Now, God bless you. Don Lighter is right there with us as well. Amaka E joining us from uh, X. Thank you very much. God bless you all. Obano Sonny, thank you. He's also said, Wabo Felix, Osaga, Daddy, and many others right there. Messi Omarege, Wisdom Lucky, and many others. Now, God, now God bless you, my people. Ben Osahon is right there with us as well. CXL, and many, many more. Now, God, God bless you, my people. Do your card, press on the like button, help us to share. CCO, I can see right there. Michael Ganemaro just coming in. Good evening to you as well. Anthony Ola in the building. Now, God, God bless you, my people. Yes, I played a video. I played two videos, one from Femi Falana, Senior Advocate of Nigeria, talking about uh, the Constitution Amendment, and it was also talking about how uh, elections should be decided, you know, that no judiciary should have any right or reason to decide who wins election, like what happened in 2023 presidential election. So I thought I should bring that here. If they can pass that on, that would be nice, you know. But nevertheless, I play another one, uh, you know, raining praises on the governor of Abia State, Governor Alex Oti. You see, that last statement from the gentleman that we're talking there earlier on, saying that if we are waiting for other governors to emulate what uh, uh, Governor Alex Oti have done in Abia State in terms of scrapping the pensions for uh, the previous uh, governors in the state, he said we might wait probably forever. And his reason was, because most governors in Nigeria, they have godfathers. So it will be difficult for them to scrap their godfather's pension just like that. For example, are you going to tell Basaki to scrap the pension of Oshomole? It's not possible, you know? Or are you going to tell uh, um, uh, Fubara to scrap the pension of Wiki? It's not possible. So there are so many governors in Nigeria that can never do this. They are not interested if the people want to cry blood. It's none of their business. Because they never went to that office anyway because of you. Their godfather placed them there. So, and he went on by saying, the only person that can make this happen, make it mandatory for every governor or every state to scrap their predecessor's pensions it must be from the president. Wish Bola Ahmed Tinubu, because he's the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. But will Tinubu ever do that? That's another thing. Will Tinubu listen to you and I and say, okay, these are the people we are serving. This is their demands. Let me listen to them for once and pass this to the National Assembly as a bill that every single state should scrap all pensions for their predecessors. But unfortunately, I don't see Tinobu doing that. Yes, because he's one of them. Except he wants to prove me wrong. I see Tinobu pleasing these people rather than pleasing you and I. So I brought that here for you guys to know that people are already talking about the wonderful job that Governor Oti is doing. Remember, Governor Oti doesn't have a godfather. If you all have to think Governor Oti have a godfather, the only person that we would think or mention his name is going to be Peter Obi. And everybody will love to have Peter Obi as a godfather. We you and I know that Peter Obi will never want to be a godfather to anybody. Because if Peter Obi be a godfather to you, you will continue to do the right thing probably in the rest of your life. Yes, for now. Yes. I appreciate every one of you. Thank you very much. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to you all, my people. Thank you very much for all you guys are doing, your, your dedication to this platform, your encouragement on this platform. In fact, it's a collective effort, like I've said so many times here. It's not easy to do this alone. So all our voices are going far, and many of them are already putting some of our submissions here into practice. Thank you very much, my people. As you can see, we only put one topic right there on the screen. Like I normally say, don't ever allow only one topic that we put to uh, on our broadcast to deceive you 
thinking that is the only thing we are going to talk about. No. If we have to put everything that we need to talk about on our thumbnails, listen, <laughs> there will be no space that will occupy them. So the truth is, we have a lot to talk about here every day, but we might end up putting just one topic out there. But you can see the one there is Nigerian military have declared IPOP, Simon Ekba, and 96 orders wanted. So they have declared them terrorist organization. They have declared Simon Ekba as a terrorist. And they have declared him wanted. So we're going to be taking all that together. Remember, we talk about Simon Ekba all the time here. We talk about Dan Dekano. We talk about IPOP. We talk about Nigeria situation. We talk, we talk about everything here. Like I'm saying, at the moment, Samuel Ekba have been declared wanted. But declared wanted, are you telling me Nigerian army or Nigerian military, they don't, they don't know where Samuel Ekba they stay? Is they Finland now? Or is that, the, is that how this, uh, the procedure is supposed to be? I think I need to be educated later on by my panelists. You know, because if you know where somebody they why declare them wanted? You know, um, anyway, I don't I don't know much about these things, to be honest. You know, say for this platform, we all are learning, you know. But nevertheless, we're going to be taking all that. All my videos for today, I've played all. I'm going to take articles right now. While before taking my articles, I'm just going to post out a link. For those of you that want to join us, like I normally say, it's Saturday. If it's only one person that joined me today, one person will speak and I will end the show. If not two, that's what we'll do on. You know, so it's weekend. I understand how it is. But still, today um, is another wonderful day. Now, God, now God bless you. Now, my people, a link I've posted right there on various platforms. So click on it, depending on where you're watching us from. And our visibility is quite low today as well. Uh, it's low because it's weekend, like I stated before. Uh, in most cases, it happens like this. We have less than 400 people watching us across. Nigeria will have less than 300 there watching us for now. You know, maybe it, it might increase, but let's see how it goes. So let me take on these articles here, my people, so that we can do all this together. Help us to press on the like button and help us to share. Now, God, now God bless you, my people. I'd like us to take on this Samuel Ekba's own first, quickly. We could take this one first, then we can take other articles together. You know, um, I have very trusty articles to showcase to you guys today, though. You know, let's do this. Okay, as you can see right there on the screen. Uh, although a lot of mainstream media have reported this, but I choose the one I just wanted to bring here. Uh, this one is coming for Premier Times. Nigerian military declares IPOP Simon Ekpa 96 orders wanted the... 90, uh, 97 persons were declared wanted for terrorism, violent terror, uh, uh, extremism, and secessionists, threats and other crimes against the state. Hmm. The defense headquarter DHQ on Friday declared 97 persons wanted for terrorism, violent extremism, and secessionist threat and against the country. So, uh, among those declared wanted is factional leader of the proscribed indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, Simon Ekba, who is based in Finland but is believed to be behind the insecurity in the southeast region. According to the names and pictures posted by the military authorities for the three persons were declared wanted in the northwest zone plagued by banditry. So these are all their pictures, and some my picture did there. Hey, voila. You know, so at least, you know, um, not the only Samuel Ekba, so across Nigeria, which is, is a good thing. You know, some of them are Alaji, Chingi, and many of that. So their names, I, can, I don't want to pronounce anybody's names. I'll just leave it right there. You know, you know, when it comes to names, then it's not easy for me to pronounce. Some names are difficult to pronounce, though. You know, uh, okay, I'd like us to bring other ones to your screen quickly. Guys, help us to press on the like button as we take this one uh, together. You know, I have other one here on the screen. I never check on that like, but I go check them because I really want to be sure if you guys are doing this. Sometimes I don't monitor it anymore uh, because we have a lot to do here. But nevertheless, let me put this on screen 
This one is coming from <laughs> one caller. I don't see any who they call at that time. And then I lie, 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 liar Mohammed or lie Mohammed. I don't know. He said, How fake news almost crashed my 40 year marriage? Lie Mohammed. I'm not sure not be lying. They lie again. So, hey, you we'll see. <laughs> First of all, don't get professor for lie. Go your lie, 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 lie. So I want to believe you now. Okay, let's quickly take one or two paragraphs from here. The immediate past minister of information and national orientation, Lai Mohammed, has recounted how fake news on social media almost crashed his 40-year-old marriage. The ex-minister gave the account in Lagos at event to... Uh, commemorate the 90th birthday anniversary of Africa First Nobel Laureate for Literature, Professor Wale Shoyenka. The text of the Mohammed presentation at the event on the topic, the media in the age of disinformation, unquote, was made available to journalists on Saturday. You know, so it went on. Uh, I don't really want to take that, but I'll just leave it right there. So in case you want to know more, you can uh, I know many people will not have interest on him. <laughs> you know, so this is one of the things I talk about. How do you want to be remembered? Or what do you want people to remember you for? When you're doing anything, you know, do it right. You know, so that when you bring this kind of article like this, people will say, oh, please, can we hear more? But some people, they're not interested. They just want to do whatever they like and take it from there. But meanwhile, I would like to quickly put this one on screen. Nigerians have lamented and lambasted the Nigerian government for leaving their own problem and, you know, interfering in other people's problem. We stand with Russia. Nigerian government commiserate with Kremlin over terror attack in Moscow. Why the same terrorists are terrorizing our own country? So this particular one on X, Nigerians lambasted on Nigerian government seriously. You know, that, yeah, you know, you commiserating with other people is not a problem, but you'll not be able to sort out your own problem, the same problem, similar problem happening in your own country. Well, I'll let this go. Let me bring another one to your screen, my people, so that uh, we can take all of them quickly. So I have this one here. Uh, hold on, guys. You see the hypocrisy on some of our leaders. Sometimes they rub it on our faces because they are not interested how you feel. So it's coming for prior fight. Said you can't fight the person that gives you money, resources. Aqua Ibo governor vows to avoid any conflict with Tinubu. What does that mean? Listen, in case you are not getting that, you can't fight the person that gives you money or resources. So because of that, I cannot talk to Tinubu. So what did Tinubu give you? That is my own question. So this is what you get. So I don't want to read more on that. Uh, it's very, very sad. They are rubbing it on our faces now. You know, if you want to cry, cry. It's up to you. Uh, I will continue to worship my, my leader, my godfather, or whatever. That's what these guys are doing to us. But we are looking forward to that very day where our leaders will, will, will start to listen to us, or rather, we start to prioritize us. All right, this one, hmm. insecurity, normalcy will return to Southeast if now the canoe is freed. Igbo youth, which of the Igbo youth talk this thing? So uh, surprise me, which of the Igbo youth? Because they suppose bring them out. Daily Post, I carry this one. They say, may they leave now the canoe for a side there, make it not come out for prison at all. And I know, sir, I don't talk about this thing so many times here. A lot of people have countered me by saying, no, none of the Igbo people is uh, against the uh, Nam Dekanu coming now. They are not doing this because I've reported it here, bringing out different articles here, even videos and many others here, telling you that some of the Easterners are part of the reason why Nam Dekanu is facing what he's facing today. The same thing that I've reported on this platform, telling you that some of the Easterners were the problem why Peter B was having issue as well in the 2023 presidential election. But the, the unfortunate part of it is that when anything you bring that is related to Southeast, you must have our people from there, must have, they must have one way or the other to defend it. Either they say, no, it not happen. You will see a video 
where, uh, for example, a Southeasterner is, 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 is taking somebody's lives, uh, you know, because there was a video where they behead somebody and all that, blah, blah. all of them were speaking Igbo and all that. But the people were still arguing in our platform. No, they are not Igbo people. They are the Northerners that know how to speak Igbo. <laughs> then there's another video that we saw last week where these people might use PG talking so then these people gonna use um bats big wood or something like like, like that to beat to dislocate a human being by passing a report on uh, uh on one of the governors there I, I can't remember yes they were speaking Igbo to this guy telling him that yes you you, you cross the line by 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 you know by calling a press conference on our leader on our governor and all that blah 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 so because of that they break it two leg and all in fact all the bones where they body you know if you watch that video my people you can't watch that video many of you can testify that you saw that video on Nigeria was whatsapp group right you can't you can't that video was terrible they were just targeting targeting all the bones they break all of the, ah god some people are wicked but they were speaking the language but unfortunately, you will see people that will come out to defend these things. We have bad people in Igbo land. We have bad people in Edo land. We have bad people in Yoruba land. We have bad people in the in Ansa land. So let us always accept it if we find the legitimacy rather than we want to always defend everything. You see, Anna, they'll, they'll defend this one. They'll, maybe they'll just start because I never go check comment section where I see this one. Maybe they'll just start to defend that. No, they are fake Igbo you to. They are not. They are from the north. They are that. Everybody cannot align with what you want. I want everybody to know that. Yes, everybody cannot align with what you are advocating for. Even your own people sometimes will not align with it. It doesn't mean you are not doing the right thing or you are doing the wrong thing. They don't just support. It's just like Mother Nena now, always telling us here that she's totally against Biafra. But she's an Igbo woman. If not because she's joining this panel, so people would have said that, oh, she's a fake Igbo woman. She's from the north. She went to learn how to speak the language and all that. Come on. Let's just accept it that, yeah, there are some people that will kick against what you are fighting for and they will be from your own family. That is it. You know? So I would like us, let, let me take this uh, article quickly. I just wanted to clarify that uh, before we move on. Okay, let's take this. The Coalition of the Southeast Youth Leaders, C-O-S-E-W-Y-L, has said the only way to tackle the security crisis in the region is to release the leader of indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP Mazin Namdekano. While the, uh, in a statement issued and made available to Daily Post on Saturday by its President General Goodluck Ibem, said as long as the secessionist remains in the custody of the Department of State, DSS, the wanted killings in the region may not stop. According to him, the continuous incarceration of Kano has brought insecurity to the Southeast leading to hardship, starvation, and hunger in the country. Then they went on. Then the Igbo, the Igbo uh, uh, youth, where, where they talk about now, those who are going to say, if we not release them, see what it, you know, will happen. But nevertheless, I would like to remove this one so that we can move on to give you more updates right here. Guys, help us to press on the like button and help us to share. I can see more people coming in right there. Thank you very much. God bless every one of you for your time. Mr. Joseph OG, I can see you, sir. Thank you for joining us. Good evening to you. Madam Amen Bright, I can see you right there as well. Aremi Adu, right there in the beauty. Victor. Uh, smart in the building as well. Michael Okota, right there with us. Thank you, thank you, thank you, my wonderful people. Now, God, now, God bless you now. But meanwhile, let me bring this one to your screen quickly. I think I still have about two to go. Uh, I know somebody is already on the backstage. I will accept you shortly, but let me quickly do this. All right, this one. As you can see right there, Sarah Reporter that report this one. Death for death. Terrorists must be mercilessly destroyed. Russian ex-president Medvedev. Now he talked this one. You see him? Now, this is what we're supposed to be hearing from our own president. 
You know, this one are ex president. I they talk this one so, but for our country in Nigeria, he both exo, present, to past, to future. They know they talk when it comes to things like this for our country. All of them go the, they, all of them will be careful not to offend anybody. I, I deliberately brought this one here just for you to know how other countries are dealing with terrorists. I don't know whether I want to see the video what they do for 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 um Russia. You know that although that video was was terrible. Oh God, that video was terrible. I don't want to discuss it anyway. But meanwhile. I think I have the last one to present. Is it the last one? Okay, let me see. I'm not sure. <laughs> Just bear with me, my people. Uh, it might not be the last one, but let me bring this to the screen first. If not last one, don't worry, I will also stop there, but let's take this one quickly. Killing field, 6,931 people killed on that in in 10 months. While uh, Buhari government accepted that 60,000 people died there in eight years, although it was more than that. But in 10 months, 7,000 people don't die. I don't know whether I remember. I don't know who will remember this thing, Sha. When I declared Tinubu the winner, and I made a statement on this platform, I said, Mahmoud Yakubu, this declaration and his statement have killed so many Nigerians. A lot of people will die because of this and all that. I, 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 I don't know how to stay talking at that time, but I know I made a similar statement like that for some of you that were here with us because we were here 24 hours following up everything that was happening at that time. But see and now, these 6,931 people will die so. My people, may know your belief saying that the people will die against Tinubu. Most of the people will still support Tinubu, they say these numbers. When you have bad leaders, it affects everybody. You don't know who support them or who, who work against them. It affects everybody. So don't think, no, the only people who are not supporting the board and all the people who are supporting the board, it affects everybody. Everybody is inside there. It's very unfortunate. On that 10 months, about 7,000 people, according to this report, if it's right, from Vanguard, have lost their lives. In ten months under Bola Metinbu presidency or government, ah, and so we see our my people. But meanwhile, uh, let me see if I have another one for you. Okay, yeah, that's it. That's it. I think, um, yes, that's it. Thank God that is the last one. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to every one of you, my people. I posted out a link earlier on, and then only one person in the panel, you know, say Mr. Jonathan is very, very consistent uh, amongst others. So, Mr. Jonathan, it's good to have you here. Thank you very much, sir. But before I come to you, I would like to pick some calls because uh, about two people were calling in uh, while I was taking my presentation. You know, let me see if we can take more calls today. You know, since we don't have more people on the panel, so we take it from there. So, good morning, good afternoon, good evening to you, Mr. Chimeze. Thanks very much, sir, for calling in. Okay. Hey, yes, sir. Good afternoon, good evening. Thank you very much, sir. God bless you. Please yeah. talk to us. May God bless you, everyone. Yeah. Um. The issue of uh, um um Governor Ochi Alex Oti. Mm. So I I I want like a donation is coming. I want others to eliminate the good thing he's doing. This is people's mandate. He work he working on people's mandate, not the not the um the the the, the, the reading. So the the this one goes to a do aspirant coming election. Whoever that gets into power, I don't care whoever that gets into power. He needs to eliminate the good thing that Alex Ot is doing right now. Everybody's promoting the good thing he has done plus how many months? 10 months or 11 months, by the way. It's things of joy that when a, a person gets into a power, he do what people send him to do, the mandates, 
he do he do he, he doesn't say oh let me just do let me just do other people other um governors that the, the past governors that did that what they did he just go that good heart he has he just started the work with that good heart that he vowed that i will do this i will make this i will make here a uh, uh, dubai on on on, on uh, abia people and that one he's played out and i loved it look at it uh, 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 as, as the uh, president of mm. you know everybody's going right there now to share him up to praise him to give him praise exactly. but he's doing it all the governors have to emulate the good thing not corruption always okay Look at uh, uh, so called uh, Hope Uzadima. What Hope Uzadima brought to his to, 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 to Imo State? Is he not killing killing people and bombing the, the houses? He didn't see what uh, uh, OT is doing under under uh, 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 and Temos. It's, 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 it's things to emulate. All the home governors, even I know the people now, the people already in power, they will not do it. But the people are about to come in, let them emulate it, let them go and ask him, Miss Oga, how do you, how do you, how do you do this thing? The good, the good, the ones that like have good mind will do. But other than that, the ones that have evil mind, that have evil corruption on them, they won't do nothing. Okay, the patient has, okay, all the whole patient, that's what uh, uh, Peter B did in Anambra. That's what, in fact, he had done more than what Peter B did in Anambra already on this how many months? Not like Turumbu, like Nanchi Turumbu, they, they say, uh, oh, oh, Turumbu is working. Oh, under seven, under how many weeks? Turumbu already, he already done wonderful. But he didn't do nothing. The 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 the, the hunger and hardship are killing people back home there. So um I have to correct um Falano. Yes, what he said is he's right, but uh, he said about uh, APC has a 40 million uh, uh, followers or 40 million uh, membership. And uh, Turumbu now won election with uh, eight eight thousand. Please, he's supposed to put Rick. He's supposed to Rick. Rick. Yes, he Rick numbers to become president. That's that's the correction I want to give for now. He said he won eight thousand. He didn't he didn't he didn't won. He rig himself with that number. Please, okay. <laughs> Hear that. Then, I didn't see all the whole I didn't see all the whole video. But an uh, issue of uh, army uh, saying, um, declaring um, uh, Samaleka and uh, and uh, 96 others, you ask yourself where this thing coming from. You go ask yourself this question: where and where this thing is coming from? Then army that saying this um, is it is it them go to Okwama? And did what they did. Come on, man. The um husband, Florida terrorists or Florida waiting. They never, I mean, never open up to say anything. To say anything. But when it comes for anything that sat east, they must come up and do and say anything they want to say. But it left for them, you know, doing what they're doing. Say what they say, but uh, uh, not they will never say something about not not that the bandits and the and no the no 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 sir no they are part of it. They declare a lot of people wanted, and we have northerners on that okay. list. So not just the southeast, huh? southeasterners. Okay. But 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 I would like to also ask you, Mister Chimize, before I let you go, because uh -huh. you are just saying the army, uh -huh. the army is doing this and all that. Uh, do you think Samuel Ekpa is doing anything wrong or you think everything Samuel Ekpa is doing is right? Well, the way I see him, the way he's the way he do things, I don't know that thing, but when I look him, I listen to him sometimes, not always. 
He just wants Nande Kalo to release. That's what I see. That's what I only thing I see. But he's on an, only on that thing. I don't know. Okay. So that's how I'm gonna put that, that. That's how I'm gonna put that one. That area. Then in the issue of um, you say something about. Uh, let me tell you about that um, youth that say oh they, they know. It's somebody like uh, Ijere. You you you. We spoke about Ijere yesterday. Uh, uh, pastor, yes. uh, pastor. Pastor Obiko, uh, Prophet Obiko, uh, 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 put him, uh, call, uh, think put him to jail or something like that. So. This this that guy is the type of youth may be come up and do, be doing all this thing. See, Elvis, I you and I know that in this life you have enemy. Even in this platform, even I may be pretending coming to your uh, um your uh, your platform, but I don't like you. You know that? I agree. Yes. Yeah. See, yes, yeah. There is so many things in this life. Any human being on earth have enemy. So people that doesn't like you will come up. How many times have you said, oh, people, they want to close your uh, channel down? Maybe people that already come to your platform to speak, people, you and them have some issues, or uh, maybe disagree on the agreement and uh, no agree, agree, you know, that kind of thing. So maybe they apply, I'll say, let me go and deal with this guy. Let me go and close this channel. So this thing is all over the places. We have every we we as you said before, every human being on this earth have enemy. Be you Yoruba, be you Igbo, be you Urubu, be you Edo, everywhere. The only thing that when you are doing things, do the right thing. Do don't do that because there is a lot of karma. If you are doing things in this life, there is a lot of karma. Don't lie against human beings. Don't ally against this person because you feel you can do that. You feel you have a, a, a have you have you can you have this mouth to say or have anything or you can put it on social media. You can go to TV, uh, television to say what you want to say to bring that person down. No, okay. do the right thing because one thing there's a lot of there's a lot Thank of you. karma. And um, I'm going to tell you something. I saw. Yeah, just one minute, one minute, please. There is something. This that's a man. Is there a lady or a man? It's a a road wardness. I don't know. Is he a road? Uh, he control. She control traffic. That that woman died last two weeks in accident. They gave they gave him they gave her a word. I don't know who, whether you know who I'm talking about. He dance. He dances when he control a uh, uh, oh, cars okay. on, on Lagos Street. Okay, yes, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. I said, I sent a video to you, uh, pertaining that, but maybe I saw so many videos to you always, but I don't remember to tell, to tell you all the same. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, so, sir. Thank you so much for all you all do. Right. Thanks for your consistency as all well. Right. God bless you, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Um, thank you very much, my people. I appreciate every one of you right there. I think, um, somebody has called earlier on let me quickly see okay all right you can call back if you know that you want to call in now i don't want to return any calls right now but before that i'd like to quickly address something the statement from uh, our our mama you know our mother he um love god is my strength that she made yesterday over august cm you know i and i later noticed that on the comment session some of you were disrespecting her you know, uh, but although I didn't see that it was brought to my attention later on, I want to pass this here, please. Anybody here are entitled to their opinion. You don't have right to insult anybody here. You don't have right, please. You know, because we don't like, you know, uh, blocking anybody. But when you continue to break our rules, then you put us in, 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 in the edge to, to take a decision on you. You know, let people be free to express themselves on this platform without any kind of uh, uh, um, bully or insult or whatever. Please, you know, it's our opinion that August CM did not address the, the, the construction road properly and she, she don't like it. Yes, let her be expressive. You know, it's our opinion. So everybody entitled to their opinion. As long as she didn't call in to insult anybody, you don't have right to insult her. You cannot. Some of you are fond of doing this on the comment session. 
when somebody leaves, like maybe the way Mr. Shimi is just finished talking right now, you see somebody on the comment section will be saying that uh, make that mumu drop phone. I've blocked so many of so many of you like that because if once I see him, I will not even warn you. I'll block you because the rules of this platform is that you cannot insult anybody here. You can say I disagree. Even the war, the word that you lie. I don't like it. You can't tell my panelists, my fellow panel, a panelist will tell other panelists that you lie. No, I disagree with you in a professional manner, in a professional approach. I've said this so many times here. Let's respect ourselves. I'm not here to protect just one person. I protect every one of you. It's my duty and responsibility to protect everybody here. Both the people on the comment section, the people on the phone, the people on the panel. You know, you cannot just insult people because what they, their submission, you know, don't does not align with, with what you were hoping to hear, then you start insulting them. No, please. You know, so please let's respect the rules of the platform. I appreciate every one of you, my people. Call us, I'll come back to you guys again later on. But I'd like to start uh uh listening to my panelists. We only have two panelists now. In case you want to join, we posted our link twice, and I'm not posting any link anymore before we end the show. I'm going to go bless every one of you. I can see Martina, Madam Martina Obasu TV with us today. Thank you very much, Madam. I appreciate you. Thanks for your presence, and thanks for all you do. Kate Morrissey in the building. Thank you very much. CXL, thanks once again. Uyi Desmond, thank you, and God bless every one of you right there. Okay, I have a caller again here uh mr Emmanuel, thanks for calling in please talk to us good evening to you yeah good evening mr Evans. how are you i'm fine sir thank you well i wanted to find out what is the current situation in the labor party issue it will be still living or what we are just a court to ask someone as it someone comes in in our city that uh, will be plans to leave the labor party so i want to call to know if it is true Okay, we reported we re, we reported this situation yesterday. Ob have never said or mentioned anywhere, any platform, any on any uh, articles that is leaving Labour Party. I, all is based on uh, speculation, you know. So uh, for now, uh, it's just things that is flying. But Peter Ob have never addressed anything like that. If he's leaving or staying, there's no statement whatsoever from him. Because somebody said to do that, uh, the second they said the government of the PDP, people were saying it's a room, it's a room, all of a sudden it's in the PDP. So it says, the sense that I've played again now is it so I wanted to confirm if it's true or false. Oh, no, no, no. no. Like I said, I just answered you, sir. But I will be, I have not mentioned any, or everything at this particular moment is allegedly and based on speculation. That's all. That's what we're working with now. Until Peter will be, until Peter will be come out formally to address that. For now, let's leave it on speculation. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Would you be support for Peter to come out here for me? No, no, me, I cannot. I, for me, no, my state, I cannot really answer that at all. For me, I can't answer that. For me, I look up to you. Wherever you spread that, you are like, you are like, you are like, you are like my leader. You are like my leader. Wherever you tell, we do. Yes, I know. We go. So if they should ask now, if they should ask you, Mister Bis, on your own personal, for now, for now, for now, I, I, I don't want to make any comment on that. I understand that you rely so much on me. Thank you very much, sir, for that. I'm, I'm waiting for people like you and many others, our spectators, every one of us across Nigeria. You know. Yes, yes, we will do that. We'll do that soonest, but not today. Okay, I will I will do that soonest, but not today. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Everywhere where I try to make I go, this man they, they tackle me. <laughs> All right, good morning, good afternoon, good evening to you. Thank you very much for calling in. Please talk to us. Where are you calling from and your name? Oh, good evening, Nigeria Wash. Yes, sir. Your name, sir? Yeah, you hear it? Yes, sir. Yeah, my name is Jackson. I'm calling from UK, United Kingdom. Okay, Mr. Jackson, sir. Please talk to us, sir. Good evening to you. Yeah, I just called against, uh, uh, regards uh, what we was talking about yesterday, but uh, OB is going out uh, from, uh, he's, he's trying to go to other party. Yeah, SDP. SDP. So, I just want to say that what they was talking about, those things, all of them is just lie. Exactly. 
You understand? We are trying to dis disfigure Labour Party because of being there. Mm. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So if if uh, Abure is a thief or Abure is this, Abure is that, before a big call for Labour Party, nobody knows about Abure, nobody knows about Labour Party. Why is it now? And if you come to Labour Party the first year, you won the election, everybody knows. Exactly. Okay, why is it now that uh, Abure is this, Abure is that? They are fighting Abure to, to destroy Labour Party. They want Obi to run away from Labour Party. And when Obi leaves Labour Party, Obi have nowhere to go. If you go to PDP, they are the same. You go to LDP, they are the same. You go to any party, they are all the same. What Obi need to do? Obi need to try anything possible to fix Labour Party. Mm. Because all obedience is there. And everybody's waiting for 2027. That is what everybody's waiting for. And Obi is going to win the Labour Party. Okay. Obi is not going nowhere. Thank you, sir. That is my own opinion. Thank you very much, sir. Thank God bless you. you. All right. Yes, sir. Good Thank night. You, sir. Yes, sir. Good night, sir. Okay, callers, thank you very much. Let me come back to you guys later on. Uh, let me quickly go to the panel because the panel is all the full now. You know, say once it's all the full like this, uh, I need to quickly attend to them. Uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening to every one of you. If you are just joining us right now, please do your part. Press on the like button, help us to share, let our voices go far. I appreciate every one of you. Let me call on the first person on the panel today is Mr. Jonathan Kingsley. Uh, the first uh, uh, people on the panel right now you know, all of them will get higher minutes. Anybody that will join, join us forth, you will get your basic eight minutes. You know, um, maybe anybody that's going to join last, last, you might get five minutes. So that's what we're going to be doing on this platform because I think it's not fair for people who join from beginning to, to, to help me here. And uh, I'll give them uh, eight minutes and you will your come for last minutes. you still get eight minutes. So at least you know, three minutes or four minutes will be fine for late commerce. That's what I'm going to be doing, you know. Thank you. I've got to bless you, number of people. Understand with us uh, how we work here. Mr. Jonathan Kisley, I've got to bless you, sir. I'd like you to talk to us. Good evening to you. Hello, Mr. Evis. How are you doing today? Can you hear me? Yes, sir. I can hear you. Okay. I'm very Thank good. You. Yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, thanks to all the panelists. I mean, uh, welcome also. And then uh, to all those that are watch watching, uh, comment section as well greetings to everyone welcome um i'll just quickly talk on this uh, this last caller talking about i think the last two callers they are referencing to peter will be uh, leaving labor party or staying or the rest i i, I yeah. believe it was why we, we discussed it extensively on this platform i think two days ago yeah. or even yesterday yeah, the, well, yeah. the, the, for peter will be it is clear is the whole strategy is to frustrate Mr. Peter will be out of Labour Party. Is a is a is a system is a process, and they are tackling it face by face. This is phase one. Until when they accomplish phase one, they will move to phase two. So this is phase one of their plan of their of, of their strategy. Phase one is first frustrate him out of Labour Party. When he's out of Labour Party, they will move to step two. So getting him out of Labour Party is where will he go? So they are also stage managing. I call it stage managing, preparing a place for him where he can, he can you know, end up. It's all stage managed. They are planning it. So Nigerians, you, you have to preempt these people. You got to be two, three steps ahead of Nigerian politicians. Remember, they are Nigerians too, like yourself, like you and I. They are Nigerians. They are they, that crooked brain. They have it. That crooked, you know, that mentality to cheat, that mentality to to church change, to outsmart thinking so that they can outsmart. It's always there. Even though Nigerians are the most vulnerable in many cases. But that mentality to try to outsmart their fellow Nigerians is always there. So you got to think ahead of them to preempt them. So the whole idea is to get Mr. Peter will be out of Labour Party, step one. 
and they are not comfortable, Mr. Obi, going to just any party. They want to ensure that he goes to the party, end up in a party that they have stage managed, ready for him. Just It's like a trap set up for him, come in there, and then that's it. So, and I believe that Mr. Peter Gregory Obi is, is smart enough, intelligent enough, calculated enough to know all of this. And I don't think he will fall, he will fall into this trap. Even though, even if at the end of the day, he will, Mr. Peter Obi will end up leaving Labour Party. It's not going to be falling into their traps. It's not going to, I don't believe it will happen. So that's that's the old game that is going on here. You know, it's not just, don't just look at it from the, just on the surface. It's deeper than what we're, what we're seeing. All this speculation, allegation, here and there, infighting, you know, political jobbers looking for money here and there, crying like babies all over the place. It's all part of the game. So, um, you see, so I will just uh, come to today's uh, 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 topic. Uh, first of all, with Mr. Femi Falano, you know, saying that judiciary should not, uh, you know, have a place at all in Nigeria electoral system. Yes, that's normally, it shouldn't be so. It should not in a normal climb, in a normal society where the rule of law operates, where the rule of law stands. Shouldn't be so. The judiciary should be there as the last hope, as they say, of the common man. Should be there. We know how it operates in all parts in other parts of the world. We know the 20, uh, the, 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 the 20, uh, the 2000, the 2000 fight between George W. Bush and, uh, and Al Gore. It ended up in the U.S. Supreme Court. The Supreme Court had to come in, in the United States to declare George W. Bush as the president. But the judiciary there in the United States, they played their role effectively. They were not bribed. They were not selected. They played their role. They looked into the facts. And the and 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 the man at the receiving end, Al Gore, accepted it, and the country moved on. That is not the case in Nigeria. The judiciary has been, you know, skewed to the to to the advantage of of some people. All of them there. I say that with both face. All of them. They are there for a purpose. They are working for one person or one party or one group, one set, one group of people. That's what they are there for. So there is no rule of law in Nigeria. That is why I was the, the, the idea of getting them out of the process is there. But in the future, if the judiciary is back to what it should be, if the Nigerian judiciary, then when if if in the future the rule of law is not is you know begins to operate the way it should be then they, they can come back to their place. But for now, going forward in Nigeria, the way it is, they should take their hands and their legs off the Nigerian electoral system, the Niger especially when it comes to the election proper, the election proper itself. Because they set it up right from the primaries. They set all these things up right from the primaries. In Edo State now, all the all the lega the lega loopholes they have set it up already let them declare a winner all of them will run to court when they got to court they will not even mention about the election they will be talking about the primaries and then the judiciary and they will give the judiciary room to manipulate everything is being set up right from the primary stage it's not the election on the election day itself no they are they are already they set it up now. They know that's why you see the likes of Shuaibu, Philip Shuaibu in Edo State, saying that he's going to fight without him. They will not, they cannot, they cannot win. Their, their PDP cannot win Edo State. He knows what he's talking about. He's not just talking about uh the 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 the, the election itself on, sec on September 20th this year. No, he's talking about the court. They're going to drag it. Because they know that judiciary is not there. There's no there's no there's no rule of law in Nigeria. No, but you can't you can the, the baby in the womb know that Nigeria doesn't have the rule of law. It's it's clear, abundantly clear. So 
getting the judiciary out of our electoral system for now is 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 a step in the right in the right in the right direction and that's what it should be if if we want to move forward as a, as as a con, as a country with respect to Alex Oti in Abia state you know banning or you know outlawing the, the pension for governors both past present i think that's again again you know in a normal society in a normal climate there's nothing wrong with that there is absolutely nothing wrong with that when a governor you serve your state and then they you are you are entitled to pension but the pension they are getting is not pension it is looting it is stealing it is robbery why can't they get their own pension just as uh, the way a civil servant who, who, who a, a civil servant who had who had worked for, for for 20 30 35 years why can't they structure their own pension in like in, in in such in such manner but no a governor will serve for four years some of them four years and they will they structure the pension that they take the resources of the state is a, is a, is a step in the right direction because the amount of money that abia state will save alone by scrapping this stupid thing they call pension to, 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 to governors. Remember, it's not only the governor, the deputy governor gets his own too. The governor, what is scrapped is if you know what he did in Abia State, the amount of money he has saved by this law. See, it's not just only the governor, it's just that we are focusing on the governor. He scrapped the pension of the governor, the deputy governor, the speaker of the house, the, if you see the amount, the pension of these people, what they are getting, the speaker, can you imagine how many speaker a state since 1999? Some state that produce as much as five, six, seven, eight speakers, 10 speakers, and all these people are collecting pension. Add that to the governor. Some state already have about five, six governors since 1999. So if you have six governor, you have that means you have six or five deputy governor and some state already have even produced more than 10 15 speakers deputy speakers of the state house can you imagine the, the amount of money these people are taking away from that's why yesterday i was listening to the governor to the governor of uh, of your state on tv in an interview saying that the nine billion that they received that about eight billion of it is going to salaries. Why won't it go to salaries? Out of that eight billion, almost three billion is already going to the past governors of your state, the past governors, the past deputy governors, the past speakers and deputy speakers of the house. Almost two or three billion is going to them, and it's coming out to campaign. Nine billion is a lot of money. So coming out to tell Nigerians that eh, eight billion is already going to salaries. Cut the whole shit off. Cut all those pension, the stupid pension you are paying all the deputy, all the past governors, deputy governors, and all, and all the speakers and all of them. Cut it off, and you will see the billions of naira you will save, and that's how it goes across board. So what he has done, he has, he has saved the state nothing less than two billion every month. You know how much that would not at least I, I don't have the numbers, I don't have the figure, but if you just want to, you know, look at it, you know, at least you, just look at it on the surface. Abia state alone. It, the, that guy by that singular act have saved the state like two billion every month. These people have they give them cars, they change their official car. They give some of them is four cars every four years, every three years, or every four years, four new Jeep SUV. They have gardener, they have cook. Nothing changed. It's just as if they are still serving as governor. Uh, foreign trips. Look at the stupidity. Even foreign medical, med medical, medical care. Look, just look at that. They are entitled to it. And guess what? You know what they do? Even though they are sick or not sick, they collect that money. That their medical trip money. They collect it. That's why they go on some fake, fake trip to 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 London, fake trip to Saudi, to to whatever, just to to. To lay their hands on that medical allowance. They get it every year. Even though they are not sick, but they will still go on that fake medical this thing. They will say medical checkup or whatever, so that he can lay his hand on that 200 million that has been allocated every year for his medical trip. They will still get it. 
That is, that is part of the corruption we are talking about now. Yes, the governor will collect his own 200 million. The deputy governor will collect his own 120 million. The speaker will collect his own 80. The deputy speaker will collect his own 60 or 50 million for medical alone. No. Add that up. That is the problem that we have. So it's a, it's a, I, I really, I really give it to Mr. Alex Oti. You know, is a, is a brilliant move. And I hope that all the states will emulate. Of course, we know it's a it's a fantasy. It's not going to happen. Uh, is it is it Lagos State? Is this is this Son Wolu that will wake up tomorrow and take all this away from Mr. Tinumbu? It's not going. To, is it again? Uh, you mentioned it in your introduction, uh, Mr. Alex. Uh, is it is it is it is it Fubara that will, that will strip uh, uh, Wiki of his pension uh, entitlement? Is it uh, Ododo in a, in a, in Kogi eh, that will stripe his, uh, his, his his Godfather? That one is even more than Godfather. That one is is like a that one even even created office of the former governor, office of the former governor with all entitlement. If the former governor still maintain all his all his uh, all his PAs. He still maintain all his private secretaries. He maintain everything, his fleet of cars and everything. And then they, how much is Kogi State receiving from the Federation account every month? Kogi State is not receiving up to 10, 10 billion naira. I think they received 7 billion this past week or so. Yeah. So if, if, if past governor alone have eat half of that, what is left for the state for crying out loud? That is why you go to these states, you will enter some states, you will just see that it is it is it is just like you are in a, in, in 19, 19, 1980 Nigeria. This is 2024. The only development that we're seeing here and there, they use borrowed money to do them. They have to borrow. That's why each, gov each governor, when he's leaving, he will leave debt, serious amount of debt for the incoming governor to deal with. How can a govern how can a country grow or develop? Under this, under this, we might just look at it that is pension. That amount that that pension is eating from each state is humongous. It's a lot of money each and every month. So that's just that. So is 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 the right is the right is the right move. Is 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 the National Assembly? In, in finally, on this top, on this, on this, on this topic, is the National Assembly that can go ahead and amend the Pensions Act. It does not matter whether Mr. Tinumbu vetoes it or not. Forget about that. But let it be on record. Each and every member of the Senate and House of Rep, let us know their record on this. Let us know their position on this. Vote and put it there. Put it in the put put it put it on the shelf, waiting for Mr. Tinumbu to assent to it. Whether he do that or not, that's a different ball game. He would he will answer the people. Then the ball will now be in his court, entirely in his court. But for now, the National Assembly, do your job. Amend the Pension Act. Strip this stupidity away out of it completely. We are no governor, deputy governor, and all these they are surrogate will be getting anything once you finish, once you finish your term. Go away and live your life. That's what you campaign for. A public servant, you want to serve the people, then you finish serving the people, then go away and let the country, let the state be and stop ravaging the state after you might have finished your, 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 your term. Most states that are even poor, anyways, they don't even have any, they, they are not generating all this, all this IGR, uh, IGR we are talking about. Really look, people, it's all lie. They are not generating anything, they just put the numbers out there. We know this game. They're not generating any 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 dime, nothing. Everything they do is just run to Abuja once it's the 25th of every month. Stay in Abuja for two days, run back with the 8 billion, the 10 billion, the 20, whatever, and go back to the state and wait for the next month again, rush to Abuja. Just, you know, just the same cycle every month, month in month. And that's what they do. What, what IGR? What IGR is Sokoto State is, is, is earning? Somebody come and tell me what IGR is Adamawa State any. Please come and tell me that is in the billions. What IGR is Jigawa State any? Please come and tell me in Jigawa State. They will say IGR, IGR. Even in Edo State, the IGR of Baseki is, is parading all over the place. Uh, 15 billion naira in Nigeria. It's all a lie. 
where in Edo State. So everything, everybody is eating from the same pot, from that same one pot from the Federation account, that money. That's where that's where everybody is dipping their hands into killing the country. So it's in the hands of the National Assembly to deal with it, deal with this matter, and let Nigerians know that it is now in the hands, it is now in, on the table of Mr. Tinumbu. Then we'll see. So that before I start talking, that we should, we should, we should, we should, we should, uh, Nigerians should, should buy Nigerians. Let's see whether I will lead by example. Let's see whether I will also sacrifice because he always say that Nigerians should sacrifice. That is a, is a matter of time. You to sacrifice by relinquishing those humongous pension that you are eating out of Lagos State. Let it go. That's, that's what is called sacrifice. Come out today, Mr. Tinubu, and say you relinquish that pension. You and your court, all the deputy governors, you relinquish it forever. Then we will know that you are talking. Then we will know that you have made your own sacrifice. Then Nigerians will follow. Not all this cheap talk all over the place that you guys are parading. And then uh, let me quickly, finally, uh, Mr. Elvis, let me deal with this Nigerian thing, talking about uh, Russia, uh, Nigerian commiserating with Russia on the terrorist attack. You see, Nigeria, is a, is a, you know that Nigeria is a, is a lie. The country is a lie. Is a, The country itself is a lie. And it's a country of lies. All they pull out every day is lies. See, when we talk of psychophancy, we talk of individuals, that there are individual psychophants. Nigeria itself, as an institution, Nigeria as a state, is a psychophant. Not individuals now. Indiv Nigeria as an institution, as a country, as a sovereign nation, is a super psychophant. What are you doing? Playing to the gallery. How many countries commensurate with Nigeria just recently now? The 17 soldiers. We're talking of soldiers who are quiet. How many countries? I didn't see anything. If anybody see anything, please, you can bring it out. How many countries officially now commensurate? Because this is an official statement from the Federal Ministry of Foreign Affairs. How many countries commensurate with Nigerians? How many countries commensurate with 287, 287 students that were kidnapped? How many countries commensurate with more over 200 people by in Plato State? And the report just coming out. That almost over almost six thousand over six thousand Nigerians on in 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 this in ten months under this government. I've why I've never seen any country commensurate. I only see countries. I see statement, unofficial statement coming out from 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 politicians all across the world. I I, I have so many of them. All they say is that that country. Is a, there's no rule of law, it's lawless. There are videos everywhere, all over the place, officials of the EU saying that, on national TV, all across, they are saying it on their own individual capacity. It is a serious thing because these are the people that will still sit down and make decisions anyway, even though they are saying it in an unofficial capacity. So they know. So when we say the world is watching, the world knows. They know what is going on in Nigeria. We can deceive ourselves. You think the world now doesn't know what is going on in Okoma, in Delta states? You think they don't know? They know more than we in Nigeria. They know. They know the cover-up that is going on right now in Okoma, in, in Delta states. The world knows what is going on. And then coming out to declare, to declare uh, EPA as a, as, a, as, as, a, as a terrorist. For me, See anything that comes from Nigerian government, I don't, I don't take it seriously. I just see it as a game uh, to, you know, to satisfy some groups in the northern, from the northern Nigeria, because two, three days ago, when you see Nigerian government do anything that has the appearance of being good, that ah, today Nigerian government implement this, Nigerian government announce this, and it is good. You got to you got to look deeper because you might just it might just be another another game another prank that they are playing 
coming out to say Simon Ekpa declare a terrorist, 96 other declare a terrorist. Okay, fine. We, but we know two days ago that Mieti Allah, the Mieti Allah leader, the president of Mieti Allah, was declared a terrorist. So they got to match it. The northern people will have to request that. So you can't declare our people. What about this? What about that? That is what is going on, Nigeria. Nigerians. So they got to see how fast and how swift they are. This Samuel Epatin has been on for, is, is, for, 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 for years. But it is today that they find it you know, necessary to, 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 to declare him a terrorist. To do the needful. Round up in one minute. Yes, I just, I'm just rounding up, Mr. Elvis, to do the needful. Now, the canoe is there. You are not doing that. The Nigerian government is just a, you know, when I see them, when they talk, for me as a person, as a Nigerian, and I know there are millions of Nigerians like me who just don't take them seriously for who, for, for, for who they are. So, uh, Mr. Elvis, I will um, I will leave it at that for now uh, and allow all, other, all the other panelists to, to come in. Thank you very much. Really appreciate it. Thanks to everyone. Thank you. Thank you, Oga, uh, Jonathan. May God bless you. Thanks for your submission. Okay, uh, let me move on. I saw somebody who commented from Facebook uh, earlier on. I put it on the screen saying that, please, let me put it on the screen again. Please mind what you write here. Samuel Ekpa is not a member of IPOB. Uh, Prince Chris Williams. To be honest, now the first time I the year I'll be this who uh, so I'm saying an IPOB leader, so I'm saying a prime minister for um Finland. So nana, nah, you they say not be member of so now nah, they confuse us, to be honest. Now nah, 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 all of them nah, they confuse us, you know. So um let's move on. I'd like to call on Mr. Ike. Mr. Ike, thanks for joining us today, sir. Happy Saturday. Oh, this yeah. you good to meet you. Of course. Good evening, my brother. I just hope you can hear me. Um, yeah, thank you. Thank you, sir. Mr. Jonathan, thank you for, I mean, uh, opening the, the panel for us. Um, there is something I read today that Mr. Jonathan touched a little. 6,931 people killed under Tinubu's 10 months government. 6,931. Haha, <laughs> bros. No, 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 no. There's no more. But do you know that this country has not reported that two students died in Nasarawa and about 23 of them are in the hospital because they are going to go take palliative. Two university students and 23 in the hospital because the governor declared that they were going to give students palliative. Ha, man. I, I don't know, I don't know what else to say. Oh. I don't know what else to say. That we have gotten so used to losing lives in that country that it's almost like somebody went into a beer parlor and they say breaking news. 20 people or 30 people killed or quiet, you know. And they say, now, nah, wow, this Nigeria, Madam, I bet you get Heineken. That's what it has gotten to. That's what it has gotten to, that our people are so, so used to these killings, to these, these, these incidences. Oh, no. They are, they are very, they are very insensitive. You are hey. right. And they are discussing hey. it now in the, in the so panel. They have gotten so used to this thing that it doesn't make anything. Like, they will just talk about it passively and yes. ask for beer and ask for drink, go drink, to, to, and their life goes on. Until maybe he hits somebody that they know or their brother, they will not say, oh, we need to break up this country. We need to break exactly. up this country, you know, and they, and they, will, they will now start talking. Ha, ha, ha. I shedded tears that somebody went to school in the university and because of 5 kg rise, the person loses his life or her life, her life. Hmm. My brother. Okay. Yesterday, I couldn't come in when you were discussing the president that said we should patronize Nigeria made products. You know, it, it has become a style in this government that they will just drop news. People will discuss, discuss, discuss. The next day, they will drop another one. People will forget the previous one. Okay. 
everybody have forgotten that like the Nigerian government lied to us that they have paid the foreign airlines. So every, everybody have forgotten that one. Oh. Everybody have moved on. Everybody have moved on from the budget padding that the president say we don't have arith arith arithmetic sense. Everybody have moved on. Now the one we will discuss now are this Samuel Epa and 96 people that have been declared wanted. We'll discuss that into tomorrow and that one will end too. Another news will come out. The presidential spokesperson came out, came out to talk, representing the president, and lied to the whole nation. And nobody is held accountable. The next day, life goes on. I was watching the president and senators breaking fast. It did not even look like a country that has almost 1,000 people in captivity. Whether it is fake or whether it is real, the fact is, those children are not in their homes. And they were, they were joking. Um, the senior president was talking gleefully, oh, if I didn't meet the prayers, I, I don't have to miss the dinner. president is now using Iftar. He's now using breaking of fasts to entertain his, his uh, uh, cohorts. That's what he's doing now. He will gather them. He said he, he will gather governors. He will gather us of representatives. He will gather, gather senators. And then they will break fast. And then they will, they will talk and laugh. And life goes on. Huh. Uh, like this. If they want to continue like this, then we will we, we just back out in everything that happens. Please, people that are in the bush, people that run for their dear life, old people, young people are still inside the bush without food. And, and we say we are running a country. And the president is comfortable calling. And we don't know the people, the next people he will call. Maybe uh, leaders of um, markets, market men and women who might be the next that will break fast with him. And not, nothing, nothing will happen. Another thing I want to talk about is this Labour Party. It's looking like the, 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 the Labour Party chairman is getting so desperate and is looking for anybody that want to join him to destroy the party. Now, I heard he has moved the convention to Newe, knowing fully well that Soludo is a willing tool to help destroy the Labour Party. Of course, he was against, he was against P2B. And of course, he is also scared that a strong Labour Party candidate might challenge him in the next election. He is now willing to allow Abure to come and do the illegal convention in Newe in Anambra State. Everybody has stopped. All the leaders that we have, the elected and, and, and obedient, everybody has thought about suspending this convention, but Abure is hell-bent on doing it. Who knows whether APC have told him that if he doesn't do it, that they will dust his file and start his corruption case. Maybe. Who knows? Because, of course, they told us that when you come into APC or you become an MP APC sympathizer, your sins will be forgiven. Maybe, maybe they have, maybe they have thrown that on him. And then he is wants to, he wants to insist on doing convention on all days, Good Friday, on Friday, Good Friday. That's the day he wants to do the convention. We are watching. We are watching. But meanwhile, sincerely, I, I blocked my mind in talking about other things when I saw that number of people that have been quiet in 10 months only. It's enough for, 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 for everybody to go into mourning. So it kind of be clouded my, my, my sense of reasoning on every other topic when I saw that number. And when I saw what happened in the university in Nasarawa State. And do you know what the governor said? The governor said, oh, we set up an inquiry, but the, the sharing of the palliative will continue. No respect for human life. So the palliative that made people 
high like that, a, a bright, bright students go in such fashion, the governor said they will continue with the sharing of the palliative. This, this country has become a country of palliative. When they make you so hungry, they will give you food. And then you run and go and grab the food and call them good names to say, wow, this government is doing well. They will make you, they will drive you to make you so hungry. It's almost like a fowl that somebody removes all his feathers and the fowl is bleeding. Only for the person that did that to now throw some corn to that fowl and that fowl will still stand up and go to go, go to take the, 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 the corn that you threw. That's exactly what is going on here. That's what is going on. Mr. Elvis, I'll come back again in the second round. I am, I am, I am not happy. I'm not Thank happy. You. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Ike. God bless you, sir. Thank you. Uh, uh, the point that you raised, trust me, is shocking. It's really shocking because Nigerians have used to now uh, the killings and everything that's happening to us, the corruption, every every satanic thing that's happening in the country. It's like Nigerians have moved on. We, we get used to it so easily. Although I mention it on this platform all the time, that whatever we talk about on this platform, you know, we need 24 hours or a maximum for or a maximum of 48 hours. Everybody will just move on. Then everybody are already waiting for another breaking news to come in. Then we talk about it. 24 hours later, everybody already moved on. Nobody, nobody questioned these things. You now go to every part of the social media platform and see if any Nigerians are questioning the things that happened in the past. They are not Mr. interested. Mr. Harris, yes. my, my, my advice on that, you know, to, to platform, even to Nigerian world, is my, that's just my own take, is that, see, on specific issues that are so serious, you know, pertaining to the development of Nigeria, like economic issues, those are issues that the platform will have to stay on for days. Even if they bring a big, you know, Nigeria, they will just throw it, throw another one out. They are, they are doing it deliberately, deliberately. The Ungelele press release yesterday about this national cake distribution that they are doing is all part of the distraction. It's just all part of it. But to, when they see that you stay on course, you stay on course. You are not getting out of it. That's how to preempt them. That's how to deal with Nigerian leaders. Don't give them a break because they are not giving Nigerians a break. They are not. So you don't give them a break at all. You know, platforms must stay on course. You must stay on course because that's why sometimes you and I will go to CNN. Sometimes you just switch it up. Go, I heard this before. Because they will not leave. BBC will not leave that story. They will armor it. They will, um, the next day, that's what they, that's the agenda. They are setting the agenda for the government to follow, not the government to set. When the government is setting the agenda, they are in charge. He that sets the agenda is in charge. So it is it is the media the platforms like this. You will set the agenda for them. They will have to follow it, whether they like it or not. I think that's that's one right. way to deal with these Nigerian politicians. Thank you very much, Mr. Jonathan. God bless you. It's, it's, it's crazy, man. Madam Amen Bright, it's good to have you on the show, man. It's been a while. Good evening to you. I'd like you to talk to us if you're available. Good evening, Mr. Evis. Good evening to everybody, all of our Nigeria Watch family, both Thank the you. panelists, the commentators, the viewers, the listeners. Mommy D, I throw a salute to I greet. Uh, Mr. Evis, I have been listening to you for the past time. I purposely refused not to come into the panelists because I want to get myself back with the whole issue about Nigeria. If you think about Nigeria, ho, 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 if you don't have thick skin, you can't face it. And I'm here to come and learn because I've not been following them in Nigeria politics at all because I don't like the situation. The way they be dealing with politics, I don't like it. This is what I've been saying from time immemorial. I'm just here to come and learn. And uh, if you will permit me, Mr. Evis, first of all, let me talk about uh, I also agree with my fellow panelist people that talk about uh, Peter Obi not to leave the Labour Party. I support them fully. Because for myself, if you have to come back to APC, this Tinubu group, this uh, criminal people, why are they asking Obi to come and join uh, Tinubu? For what? They want to lure him into their corrupt system, which we do not work for them. Really, as my fellow panelist said, just uh, one of our brothers mentioned it. They are trying to destroy the Labour Party. 
I would not like the Rebo also to leave that place. I don't know this SDP, this party that is, is trying to go into this party. I don't know that SDP. I don't even know. So it is not easy for him to build up Labour Party till now. Then he will leave. My own submission is that uh, I would like Abore to, if they can, sack him not to be part of them when they said they want to impeach him. It will be better. So that we now correct the rest people the rest people that are that entered through the OB as governor as anything, we have to start building them because they don't be doing nothing there. And they have corrupt them. And then I want to push down OB to them now, APC, and corrupt him. So I will not advise, uh, I will not support that for Peter OB to join Tinubu to do anything. He, he's already given his own, trying to support them one way or the other, opening some of his, for some of his plans, some of his, uh, what he intend to do for Nigeria. He's been open most of them to them. Why do they need him privately, personally to come and join them? What do they want him for? He's, he's doing his best. So I will not support that he should leave that place. That is one of my advice in that one. Um, about you, my brother, Evie. I can call you my brother. I can call you my son. Anyone you will accept. I call every brother here. Every one of us here, my brother, my sisters. If we really agree to join together, we should please be giving respect to one another. There is too much you thought. Personally to my brother, Elvis, you said it is good if people correct you. Don't forget, please you permit me, my people, my Nigerian people to speak my language. My brother Elvis, your best friend can be your worst enemy. And your worst enemy can be your best friend, you don't know. And don't try to value some more than the other. Handle everybody equally. So if we start pushing people away, this one is not going, this one is not going to in, inside this panel. Who would like to come to come and be receiving insult there? Why we say we want to unite to, to build a better Nigeria? If we can, I pray that we can. Why must we now start instructing ourselves? We are ourselves. We said the, the, the government is corrupt. We are all corrupt from up to down. No institution in Nigeria that is not corrupt. Go to airport, corruption is there. Go to immigration office, corruption is there. Go to Red Bull, corruption is there. Go to the, 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 the everywhere is corrupt. So we really have to come together and be one. And if we want to be one, we should not be fighting one another. Mr. Evans, I did not listen to your what you, your submission today, what you showed today. I was not there. I came in later. You finished giving your submission. So I can't follow it up. This is my little advice to you, my brother, Elvis. With much love, okay. I'm doing this. Don't take it personally. Be yourself and hold your panelist people. Small or big, never value one more than the other. That is my advice. I don't. I did not listen to your submission. I don't have much to say. Okay. Peter Obi should remain you. in Labour Party. Thank you. Thank you very much, <laughs> Madam. I'm right. Uh, I appreciate you and uh, your submission. But unfortunately, um, your advice. I'm not sure where it's coming from because I know on this platform we don't value anybody more than anybody. But if you notice anything like that, I will appreciate if you just go straight to the point because uh, everybody is bound to make mistake. why people will take it as a, as, as a deliberate thing. But me personally, as a person, I don't value anybody more than anybody on my platform. So if you notice that have happened, maybe there might be an uh, explanation to read if, if you open up. But if you don't open up, we might not have explanation to it at all. You know, because we don't do that here. I've never done that here. Nobody, and I'm I'm an advocate uh, of one uh, Nigeria on this platform. I'm an advocate of uh, equality on this platform. You know, all the time I talk about that. Even today on my submission, I've already addressed it as well. That everybody here, nobody is better than anybody on this platform. You know, and and mentioned this series of times as well that this is how I was brought up that I shouldn't accept that anybody is better than me and I shouldn't tell anybody that I'm better than them. So that is why I'm saying that if you were straight to your point, maybe that particular, because you know, sometimes we <clears throat> we hold one particular thing and generalize it. But if you don't explain it, you will not get the answer why that happened. Yes, that's, that's one thing. But if you just put it on and generalize it, then people might think that, oh, maybe that's what they're doing in the platform. No. You know, as a platform, this is not even the advice that's supposed to come on air because 
is 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 a is a big accusation for the for the name the name Niger Wash, because Niger Wash does not stand for anything like that. And I believe many people can testify to it. People listening to us right now know that we don't value. Everybody knows we don't value anybody more than anybody on this platform. You know, so please, uh, Madam, in case next time, if you cannot say it on air privately, also let me know the particular point, the point you are talking about, so that that can be explained properly. I might not even be aware of the point you are talking about, even though you generalized it. But nevertheless, it's good you brought it up. Thank you very much, ma'am. I'd like to move on to the next person. Uh, Madam Luke, thank you very much for joining us. Uh, as usual, good evening to you, man. Please talk to us. Hello, good evening, Mommy Diaspora, uh, fellow panelists, commentators, uh, viewers, and callers at large. It's another good day. Um, wonderful to be here. Thank you for welcoming me, Mr. Elvis. You have uh, uh, nice topics again today, as usual, but the one I want to really focus on is the fact that um, you keep saying that uh, Nigerians have become insensitive uh, to whatever is going on in Nigeria. And um, I don't think we understand the phase where we are right now. I don't know if you Oh, uh, Madam Luke, we lost you, unfortunately. Uh, Okay, try to find your way back again, you know, but before you come back, you know, I don't know how long that's going to take because I wanted to assign another panelist now. Uh, I don't know what happened. Okay, let me go to Mr. Destiny. Mr. Destiny, it's good to have you on the show. Good evening to you, sir. Please, I'd like you to talk to us. Good evening, sir. Thank you very much, sir. I greet everybody on the panel and I... I just came in. And normally, I did not really know the topic that much, but but the topic is on the screen. You know, Nigerian government, uh, um, Nigerian military declares IPOP, Samo Ekba, and ninety six orders wanted. You know, um, if you are familiar with uh, what you have going on uh, in the south, I I know about it because I'm from there normally. But okay. all these ones, um, to me, I look at it as just distraction. There is. Because God, they always so you try call, to give us call, something to talk you about. Call, you call you call this distraction things that have led to so many lives, losing lives, and all that distraction. No, you know why I said it? Because the federal and the Nigerian government is like they just need something to tell us so that we'll be busy about that thing. It's not something that they really want to do. Because okay. I'm more about the whole problem that we have. Is it this one that is the problem? We have bigger problems that you are supposed to face. You are declaring that Monepa that is in Finland. For what, you, you know where Simonepa lives, is in Finland. Why are you declaring it? Why don't you go to the Finland government, talk to them if they can release them for you? Then you bring it to air. That's why I said they just need something for us to, to distract us. If not, I'd not see the reason why. If it's somebody that is hiding, that will, nobody knows where he lives, you say, I said, okay, uh -huh. that is why they are doing it. Everybody knows where this guy lives. They know the country. Nigeria government, everybody knows. So why are you bringing it, if not distraction? For us, they, because they just want to give us something to always talk about. That's what I see. So that's why I said that's distraction. Because, like, what happened in Delta now? That won't happen. They start killing people in Delta. But if it happened on that state, they will not be like that. The problem will not be like that. So that's why, even if you look at, although me, I, I don't believe in all those uh, that would do our or be appropriate because if really we are we are honest to ourselves, all those who do and Biafra is not supposed to come out because we have seen it all from what do we have seen it all from Biafra. If they really want to do, why we why don't us fight? All those our senator, our governor first before we start from the top. Because if all those our senator come out after we talk to them, do whatever we want to do with them, they are, they will be the one to go there and say, ah, these people are disturbing us. So you said that you do this right, or you let us break it. So just going off fighting those ones. Yeah, look at that. 
people that not the it's not what we are supposed to fight, that's what we are fighting. It does like sometimes that's why because in 2019, 18, I was every day I always come to this platform. But after the election for a duty because I found familiar with a duty too somehow, but I'm from Abia State, but I was not grew up there. But after mostly this uh, year, many I see many people praising uh, this is my governor, OT, but they are blaming Obaseki, that is from Edo State. And the lights that make everybody praising Oba, uh, OT was started about 20 years ago. And the Obaseki that people, sorry, I just digress. But the Obaseki that they are blaming started the uh, was completing some projects that uh, is here Lee, and the rest started years back completing it, renovating them. But we say he's not doing anything. But OT that completed something that started 20 years from my state, because I've never seen any of that thing that Ima has done that much. But people who come here, that's that sometimes he, I look all these policies of it. Yeah, it's, it's not easy. It's not nice for some, some kind of people because I kind of look, is it that some of us have interest that then that they were supporting on basketball? Because I'm not from this I cannot support that fool, even if I'm supporting them. Because if we want to look at gov uh, government, the way they, they run government from where we live, each and every one of us, none of the governor or the president in Nigeria are doing anything. But if we are looking at it as in Nigeria, even the Obasaki that we are seeing is doing his best. But if we look at where we live, none of them is doing anything. They are just sitting down there doing nothing. The, go the governor Oti, we are from, is not, he's all, in Nigeria, if I'm not mistaken, is only the uh, agency that is paying 40,000 at minimum. Then why will you condemn Obasaki? You are facing Oti. Sometimes I look at it and say, is it that? Because I, I listen every time, but I don't come online because I always busy. Because I look at it and say, is it that maybe people support the man then for their own interest? That's why it's like that. So if you are condemning, condemn all of them. So that we know that, yes, all of us are fighting for a good cause. Yeah. Like, yeah, some people will come and say, uh, this is uh, whether they are back to my ego. Say some people are still angry for, for some PDP people are still angry because they left power. That's why anything some, some people do, they don't always really support. They will criticize any other person because they just write against PDP then. Not that they know that that person is bad. Though. So that is what many of us are doing. We cannot grow this country like that. You know that this person is saying the truth and is doing the right thing. Because maybe he did not support your person or he did not support your party, whatever he said, even if it's the truth, he does not do right. You don't care. How are we going to go forward? We just want the one that person that we are supporting is the right person, is the best person. We are not going to move on like that. Condemn the one that you know is really wrong, the one that you can praise, praise. All of us cannot go to one direction, no matter how. But when it comes to building the country, let's say the truth and let's move on. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. I guess you are done, thank right? You. Thank you, yeah. sir. Oh, thank you very much, Mr. Destiny. Yes, I will agree with you. Um, for me, I'm not part of that person, you know, because I normally say it on this platform. It doesn't uh, uh, mean that your whoever you supported did not win election, then you want the whole country to destroy. I'm not part of that, you know, <laughs> because uh, the question is, at the first place, what were you fighting for? Were you fighting for your candidate alone or you were fighting for the person that will give us a better Nigeria? So if Nigeria start working under anybody, you should be happy because the main reason why everybody is fighting, you know, the main reason that suppose... Let me put that there. Why everybody is fighting, you know, it's supposed to be because of our country, not because of just one person. 
So if your person, your candidate did not win, then you are not advocating for Nigeria to go down. Nigeria must go down just because your candidate, that means you were never ever fighting for a better Nigeria. You know, you were only hiding under the umbrella of your candidate. So I support you on that, Mr. Destiny. You know, we all should come together to see how we can have a better country in our time. Thank you very much. God bless you. Okay, I'd like to go back again to Madam Luke. Madam Luke, uh, uh, unfortunately, you were caught off at that time. So I guess your, your system, your gadget is better now. Actually, I, I clicked myself out. So that's what happened. Okay. Thank so, you. Talk to us. Thank you. So like I was saying, you have to be mentally healthy to care about what happens around you. Ever since Nigeria's misconception as a country or as a contraption, either by design or by default or whatever the brought us to this stage, nothing has gone well for Nigeria. And what we have seen is a systematic victimization of the collective psyche of Nigerians from all angles. Is it politics? Is it socio-economic? Socio you name it. There is no joy in the country. How do you expect people to care that are not happy? When you are, you are unhappy, are you functional? So the more you get all these things, all these stories, you are asked not to care. You, because you are still going through PTSD. The World Health Organization, like I said, say one in four Nigerians have psychiatric problems. Have you ever thought, sat down to think that Nigerians are ill? And sick of being ill? Even me, I'm not even in Nigeria. I know what it, how it affects me. A major aspect of depression is hopelessness and the inability to take care of business around you if you don't know. So what you have is a dying nation who cannot act because they are not healthy enough to take care of business because of ongoing victimizations. You've seen your grandparents, you've seen your parents, now you're going through it. How can you act when you're sick or being sick? So, I don't know if you've ever been to a psychiatric ward. Can those people there help themselves? So, let me leave that at that. You think of Nigeria as a big psychiatric ward with no caregivers. They're not giving, giving them their medications. They're not attending to their healthcare status. So all you have is a bunch of mentally... So, who's going to, so who is going to help them? Well, when you're in a foreign country, who helps the people that are... Is it not, the, is it not when you have a good healthcare system? No, no, I disagree with you, madam. Everybody no, 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 cannot, no, 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 listen, everybody listen. cannot be sick in Nigeria. That's an insult That's to not, the... I'm, no, 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 I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm tell, trying to tell you that... For one in, it's not me that wrote it. It is no, no, no. Those people wrote it. They, are, they wrote rubbish. That's an oh, insult to, to Nigerians. And you, don't think, oh. you think it's an insult to Nigerians? Of course, it's an insult. You can't okay. say one out of four of Nigerians that okay. Nigeria all of them have uh, 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 PTSD I, and whatever. No, I, I disagree. I, 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 okay. A lot of Nigerians in Nigeria are very sound-minded human beings. All of okay. them. Many of them. They just decided they don't, they don't want to talk on these things. Doesn't mean they are sick. Okay, so what is the cause of it? If you're yeah, not sick, if yeah, you're because not sick. they don't know what to do about it. That is what I'm not being sick. To do about it. That, that is what I'm being sick. You can't help yourself. Yeah, if for some reason now that you you, you feel that you had to put food for your table for your family to eat, would you go and find work? You know, well, they tried, just... they tried doing the answers. You know, you know what happened. You know how many people they killed and all that. So you know, that this is that the Nigerian government have a way of putting fear on the people. Does it mean that the people are sick? Good. You know? Okay. All right. I've, I've said what I have to say. Okay? Because I cannot explain it other than the fact that even using my own personal experiences, when I feel down, I cannot function. I have to practically raise myself up or seek intervention to be able to point me in the right direction. But in Nigeria, you have the sick leading the sick. When you have a kleptomaniac, are you not sick? 
Will someone like just keep stealing and stealing and stealing? Is that not a matter in us? So when you now have kleptomaniacs who keep stealing unnecessarily, is that not a matter in us? Then, but how do we stop them? Okay. That is where we are in a quagmire. Because we are here every day talking about help. We are here talking about what we can do. But it's like the blind leading the blind. So unless the only way I can see this happening is a foreign intervention that will come and set us straight because we have lost our way. We have totally lost our way. It's like you have a, 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 a group of, 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 of deranged, mentally displaced people roaming the country and they can't help themselves. So this, the most violent... Is that a part of mental illness? If you're violent and you use all kinds of intimidative uh, behaviors to, 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 to control people, is that not another part of mental illness? When you lack feeling for your common man and you're apathetic, is that not part of mental illness? Yeah, I agree. I agree on that. Okay. So when, when, when we're talking about mental illness on the people, these are the people that are the good ones who are being, being subdued by the most violent of the mentally ill. Kleptomaniacs. You know, sociopaths. You want to, you, you, we all agree that Nigerians are ruled by a bunch of psychosociopaths who have lost the, who have lost the ability to feel. And when you are a sociopath, what do you do? You inflict pain. You inflict harm on your fellow people. That is where we are. A sociopath has no capacity for love and consideration. This is where we have found ourselves. I will leave that alone. And let me talk about Falana. You see, Falana is a, is a paradox. He's not talking about the judiciary that he was part of. A man, I know he had to eat. And part of the judicial system is that you would defend any criminal until proven guilty. But this is the same Falana who was Tinubu's lawyer that should have been a civil advocate to help bring this man to justice with Ghani, Tawahimi, and what did he do? Himself and Osibanjo, they gave him a safe landing that even when he was out of power and was not even under immunity anymore, they still continue to shield him in the judiciary. And here is this man coming out to tell us what. I don't understand this man. I think sometimes he just likes to hear himself talk. Because he has eaten so much money and he's so comfortable, so all he has to do is start talking. I will only tell him one thing, please, if you enter house. When he, it mattered for him to come out and speak, even when the, 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 the daylight robbery of the election uh, of, the, of the judiciary carried, up, carried out uh, on the Nigerian uh, populace during the election, he was nowhere to be found. The same thing with the passenger. They are not going around. That one is going around now with his nanogeneric self going to, to praise Alex Oti. Was he part of the, 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 the reform in, 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 uh, in Apia State? When he was there, why, why, why did he not enforce such rules? So why? You see, these are just a bunch of sacrifices. And I'm not surprised. They will, you will see them in one part of Nigeria. I'm not going to call the race. That is exactly their, 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 their MO, their modus operandi. That's how they operate. Or look for four, they'll come at and and, and communicate to you when you are doing well, and then nowhere to be found when the when, when the going is tough. So Falana, please enter house. You do what you do best. Keep talking, but nobody buying that beer is coming out of your mouth. Yes, we know I don't state we are full of rigors there, and, and I always said it. All roads lead to Basaki. They will use the the the, 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 the incumbency to rubbish any other party that comes there. Just like they did in Delta State, they will. Be, the, the, INEC is going to. Be, INEC only pays to the highest bidder, and if those state has the deep pocket under Ibaseki, and nobody can change that. Whether they go to vote or they go and do anything, the INEC is going to have the final say because they're taking money from PDP. They will still take from P PPC. They will still Labour Party. I don't think they have to give Shishi because they know what is going on there. So it's a waste of money. So. Let's Falana just leave, keep out of it because he should remove the lock from his eyes before he starts taking time to take the speck out of other people's eyes. 
And then I will not say, uh, uh, lastly, Dr. CN said this yesterday, before we start associating people to groups, can you please hear from the person's mouth that they're talking? Simon Ekpa has a different agenda from IPOB. I have always said this. I have always said this. Anybody can come out and say anything, but because of your bias, you will take the one you want to hear and leave the rest. Here and there now, the Nigerian military declare, declaring I pubs Simon Ekpa. Mr. Dr. CM said it yesterday. If you want to know the I pub, go to Germany. Has anybody even bothered to go and find that one out? But what Nigerian the Nigerian uh, government does is to, is to spin narratives. The one that you are not there, they will link you with it. All the mayhem going on in the East, they will rope you around it. The, the same thing going on in Okwama right now. You want to believe a bunch of liars. Why don't you go and look at the man's mouth itself and hear what he's saying? Why must you take what the federal government is saying if you're not biased? Now they want to declare him wanted all the way in Finland. All the all the, the, the terrorists in the, in the northern part of Nigeria, all over Nigeria, how many of them have they, have, they, have they arrested? Have they declared wanted? You see, like I said, these are all the things that cause Nigerians to be depressed. And like I said again, when you are depressed, you cannot help yourself. You are like a, 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 a convalescence in a nursing home who has lost your mind with Alzheimer's. You've lost your way. And you have to be in the hands of able caregivers who recognize your pain and recognize your sorrow to lead you in the right way by giving you amenities, by giving you prosperity, by giving you hope. Not by constantly, constantly, and constantly victimizing you with their kleptomaniac and, and obsessive compulsive disorders in government. So how can you treat yourself when you have mentally ill people, ruling mentally ill people? Like I said, as long as Nigeria keeps being ruled by kleptomaniacs, which is a very big disease, you cannot go nowhere. Thank you. Please, can I say something, please? Okay, please, one minute, only one minute. Okay, uh, sometimes before we see something, we have to confirm very well because I listen to Falano in uh, uh, in, uh, no, no, you have noise on your background, sir. We cannot be listening yeah, to you. I'm listening to everybody in your village. Uh, okay, I, I leave the already now. Sorry, I okay, said I listen to Falano in uh, Mr. Damage, Doctor uh, Doctor Damage program. He said he did not. He no. He was not a lawyer to. Uh, Tulumbu, that he, <clears throat> what argument he have with uh, for, uh, Ganifa Yemije was that this man is already a governor, that immunity covers him up, that you cannot judge him right now. That he just have that argument, that is how his own opinion. Then, that is not a lawyer to Tulumbu. So that is what he said. So it's not right if we don't like someone. We don't, it's not good for us to just okay. bring the person down because this man has stand for right of many of us, many okay. of our people back home. So, Thank, no, you. No. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Mr. Destiny. Please mute yourself. Thank you. All right. Um, before I will take a call, I'd like to quickly respond to you, Madam Luke. You know, on this platform, we call out our government to do the right thing, we call out our leaders to do the right thing, you know. Uh, we are here for good governance, to put it like that. But I also notice that whenever they start doing the right thing, we still continue to criticize them. And I've said this so many times on this platform. When this person that you'll be calling to do the right thing, start doing the right thing, we still have one way or the other to destroy them, to, con to, to, to criticize them. Please give then, an example. What is the right thing? Sorry, I don't you know, get to you. No, no. Yes, it, 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 many of us on this platform call on, uh, 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 for example, uh, to put it on, um, Femi Falana during the time of 2023 presidential election, that he, was, he wasn't saying anything. Okay, fine. 2023 presidential election, that was last year. It has passed now. And he's speaking. This man has been speaking back to back, you know, uh, since the beginning of this year till now. So, why can't we just embrace 
you know, his time, he's talking, you know, no, at the moment. No, be, no, because we're still suffering from his inaction right now. So yes. you can't come out and come and start talking now when, the, when, the, when the matter is supposed to, you were not there. But no, 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 please, everybody, just what's happening? No, 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 we can't hear you, uh, Machiavelli. Your, your audio is bad. Hello, can you hear me? Okay, can you hear good. me now? Yes, you are, you are good now. Okay, what inaction is she trying to say? You see, uh, this is the problem we have. I just actually bumped into it and I saw what is going on and I can say what she's using, the language she's using on a Nigerian and she's calling for a, 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 an action of an international body to come into Nigeria and said to, Madam, please, with all due respect, do you understand what is called um, a, 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 a defined state? A, a, a sovereign state, you are calling on an international to invade a foreign state and you are living in a demo, it defines a, a, a country where you enjoy dividends of democracy and wealth, you enjoy what is called fundamental human right. So you think you can sit down and actually propel this kind of, and you're calling, using rhetoric to call Nigerians that they are kleptomaniac, that they are ruled by kleptomaniac. Is it because somebody doesn't just talk and you just people just come up with a way to kind of make Nigerian looks like Tiki is a, a bola below? I don't actually blame you because you have a, an institution that is guiding you and you're actually referring to a country that is a sovereign nation, even if our leaders are doing things that are not actually right. I don't not support our leaders, but that does not mean you should call a nation or a citizen that are, that are being ruled by kleptomaniac, even they serve their kleptomaniac. Because your language you are using, this is language of hate. And for your information, anybody who on a life, any Nigerian, whether you are from the East, West or not, you are a terrorist. So if the Nigerian nation, if the Nigerian uh, uh, government is actually clamping on those who are actually making sure that causing hindrance to the national security of the country, that is a right step. So, exactly. madam, all this yeah, language yeah, and rhetoric you are Mr. using, Mr. Nigerians are listening Mr. to you. Please Mr. tone your fo your voice down okay. because you are you live in the land of the free and the right. home of the brave. You should Mr. also Mr. respect Nigerians as well. If you don't like it, that's fine, but you shouldn't be using rhetoric language to actually envelop us. Hold on, hold on, Mr. hold on, hold on. Mr. Hold on sir. I'll come to you. I'll come to you, uh, Mr. Machiavelli. I agree with you on the area of the declaration of um, what uh, these people, these terrorists, all, all that. It's not just Samuel Ekba. I corrected somebody earlier on. I don't know. Maybe somebody called. Into it's not Samuel Ekba. For those who are on a life in Nigerian, including it's, those who are uh, headsmen, whatever they call every, themselves. Every region of Nigeria. You know, it's just, it's, you know, and I showed the picture earlier on when I was taking the article. So on that area, it's not just Samuel Ekba. You know, it says Samuel Ekba and 96. That means in total number, there are 97 people that the federal, uh, the, the Nigerian military declared wanted now. So the country, the insecurity in the Ex country, Exactly. Do you know why Nigeria watch? Eh? Do you know why? Because that is what is causing the national, is causing a hindrance to the national security of the country. And this is even used instead of him to say, okay, let's find out who are these people. You are calling on, you are calling Nigerians that they are being ruled by kleptomaniac and even them, no, they are kleptomaniac. Is, but you are okay. sitting in a defined democracy where you enjoy dividends of democracy. On that, this is what that actually that annoys me. If you want, if you want to debate, debate and start using hatred to debate, debate Can civilly. I say something, please? Hold on, Can I hold say something? on. Uh, no, 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 hold on. Everybody, hold on. Uh, Mr. Jonathan wanted to say something, please. Mr. Jonathan, go ahead. Sir. <clears throat> yeah, Mr. Evans, thank you very much. Here is the thing. In Nigeria, whatever you see Nigerian government doing, the reason why it is difficult to give it to them, even when it appears, or it is even outrightly right what they are doing, mm. the reason why you can't give it to them it is because there is always an ulterior motive behind it. Yeah, but but no, Mr. Jonathan, I agree. At the same yes. time, I also disagree. This is social media. When we see something is getting better, let's talk about it. Ms. Even Ivis. though the ulterior motive is there, but at least we can still come back.
to counter it later on. But there but is no, you you, you, okay. You on this platform, I notice you know some of us remember. I said I talked this thing about two weeks or three weeks ago here, and so many times. Some of us we call out this government whenever any of them try doing something good, we are still criticizing them. No, you know, Mr. Evis, I will take exception to that. Let me give you an example. The most recent one. Don't let us go too far. Yesterday, they came out with what I call a national cake distribution. Almost 270-something billion. And, we, on and, the, and on, we counter them immediately. Yes, on the surface, it is a good policy. It is a good arrangement. Fine. But when you now look at it, you don't even need to wait for them. You know that they, what they are trying to do is not for the good of the country. Yes. There are certain things that you will look straight away. You don't need to, to be waiting Mr. for Jonathan, them. Mr. Jonathan, you and I know that you know my stand when it comes to Nigeria. I want a better Nigeria and I will never defend this satanic set of people. But what and, I'm saying, yeah, Femi I Falana, I was part of the people that criticized that man during the time of 2023 presidential election. I understand that his stand or his decision at that time or whatever he did is part of the problem we are facing today. But since January this year, this man has been talking. Don't you think we need to Mr. Can I, can I say Mr. Elvis, Mr. Elvis, can, can I say something to Mr. Jonathan? It is Mr. Jonathan, you before, can I say something? Before, 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 you, before you talk, please let me say something. Mr. Elvis, please Mr. let me finish. I, no, 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 hold on. Mr. Can I say something hold to Mr. Jonathan? No, 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 hold on, 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 I'm coming to you for your proper submission, just hold on for now. Uh, uh, round up, uh, uh, Mr. Jonathan, let me come yeah. to Mr. I. Okay. Oh, oh, you see, for, for, for Falano, fine, he's been, he's been on the right trajectory for some time, but it exactly. is always, it is always very difficult, you know, for, for anybody to accept what he's saying in his entirety. Not he started speaking right after his wife became SAN, so we all know where he's coming from. So he, he, that's the issue there. Fine on the subject of psycho, you know, calling you know a uh, uh, psycho psychopath or uh, kleptomaniac or whatever. See on this platform, some a month or two ago, I I I, I dedicated the entire minute allocated to me, maybe eight or ten minutes describing the nigerian leadership as a psychopath that they, they are psychopath and i don't just say it it is simply just to call it the way it is the simple definition of what a psychopath is thank you that is exactly what they are that is exactly if you bring, please bring out the definition of a psychopath for me and let's talk about okay it. now mr mr that jonathan nigeria no Mr. Mr. jonathan mr ike Go ahead quickly. Okay. Um, you see, um, there's no there's no need to embellish things. There's no reason for that. Let's call out Mr. Evis will always say, say it how it is. Now, Mr. Falana that you are talking about, when we needed him, when we needed him, he was silent. No matter what, it's just like Yakubu now, uh, the INEC chairman coming out now to start to start talking about. Uh, 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 the things you want to hear, you oh, uh, he, he's repented. He started. The, the damage has already been done. Okay, Mr. Uh, Hyde, Mr. Hyde, Mr. Hyde, let me ask you a question. Okay. Does it mean that all the elders that you and I mm. have blamed in the past, all the mm. leaders, political leaders, and every other elders or whatsoever, mm. if any of them come out today to speak in the positivism, how Nigeria can be better, we should continue to stow them forever? Right. Okay. See, if 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 you do a permanent damage, when you do a permanent damage by your action or inaction, and then you now come after you've realized that the thing has permanently damaged, and you start talking, it doesn't make any meaning. That's why they say. That's why they say that the, the head has already been cut off. Thank you. If, if, if a head is cut off, there is nothing again you can do to that life again. The head has been cut off. If you like, if you like, go and buy. If you like go and buy Gucci shoe and put on the on, on the leg of that of that body, it's gone, it's gone. The head has been cut off. Okay. The head has been cut off. Thank so what, what what is the what is the definition of kleptomaniac? When somebody has the kind of money that he even in his fourth generation cannot finish, and he's still grabbing more. 
Is it not what we have now in our as our leaders? So, no, so why, why don't you call your why didn't you call your own why don't you call the country you live their own kleptomaniac? You can brother, use it for his country and you're using it for a citizen and you're actually clarifying it. You want to do it because it actually favors you. Can I ask a question here? Can I ask a question? Can I ask it? Can I ask a question? Can I ask a question? Machiavelli. Can I, ask a I wanted to Mata ask you a question just now. Can you actually I, shown Mata me. Mata then you want me to answer your question. question. So you want me to call no, no, the no, no, nation no, no. a click to me. I'm not going to answer the que those questions. Mata if you Mata if you respect Mata Nigeria, respect it. Lead. If you can Mata criticize, you can criticize con constructively. I'm not here Mata to come Mata and be Mata issuing Mata a, a Mata rhetoric a rhetoric insult to any any country. I respect my country. Even if even if the leaders are not doing, I call them out here. I'm not here to come and say hallelujah or hibijib for anybody because it actually. Favors you. you. I am not here. Drama. Like I told you, Nigeria is my country, and I will respect the rule and the regulation of my country. And if anybody insults the, 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 the citizen and call them clear to me, I will, I will also call you. Hey, Mr. 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 I'm not going to answer Mr. that. I've answered you, my Mr. brother. Mr. Thank Mr. you. You don't have the right to tell us how to criticize our government. No, you, no, you don't have the right to decide, madam. Mr. Madam, Nigeria you don't have the right to decide for me either. You, you understand what he call? If you want to debate civilly, we can debate civilly, madam. If you want to, if you want to call it out, I will still call it out for you. You living in a defined democracy, and you are here calling a citizen the kleptomania, and you want to, you want me to, you want me to be listening to you because you know it or because you you, you feel it favors you because they're talking about IPOB. Which defined democracy? You live, in a, you live in the land of the free and the home of the brave, and you want us to come and respect you, and you cannot respect us as a citizen. If you don't want it like that, then sit down where you are and enjoy your own Macavelli, dividends of democracy Macavelli, and stop calling people the. Macavelli, I have to mute you Macavelli, now. Everybody, please, please, everybody just hold on, including you, Black Panther. Everybody just hold on. I want to pick calls to calm this down. Let me pick some calls to calm this down. Everybody, please stay mute. Thank you. You know, oh, right. somebody yeah. mute, mute yeah. yourself. Yeah. Somebody just yeah. unmuted. Please. Oh, God, Jonathan, please now. You cannot be talking on your background all the time and unmute yourself. It's, no, it's, it's becoming unbecoming. Thank you very much, Madam Florence Omarigi. Thanks for calling in. Good evening to you, man. Please talk to us. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Ninja Watch. Hello, everybody. Mommy D, I love you, ma. All right, so I'm going to have to say this to everybody, and I hope we listen and give it a thought. You see what we're doing here now is exactly the strategy of the Nigerian government. They want to, this, uh, this is all, these are all distractions, okay? They, they know that for the next two days, Nigerians will be talking about what they just released, about this, you know, going after Simon Ekpa and the rest of them. And these are all distractions, my people. These people are master strategists in what they do and they know the nigerian people so well they know that our emotions are so fickle and we are emotional people and you see what we're doing here right now all these arguments back and forth is exactly what they want to achieve and they are, and i'm sure this is the same thing that's happening across all platforms in all homes everywhere in nigeria talking about this okay so let me tell you why i think it's a strategy so simon ekpa has always been there they know where he is, right? And so in the last, what, almost two years that he's been, you know, authoring statements and causing havoc, nobody issued any uh, warrant for his arrest or whatever they call it. Well, but guess what? Three days after Namdi Kanu went off in the court, calling mm. out all the Eastern leaders, saying that they are, uh, what's it called, that they are benefiting from his, um, uh, uh, you know, um, imprisonment. They all went back and they're like, okay, so what do we do now? What do we do now? Because if we don't come up with something like a big bank, they will start focusing on, on us, the Eastern leaders that are in support of Tinubu's government or whatever. And then they released this statement. And guess what? We are all, we're, we, <laughs> and we're all falling into the pit they have dug for us. That's my opinion on that. And I want us to give it a, a, a thought. Okay. These are all strategies that they are doing here and we are falling into it. Okay, madam. <laughs> Thank now, you very much, madam. Okay, and then to okay, go and ahead. Then to now talk about the um the word kleptomaniac. I put the definition of uh, kleptomaniac there, uh, and that is just to say um I mean I understand Mr. Machiavelli's. Uh, by the way, my brother, it's been a while. I understand why he. But the truth is, you see this respect you want to give to our our politicians. They do not deserve it because they don't respect us. Respect is reciprocal. By the way. 
here in America, when when the leaders are, you know, they, they, they lobby the pharmaceutical companies and then they give they don't give them bribe. What they give them is not bribe, but what they call it is lobbying. So they don't you understand? So this corruption is everywhere. But here in America, they call it something else. But the only thing is the system here, when they catch you, you go down for it. So when somebody is now calling these corrupt people who have who, who do not care about us, we will talk. We've been talking. I know I've known Mr. Machiavelli from here, what, what? Since back two years ago, three, almost two, three years ago. And they talk, what will they talk? Now we see they talk. And we'll continue to talk and nothing is happening. They don't care about us. Yeah, and it doesn't matter what, you know, as long as this, she doesn't go against social media guidelines or Mr. Elvis's rules and regulations, I want to also use the word kleptomaniac. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you very thank much. You, Let me take another thank call. You. Thank you. Please, please, don't mute yourself, madam. Please, please. Um, Thank you very much. Uh, love God is my strength. Good evening to you, man. Please talk to yeah, us. Good evening, Anja Wash. And good evening, everyone. On the comment section and uh, on the panel. Thank you, Ninja Wash, for all you said today. I'm, I'm really pleased. And I'm all right. I'm Thank all right. You, don't worry about it. It's one of those things. Eh? Don't worry about it. Yeah, I just want to say something quickly. Uh, I might not be, I might be struggling to pronounce that. Uh, is it? Uh, uh, Madam, look, can you say that word again, please? Kleptomania. Yeah, it's very difficult for me with my tongue. I don't know why. <laughs> yeah, I think in a, in a way, she's right. Because you know what she means? Somebody that is eagerly to that thief, you know, you are used to taking, taking, taking. You are not, you are not tired of taking. Our politicians are used to read. Let us say the truth. We are talking. Yes, I respect your what you are saying, Mister. Um, what's his name, Mister? Can you please say uh, the other man that's talking with uh, Yes, I really respect what you are saying. Is your opinion, and nobody has the right to challenge you. But what I'm saying is that, Madam, look, that's what she feels that she wants to say. And for me, I do actually support her because they are stealing money. They are not tired of stealing. What are we going to call them? In a way, it's like you are, you are stealing money, stealing money, stealing money, and you are not tired. Every year you are stealing, budget you are stealing. Yes, it has become a problem. It has become a problem to them. So let us say the truth. With Nigeria government, we know it will allow us to respect them. Yes, we are Nigerians. Yes, we respect our elders. But elders also must respect themselves for we to be able to respect them. If Nigeria government respect us, they will not put us where we are. They will not put our brothers and sister to be hungry and to be going out as the, to the extent of uh, doing kidnapping and terrorizing the country. So if, if they want us to respect them, they should do the right thing and start to steal our money. The money belongs to every one of us. The resources belong to every one of us. Everybody should enjoy it. So that name, actually, that Madame Luke said, Clep that is Clep what they kleptomania. Are. They keep on stealing. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, but Thank you. They keep on stealing. And I got one. Can I quickly say something okay. about Delta State? What happened in uh, Ugeli? Let me tell you something. Eh? These people, they know what happened. Oh. They know. You see, this says, I'm a left party that they are bringing out. They know that everything is coming out now. So they want to bring something out to quickly cover with this I'm a left party wall. Because what they went to do there is not what they are telling us. Everything they know, and it's involving Tompolo. That is why everything started so like that watch i will not say much thank you thank you man thank you very much thank you <laughs> let me pick another call thank you very much madam faith with fred thanks for calling and good evening to you man talk to us good evening sir good evening sir good evening everybody uh thank you very much i was calling since uh, i want to appreciate for your good work i want to appreciate everybody your partner you work every day every every week every month every year i say god will bless you thank you very much sir uh, so why I call uh, because I want to because I want to the uh, Peter OB. I want to send this message to him because uh, uh, since morning I was not having peace with me. I dreamt see this man. They want to uh, they want to set him up. You should be very careful. You should be very very careful. They want to set the man up because that dream. If we are yeah, the, we are native, uh, not a Labour Party uh, uh, dress. 
and the, uh, they are resting, you should be very, very careful. Who know he should tell this this uh, message? It's not. I'm not joking because I was not having peace this morning. That if you see the, I was calling you almost. I don't already call you almost eight times. Mm, yes. She said that I'll be the one to set it up. I just pray you know why I call. I said I want to send this message because if anything happens to him, my enemy will not have peace. That is, you should be very very careful. They want to set set the enemy up. Thank you. Thank you very much, man. Thank, thank you, you, sir. Thank you, thank you everybody. Thank God you. bless you. God man. bless you, sir. Thank you, man. Thank you. Okay, uh, callers, please. Uh, I'm done for now. I'd like us to move on uh, to the next person uh, on the panel. You know, but um, you know, before that, Mister um, Black Panther wanted to ask a question. You know, but you know, when you are asking a question, the person that is answering you replies. Maybe you are dissatisfied with his response. Then the team might continue like that. Do you want to wait for your submission or you still want to ask the question, sir? Let, let me ask the question. Go ahead. Because this question will definitely direct us in what is going on. Now, Mr. Machiavelli, you know that right, you cannot bully somebody's right or you cannot direct somebody to go your path. And you know that everybody is fighting for one cause for Nigeria to be good in as much as the direction we are moving, but we are still focusing on one part. Now, I want to ask, what part are you focusing on that that part you are talking about, Nigeria will end up, that they've not done before, Nigeria will end up being a great nation? Thank you. Okay. All right, um, Mr. Machiavelli, is your turn to talk to us anyway. So you have. Eight Thank you very Mr. much, Mr. Machiavelli. Uh, I I think I'm the, I'm trying to I'm straining Hello. my voice because Mr. I don't Mr. know. Mr. Maybe Mr. when I remove. Can huh? you hear me? I can hear you. Okay, you have eight minutes. I'm this is your submission. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Um, well, thank you very much, Mr. Jonathan. At first, I didn't want to answer, but I now will answer because I think you're getting it kind of strange. Well, that's, like, that's, oh, no, that's not Jonathan. That's Mr. Black Panther. Okay, um, Mr. Black Panther. Yes, I think you're trying to get in. Like, oh, where's this guy heading to? You see? Well, maybe you this you this is your first time of hearing me here, and most of the people who actually hear they all know me. We do not care if the cat is black or white as far as it can catch its mice. Nigeria is made up of diff, it's made with uh, made up of six, eight, six geopolitical six geopolitical zones and each of them should be part of the process that will lead the country into a better state. I understand that we do not have a leaders that actually put that into uh, you know, consideration. But I advocate, and I have always been doing it from day one, that we need institutions to put this country in a safer direction because we lack institutions, and that is why these leaders are actually playing on the loopholes. We cannot actually use, two wrongs cannot make it right because the leaders are actually gearing towards the other direction, so I should just join them. No. I need to put in an education to, to, to remove the indoctrination that the leaders have, Im have impacted on the people. And that is what we're doing. And for you to understand, I was the one who made the projection three years ago in this platform that a time is coming that a little party would change the political dynamics of, of Nigeria. And I, it, was, it actually came to pass. So my, for you to understand where my direction is, is to, for a better nation, for everybody, irrespective of your tribe and belief, we will not tolerate, as a concerned Nigerian, anyone that would jeopardize the, the, the creation of that country, whether you are a northerner, easterner, southerner, or whatever you call yourself, because Nigeria is made for all the people living in nigeria so for it to crown it all i'll let you know that we are consigned nigeria who believes that the importance of that nation should be made known to everybody 
and everybody is going to be all hands on deck. If you want to leave, that's fine, but it shouldn't be in a violent way that will make sure that on a life anybody called Nigeria. That is our purpose. And that is why you see us, whenever you hear anything that it creates violence, we'll tell you no. Because in any democratic state, there's room for dialogue. And this is why I queried all our leaders. In any place like this, if you are not sufficient, a leader of the house will call and say, my son or my daughter, what is happening? And that is why I always ask them, why are they not doing having dialogue? So if anyone is coming using hatred and calling names, calling us names, calling Nigerians names, we will not tolerate it. So I might not sound your tune. That's fine. But I do not stand for in Nigeria that will make the Nigerians who are already suffering get more suffering. No, I will not stand for that. That is the way I am gearing to. I hope I make my, make my point. I, I, I make you understand. But for this one now, the little I just met, the Nigerian military declares IPOB met Simon Ekman and the Red 96 wanted. That's fine because they feel these are the people that is causing an issue that jeopardize our national security. But the point I have to make, I have to ask the Nigerian people, if these people are the Red, if these people, you this 96 you said, are causing hindrance to national security, where are the bandits? Where are the Boko Harams? Where are the Shea Gumis and the, and, the, and the rest? So you have to also include them. I do not fight for just one person just because of my own. No. I believe that anyone who is hindering the national interest of Nigeria should be brought to book. And you shouldn't think you are above the law. And that is my own submission here. I can make it sure. Thank you. All right. Um... Mr. Machiavelli, thank you very much for your submission. I uh, appreciate your time with us today. Yes, uh, for me, uh, my stand on this declaration, like I said before, they are, the total number... Hold on, sir. I'm talking, sir, please. The total number of the people the, the Nigerian army, uh, the Nigerian military declared is 97. It's not just Samuel Ekba. So for that, let's get it right because it looks like everybody is focusing on southeast, southeast, southeast. It's not just Samuel Ekma. All their pictures, I showcased it earlier on. So the insecurity that is going on across Nigeria right now, I'm not sure anybody is happy about it. So they are not focusing on just Samuel Ekma. They are focusing on every region. Thank you very much. Uh, Mr. Jonathan, can I, can I ask a question? question? Can yes. I ask a question? Yes. No, 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 hold on. Somebody caught first. Yeah, I just want to do it. Mr. Evans, thank you very much. Just a quick fact check. You see, the position that a small political party will emerge in Nigeria has been that, that position has been out there since 2003, 2004. So it's not something that somebody came out with three years ago. No, it's not a new idea at all. I just want to put that out there. That has been on over and over again. You know, for since 2003, 2004, and it has been on all over that eventually in Nigeria, a smaller political party will emerge yeah. or will surface and will take over. So it's not something so, that. Came so, out what, 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 what did you, know. what did you think? Uh, thank God everybody is here, and maybe some people will call when we actually made it. You, you were not even here. You don't even know how the foundation See, of all this thing that was started. Listen to me, I'm here. So, so you can actually get it you can actually get mad at it i'm not actually saying you were i would i told you that this is how the foundation of how this whole thing actually started on this platform but you are actually going and fact checking that's your own opinion but if you don't agree to it that's fine thank you can no, I say no, wait, wait, Mr. Jonathan, wait, 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 wait. Hold on first, Mr. Machiavelli. No, let me correct Machiavelli, please, please. I need to correct him. Mr. Machiavelli, when somebody is bringing your fact and subjecting to another fact that is counter, that your fact is counterproductive and somebody is bringing it out, don't attack that person. What you are trying to do, you are trying to be authorit authoritative. You have to come up with your fact. If your fact can be verified, somebody verify your fact and bring it to you and bring verification, you don't need to attack that personality. All you need to do okay. is to just go and concur and look at what he brought forward and subject it to re re knowledge um, articulation and bring out your and bring out answers to it. Please 
Stop attacking person Mr. Mr. Jonathan, I wasn't even attacking. But what I said on this platform, when we started it, you didn't get you didn't hear me well, maybe. But he's saying that he's just for check. Okay, okay. Something on, maybe on, we on, actually on, what I'm saying it, it's on, actually on, wrong. Please, on, on, let, let me just say something. Hello, just for 30 seconds. hello, everybody. Please hold on now. Please, admins. I can see admins is commenting, and we have a lunatic committee at the same time when you are commenting. How come this lunatic is left to be commenting this rubbish? I don't understand because the lunatic have commented more than five times. And admins are there, and the lunatic are persisting, commenting the same rubbish. This person supposed to already be blocked on earth and in heaven. We don't want people like this. It's there. The lunatic is there, still commenting right now. And everybody is seeing it, and we all know that, you know, insult is probably, is definitely prohibited on this platform. Whatever you, whoever you are, Abia, the best, or whatever, you are blocked on earth and in heaven. You are not allowed to come back to this platform any anymore. Please, admins, please. Uh, you guys, I'm not paying anybody for the job you guys are doing here. I really appreciate every one of you. May God bless you all. But please, we should not allow satanic people to repeat themselves twice on the platform. If you notice them, remove them. You don't need to wait twice. This is not a, 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 not a way of a, a expressing or a freedom of expression. If you want to express yourself, I don't have a problem with that. If you have opinion, you are you are passing on here. I respect every individualism, opinionism. But when it comes to you are insulting the, the, the people on the panel and you are insulting the whole channel, please, the person should be removed. You know, thank you very much. God bless you all. Um, somebody was talking, everybody were talking at the same. Mr. Ike, go ahead. You want to yes. say something? Yes, um, I was I listened to Machiavelli, and when he says here we won't tolerate we won't tolerate i don't know who the we are we won't tolerate anybody that want to uh, you don't you don't you don't love nigeria more than all also when you say we won't tolerate we won't tolerate anybody we won't tolerate that's 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 being more catholic than the pope you are not better than any nigerian so it, it, it when 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 your leaders do something wrong you call them out it doesn't matter where you are from so let's see, let's say it the way it is. The trajectory that we are going now, it will not lead us anywhere. I don't know how you are defending a country that have lost 6,931 people in 10 months. And then you say, we won't tolerate, we won't tolerate. When we call them out, you say, we won't tolerate. And then it is so, so strategic that they decide to say Samuel Lepa and 96 others. Samuel Lepa, how many? The headline is Samuel Lepa. And 96 or I'm not defending Samuel, Mr. 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 Evis, you know me. I have said it before that I don't like his style, his style of enforcing his whatever that is going on. It's not like it's not like I'm his fan. But why do you want to say Samuel left and 96 others? So what the narration is no, 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 let's no, move. no, no, no. If you want to blame anybody for that, please let me put this on. But before I will put this on, uh, Madam Martina Ambassador TV, thank you very much, man. I understand. God bless you. Thanks for all you do. Okay. Before you pass your blame, please pass it to the Nigeria mainstream media newspaper articles. Because these guys, they are the ones that put it like that, not the Nigerian um, uh, military. They put it like that to, to get traffic. So please, let's get it right. It's not Nigerian military that put it somewhere. Ekman and this order. No. Is the main thank you, Mr. Activity. Avis. Thank you. Go ahead, Mr. I. So, so what, what, what I'm saying here is if you come to even the even the US that uh, Machiavelli was talking, I say the country where you are, sincerely speaking, listen to CNN and hear when they went uh, during the, the four years of Trump. There's no name they didn't call him. Okay. All right. Thank There's you. Only they didn't call him. So, don't, don't ever think that. Because Let's we are here, we only condemn Nigeria. Nigeria is a place where I have my two legs in. That I'm here does not mean I'm running away from Nigeria. So you don't love Nigeria more than I do. Okay, thank you. But when they thank do you. something wrong, we call them out. Mr. Ike, I just say thank you more than 300 times. You have not listened to any of them. You know? Thank you, sir. All right. I, I, I would like to put this on. I've said this so many times on this platform as well. For those of you that have been following us for a while, that the, one of the biggest problems we have in Nigeria is our media. Yes, they are very good in putting these kind of titles together, but they are useless. 
in calling out the government. They are the most useless people ever. Our media, our mainstream medias. I'm saying it again. You see, all of them are very careful when they are talking on air. They are very careful. They are very, you know, they are very picky. They don't want to offend the government of the day. They don't want to offend the past or the present. While in the UK, the government of the United Kingdom are scared of their media. Yes. I live here. I know what I'm saying. They are scared of their media. But in Nigeria, <laughs> what happened to our own media? So, guys, don't get carried away. This title was put on by every newspaper. And I tell you, if I saw a newspaper, I would carry it more. They even, they even wrote worse than this. This is what these guys are doing. But unfortunately, I have to put it like that as well because I work with them. Because before some of you that is satanic on listening to us right now, we say, oh, Nigeria was go write something like this. I will tell you where we got it from. That's what we work with third parties. Thank you very much. Everybody on the planet have given their submission. I'd like to pick just one or two calls so that, uh, okay, yes, I still have Black Panther. Uh, needs to, let me just go to you, Black Panther, before I pick the call. Oh God, Black Panther, thanks for joining us. You are the last person on the panel. Please give us your submission. Okay, Ninja Watch, thank you very much for giving me this opportunity. I'm outside, so thank you for giving me this opportunity to really speak here. I want to answer one issue, and I want to thank my mind. Sorry about that. I want to thank everybody, thank the commenters, thank uh, Mommy Diaspora. I say, God will continue to bless you. I want to thank um, every speaker that has spoken here. God bless you all. And you people are, this is what we want. We dialogue and dialogue. One day we'll fall in line and pursue the same course. We'll land at the same position. I want to say something here. Nobody is more than a Pope, than Pope itself. And nobody lost Nigeria than more than any one of us. All of us have different points. All of us have one thing that we are fighting for. We want a better Nigeria. And when you are fighting a cause, you don't put in mind the right of other people to say they don't want to belong to the country. The modus operandus in which they uh, go I'm about it. I'm sorry, sorry, I don't usually do this to stop somebody when you're giving a submission. Okay. Uh, Steve, Don, Dada, uh, if you're a Biafran, I'm not against it. But please, um, insult is prohibited on this platform. I, I'm just verbally respecting you right now, putting it on. You know, in case you jumped it and you don't deserve the respect, we know how to handle you. You can't use the word Momun people on this platform. It's totally prohibited. The word Zoo, Zoo Nigeria is prohibited. The word Momun people is prohibited. In fact, you cannot. Just say you are a Biafran, that's fine. I, I, I respect that 100%. I cannot take that away from you and I don't have any problem with anybody that is a Biafran. But you cannot respect the rules of the platform. This is the last time, sir. Or madam, whoever that is being be, behind that name, Steve Don Dada. Thank you. Now, okay. I hope you post. Not, I hope you, post hold it. On. you just you, you just did again, so you are blocked already. Thank you, admins. I appreciate every one of you. Please, these people, we shouldn't let them be staying for more than one comment. Please, it just looks like everywhere is bombarded this evening, man. Go ahead, Black Panther. I hope you post my time. Go ahead, Black Panther. Black Panther, you're not talking. Oh, sorry. I, I didn't I didn't open it. Nobody is more Nigerian than any one of us here. Everybody is subjected to 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 any information that you give out, is subjected to you know reputation. People will go out there to research on it and see if it is true. Now, you see. We have gone past where somebody will come and tell us Nigeria, nobody can talk on Nigeria. What we want, Nigeria must be Niger we look. You if you are seated in a country where you rights of the people and everybody have a right to speak, but not, not to take the right of other person. If you are in that country and you subject us because we are Nigeria, that we don't have the right to speak nor say something that is happening in Nigeria, I believe you, you, you are not doing it right. And when you are speaking, people need to know 
the direction you are going to. If you are going to one direction, don't go roundabout. Speak direct. You are a bad body strong, man enough, woman enough to speak directly. I thank me, Madam Luke. Madam Luke, you spoke well today. I remember when I was speaking concerning Nigeria, who are the friends of Nigeria? And Nigeria is Nigeria a friend to America? Or Nigeria is a friend to other nations? When Madalu said we need, we need, we need an intervention from the friends of Nigerians, doesn't mean that look, we, we always, we always, we always have this mindset of, of somebody coming to take your country. Nobody's going to take your country in the 21st century. Throw that mindset away. And nobody's coming to enslave you. Throw that mindset away. You are too brought up. Not that for you not to know what to do. Just throw that away. We have friends of Nigeria. And friends of Nigeria can come and speak to the leadership in Nigeria. And mind you, you cannot speak for a leader that is corrupt and came in through the window, irrespective of his our, now our president. You cannot stand and speak the, the, the voice of the military. Like what Buhari said, Nigeria and, uh, and uh, Kogumirit is indivisible, it's this than that. That is a blunted lie. Go and check the history of Nigeria. We Nigeria has passed 100 years for us to sit down and speak on how we're going to ratify the constitution or we change the constitution. That is, that is the history many of us does not know. And now is a nation formed. That's the question. You say you, you want a good institution. How are you going to get that good institution? You said Nigerian people, Nigerian leaders are not uh, kleptomania. We should not call kleptomania. If I were to be an investigator, I would have opened a red flag on you, Mr. Machiavelli. Because what Thank you has for been that. going on, what has been going on for long, it has not started today. It started during Babangida time where he institutionalized corruption. I was in the country then. I fought. I'm a human rights activist. I was a PRO to Defense for Human Rights, which Falano was our chairman then. We had a lot of problems. Some of us were rosketed from school, but we fought so that the, those rosketed students would come back. And Falano was our lawyer. We know him very well. We know where he has derailed. We know why, where, why was he quiet. We know. But when we say it out, people will lambast us. Look, we all love Nigeria. For you to have that institution, my brother, that is why we are clamoring that we need to come together to sit down to fashion a way where we can love ourselves from the, from the north to the south, from the east to the west, and to, 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 to the far for wherever Nigeria is extended to our, 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 our geopolitical zone. We need to come down to speak and fashion out a way where this insurgency, where the clamoring for the presidency, the, the, the almighty presidency will stop where the valuation of power should be given to the right places, where we don't have one person will sign a check and that is all, and you cannot say anything about it. Where people sit under the platform of security vote, and when we say they should set up police, they say no. Do you know the reason why they are saying no? Because that security vote is the, is the ship in which every, every corrupt politician go to that government, that uh, governorship position because he knows that when he get there, he's already a billionaire. Those are the things. And you are seeing a strong institution. We cannot have a strong institution when you and I have not participated in it. Now, I want to ask every one of us, how do a country be a country? We should go and study about that too. Because when we are talking, when we say something, some people will shout, say, no, no, no. The question you should ask yourself, is that person knowledge you? Has he brought himself to a level where he has studied how nations have been formed? And during the formation of the nation, does he know that there's a lot of fight struggle to form that nation? Look, I will not come up here to bully anybody that what we are saying, oh, is, 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 is nonsense or is wrong. I will not bully. My now bully quote. You cannot come here, Mika Machiavelli, to say Nigeria division, Nigeria uh, together is. Uh, you cannot even talk on Nigeria. I say dividing. You cannot. You cannot. You cannot authoritatively say that because that is the direction what we are saying. And when you are saying that, we know where you are pointing to. 
you are pointing to the iPod. Let me be very straight to you. You have a hidden mind against the Igbos. And that should, be, that should be cleared off your mind because not all of them are into this. Mr. Nigel would always say something here. Not everybody. You can just gag together and say they are all the same. No. If you are trying to be very logical, most of us don't read logic in school. I'm a mathematician and I read mathematics and statistics. I know anywhere you go, I know where you are going to land. So there's no, I belong to a school. I will say because where the direction I'm going, people of like mind will know that I'm going towards a right direction that Nigeria should come together and unless a good constitution that is made by us, that is African to an African state. That is what the entire African have not done. Look at Africa. We are still under the, the, the constitution of the colonial masters. Do you know that Nigeria has never reviewed its policing more than 60 years? They've not reviewed it. They are still following that colonial law. Okay, for instance, today, when I was going through the internet, a lady was using his children for, for beg as a beggar. Somebody came and gave them a house, a room, and gave her $350,000 to start a trade. After paying three years for that in Abuja, this lady ran out of there and went back to beg, using the same cheat for begging. And what happened? They went to the police. Police arrested her, kept her. Police said they cannot do anything but to leave her to continue to use the children for begging. They call all the institutions that need to, the children, they declined. That is what is called a fair state. Where you are, that one, that woman would have been in prison for 20 years and the children would have been kept under the office of the government and the government will make sure they are funded to an institution and able to go and uh, to a higher level of their own choice. Are children so, supposed to be taken from her? That is it. So this is an institutional breakdown. God bless you. This is an institutional breakdown. And when you go, I want you to go ahead to go and study the, 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 the South American country that is uh, Venezuela and just uh, and study India, the ancient, the ancient empire that is rising up now. And when you study it, then run your own graph and GPS and look at just opposite with Nigeria nation and see, you will see that you will come out with a good insight of what is really happening, which I know you know. But I don't know, maybe, maybe you, something is there because when I say red flag, I, the way you are talking, it might it, it, it make me to think, do you have somebody in the government or maybe you don't, you don't feel what is happening or maybe because I have a brother in this Edo state government, this the present one, I have a brother there. He's very close. If they say making you choose for, for family, let me go with the second person. So the minutes. Nigerian, okay, let me know. The Nigerian state, the modus and operandus which they are going about labeling somebody as a terrorist group and now come out and picture the person out and the press gagging everything, it is questionable. And we are intelligent enough to know that this, what the government is doing might look right to everybody, but the procedure, the process is wrong. We should spend the spade, the spade. A man that is not yet guilty, you cannot throw him in the prison and forget him there. A man that will be saying, the higher court say leave him, is still in the prison, which is person of Kanu. What can you say to that? How can you go and kidnap a person from another country and throw me to jail? The process in which you went through it was wrong. No matter how great it is, no matter how much you want to solve everything, the process in which you go for it, go about is wrong. And for you to get a good institution, you need to be part and parcel all the people that will set up a good constitution that give birth to a good institution. Thank you, Mr. Nigel. Thank you. Thank you uh, Mr. Much. Evis, can I respond in two minutes, please? Because One he actually minute. called my name. He actually made me the subject matter. So I wanted to respond to him One as well. Minute, because since... Um, Thank you. Sorry. Sorry? I said one minute, please. Okay. No, since he called me, he said it, it was a red flag. If he was to do, is he investigate or something like that? Thank you very much that you, you didn't even have that to investigate me. But this is, this is what is called a debate. So if you expect me to be singing on your song, maybe you haven't listened to me. You don't even know me to actually clarify that I hate the Igbos and you don't even know who I am. You don't even know if I am Igbo. You don't even know anything. So you're just assuming this is how it is. The idea that you don't see the far front of it and believe that somebody has just said that is zoo country and you have no knowledge of actually saying no 
other than say there are people in Nigeria who are actually not participating in that. Have you ever heard me, Mr. Every Sisi here? Have you ever heard me using any word negative to any Nigerian or anybody signaling anybody? Go and check for the last four years and I'll give you the history, Mr. Jonathan, so that you know, like you said, you claim to be that you have been stolen. It's always the direction. The point is that Nigeria belongs to everybody who lives in it. Whoever that is troubling the national security of Nigeria should be brought to book. And that is how institutions actually works because institutions are made to make sure that it drives the country into a, a better direction. I have always signified that everybody in Nigeria has the right to the national cake. Nigeria does not belong to anybody, not even to Nibu. I don't have anybody against the government. I have always been a critic of the government. Please go and do your findings. I am not here to come and make it, like I tell, GB because it actually suits you. This is a debate. You, I cannot sound your d direction. My direction, I understand it, but right. somebody cannot call a Nigerian citizen right. a kleptomaniac or they have to go to a psychiatric and you expect right. me to come and tell you, thank you very thank much, you. sir. That will never Thank happen you. for me. Thank you. Thank you. Please. Hold on, sir. Hold on. Please. Hold on. Mr. Jonathan, hold on now. Now you go speak. I want to give final submission. You are the first on the panel. Please hold on. Let me quickly pull this through. The word kleptomania uh, might be causing a lot of confusion right now. Uh, Madam Luke used it, and uh, Madam Rita always used it here all the time. But maybe the direction of the words today is what is causing the, uh, a lot of... No, it's not clear to me. They said they were going to psychiatric, the citizen. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. I'm giving... I know what I'm saying, you know? But I want to let everybody to understand. The only area that I go against when Madam Luke use it against the people, Nigerians, not the Nigerian government. I repeat. But before I will continue with my submission right now, I would like to reiterate again the meaning of kleptomania. Kleptomania refers to an impulse control disorder in which you develop an inability to resist urge to steal. Unquote. To steal. Usually... God, you God bless you, Nigeria Watch. Hold on, please. Usually, you will pick items that you don't generally need and they also tend to have little value. Why it is a rare condition. Then the main word that I wanted to read out right there to steal. Henceforth, my people, nobody should use the word kleptomania anymore. Just call them thief criminals. Maybe that one will be better. Yes, because that's who they are. Maybe the word kleptomania, using it on the people is what Machiavelli is against. He's not against using it for the government. He said you use Can it. Can I correct you, Mr. Najawash? Yes. What uh, Madam Luke was saying, if you see the direction, it was sticking on the government, the people that are ruling Nigeria, that they are kleptomaniac. Play the tape back. Yes. People that, that are ruling it was Nigeria. direct. Yes, that it was directly to the government. No, not no, the no, people no, no, Nigeria. no, 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 no. He only no, said no, that no, the no, Nigerian people no, have no, a no. I don't think uh, so. We, we did not no, listen no, to no, the speech, Abi. Hello, I don't, please. You know, uh, Black Panther, you are 100% wrong there now. Uh, you don't jump into a conclusion if you don't. It don't matter when you don't know how it started. I've already opposed Mandalu before you came in. So what are you talking about? I was uh, at the background go, listening to her very well. Hold on, hold on, please. Nobody should keep put words in my mouth that I did not say. I need to what did you explain say, myself. I said, because of the prevalence of psychiatric illness in Nigeria, we are not able to defend ourselves only because the worst of the psychiatric cases are ruling us. Meaning kleptomania, which is a psychiatric disorder of stealing. Okay. And the Nigerians, I didn't call Nigerians kleptomania. I said Nigerians are going through PTSD. Okay, PTSD. Okay. Yes. That's so fine. please, nobody should... PTSD. Thank you. PTSD, so which means under the Mental Health Act. So that's what you like labeling us to. Like if we don't have the direction of which we know that our country is going on the right on the wrong direction. And this is why I opted it. We cannot be using it in a, in a citizen. And why do you want to clarify yourself? You are just too direct. Please, please. I've countered out on that and I disputed it with every ramification. That Nigerians are well-sounded people. 
because they are not talking at this moment doesn't mean that they are going through PTSD. They tried during the end SARS. You know what happened. So I've countered that on that before some of you came to the panel. I will speak for Nigerians in Nigeria. Many of them are very well sound people over there. They are not speaking doesn't mean they, they, are, they, they have psychological situation or problem. No. So on that, I would like us to move on. My sorry, people, Mr. Niger yes. Watch, oh. Mr. Niger Watch, I'm sorry. I posted that the link. That is from your Nigerian psychiatrist there. That is what they posted. That, that's what so I'm that saying. Is... You, you, made, you mentioned it before. No, you listen said, to yeah, me. People me. reported it. Yeah, and no, I no, responded no, no. to not you people, by not telling people, you not, that. Not, not people reported it. I'm talking about Nigerian psychiatrist in Nigeria. That is the story right there. They are the ones that said it. Yes. That's what I'm saying. Are you, going to, dispute what, are, are you going to dispute what people have researched on? No, you said we should, we, you, you're the one that said we should always bring evidence here. If we have no, it. the evidence is fine. The evidence is fine, madam. I don't have a problem with that. This but what research. I'm saying this is the research. We are, we are what, going by what, emotion. That's the research there. Madam, look, please hold on. What I'm saying is this if we have to look at it holistically, based on statistic, you cannot say one out of four of Nigerians are going through PTSD. I disputed that. Both the reporter and the article... Where is your research? Niger Watch, Niger Watch. No, Niger Watch. Hold on, Ms. Madam. Look, the research does not say 100%. Let us go. Let us be very factual. If you go there, the research does not say 100%. It's the statistics they are using. And when they come, they, they now landed in their conclusion. Because when you are running a, a, an experiment, you have a statistical benchmark. And when you run to a certain benchmark, you can either go forward or backward. So in their running conclusion, they ran that Nigerian. They didn't say all. Simple. Ah. Okay. All right. Let's move on. Thank you very much, uh, my people right there. I'd like us to start having a final submission because Madam Luke do already break all the table where we'll, we'll get remain. So we need to go buy another table uh, because I, I didn't see this coming today. But let me pick some calls quickly. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, uh, Mr. Dele, for calling in, sir. Good evening to you. Please talk to us. Two minutes. Yes. Uh, good, good, yeah, good evening, um, Niger Watch. Uh, I say hello to the panel um, and to you yourself and, um, and um, uh, Mommy Diaspora as well. Um, I just want to touch on one uh, issue that's been raised, which is to do with uh, uh, Simon Epa. I think it's such a coincidence that uh, first, it was somewhat unusual that Namdi Kano was given all that time in the courtroom to attend to the media. So that means the Nigerian government had something to do with it. So, which is probably positive news. The other thing is the fact that Namdi Kano mentioned Simon Epa within the space of a few days, now, Nigerian government, the military, is mentioning the same thing. So it seems like there's some sort of um, um, back, or through the back door, or you know, somehow there's uh, some sort of contact and interaction that has been made with an Andokano. And hopefully, this is probably uh, the precursor to towards release from prison, like you had mentioned earlier in the month. I mean, that's all I want to say. And um, thank you very much. You're doing a wonderful job. And I wish you all well. Thanks. Thank you. God bless you, Mr. Dele. God bless you, sir. Okay. Um, and then Iris Finance, I've just left a wonderful message that I wanted to talk about earlier on. You can see, according to the research that Madame Luke brought in, which is the root of the pla this platform, I really appreciate you, Madame, for bringing that on. But do we have a database to certify that, that that 60 million Nigerians, 60 million Nigerians are going through PTSD. How did they manage to put that together? Na, Niger, can I answer history? that question? Yes. Can I answer the question? When you are running a conclusion, when you are running a process, an experiment, you don't need a database. So what how you did need they put need... the numbers together? That's what I'm saying. Okay. You need to do what? You need to create your own. And that's why you see people go out to do some investigation they will run their conclusion within the the whole state and take the average on each state 
and bring it to That's the table. Say how? Not visiting see, space. They, how? They, they, see, and, and a person like that, look, Niger was somebody that's experimenting. We not you will not tell you the process unless you come to them and ask, or you give you take them to court. They will not defend the process. Those people are not. They are not. They are not illiterate. They know what they did, and no, they can defend brother, it medically. When it comes to Nigeria, when they come to Nigeria, I have a lot of doubt. I'm sorry, because when no, was no, the last you, time you, we you, had we had censor in Nigeria? Censors. They don't. You see, you don't understand. When was the last if if scientists now, no, Naja Wash. If scientists are going on a PTSD, no, 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 PTSD no, 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 let me no, no. let me answer the question. If scientists are going on a PTSD um, run, they got to take the average. And they got to look at the what the inflow of it coming to the hospital all around the country, and not take the average of the entire country from each state. They will take the average of each state so, and so round it up. Uh, you are telling me now that this report, 60 million Nigerians suffering from mental illness. That is why they said it's 60 million. That no, is why no, I told you that so it's you not are all. Me you agree, you agree to this number. I agree, and it can be subjected to another evaluation to substantiate the fact. Thank you. That's what study is all about. Okay. All right. Hold on. Let me pick this call. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chris. Thanks for calling in, sir. Good evening to you. Please talk to us. And good evening, Mr. Nanjawa. Um, good evening, everybody in the panel, the comment section, and everybody listening to us from everywhere in the world. And my name is Chris. I'm calling from Dublin. Can you hear me, sir? Yes, sir. Go ahead. Thank you. And good evening, sir. Um, I just only a lot of a lot has been said about the other issues going on. I just only want to comment on these um, 60 million Nigerians. Um, the fact is that they don't actually need uh, the database of the everybody in the country to be able to do that. So the way they do statistics, they take sample. For example, if they talk to 1,000 people and they discover that out of these 1,000 people, 600 of them have PTSD. So automatically, that um, 600 can be extrapolated to mean 60% of the 1,000 people. So that's how they usually do statistics. That's on the one side. But on the other side is that, how many are we of a fact? Are we up to the 200 million people they are talking about? Are we really up to that? What about the people that we have lost? What about the censors they did? The last censors that was superintended by Obasanjo, the censors was flawed in its totality. In the north, when they go to count people, you see one man, he will tell you that he has four wives and so, so, and so number of children. But unfortunately, you are not allowed to come and count. So you just record those figures. The censors that they did, that the number of people in Kano was far more than the number of people in Lagos because Obasanjo was angry with Tunubu. So you see, if we talk about all these things coming together, we can see that we don't actually have a database of our own bots. That doesn't mean that we cannot conduct um, a study like this because in doing studies like this, you just take a sample and use that sample to extrapolate whatever figures you've gotten. Thank you very much for okay. your Thank you very much it. for for passing that on. I have learned from that. Thank you, sir. Anyway, on this platform, that is one beautiful thing about the platform. We all are learning here every day. Nobody comes here to be a, perf uh, a perfect person. So, um, yeah. But when it comes to me, I told you guys before. When it comes to me, I don't trust anything to do with our Nigerian government, not the present government, not the past. And I'm not even sure, maybe the, the, the future, I'm not sure. I've never trusted them. So um, when any statistic is coming out like this, there's a lot of doubt. Even the censors, even though the past the censors today and all that, I will have a lot of doubt. And what Mr. Chris just talked about now, in terms of the numbers of Nigerians, how many of us, because I've been hearing since I was born, we are over uh, almost 200 million Nigerians. Almost, that almost, we never ever cross that almost. So, by the way, how do we really know how many we will be? So, um, nevertheless, let's move on. We've argued today. One thing that I want everybody on the planet to understand, don't, uh, don't ever stand on a lane to argue to win. Always argue to learn. Don't say, ah, now me beat them, and you go home to sleep. Then you have a problem. Argue to learn, not to win. Thank you.
Um, we have new people that just came in now, uh, which I'd like to give them opportunity. Mr. ACBD, thank you for joining us. You have five minutes to talk to us. On God concern, you're also going to get five minutes. The new rules of the platform, people who come late, you're not going to get the same minutes from the people who start with us from the beginning. Uh, Mr. ACBD, please talk to us. A good evening to you once again. Five minutes. Yes, uh, good evening, uh, Mr. Nigeria. Thank you for having me. Well, today I've been doing mostly, you know, most uh, listly. I'm ju I've just been listening more from the background, but uh, I just want to say that uh, I don't know why we are defending. Uh, what is the defense exactly? Is it that people are not going through PTSD, or is it that a lot of Nigerians are not suffering from some kind of trauma that these people have? put us through over the years. So I don't know. I think we should not uh, try to be too uh, politically correct, uh, you know, as much as we're trying to be optimistic, uh, you know. So, Madam Luca, uh, I don't think she has any, uh, you know. She's no, no, no. The argument, in case you didn't get the argument, sir, because you just asked a question, let me quickly just uh, answer you. What yeah. Madam Luke was saying, she was right. The statistic is what I was arguing. Okay, oh, so uh, okay. it's up to you to also agree with the f the full statistic or minimize yeah. it. So that's all. But I'm not yeah, saying okay. that it's not as in existence in totality. Yes. Thank you. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, you're right. It's good for us to also, as much as we're trying to make a point, we should also uh, be factual. Which uh, I also commend Madam Luke for doing our own research and posting the link somewhere there on the private chat. Yeah. So, but. Uh, I think uh, going from the uh, from the title, you see, the military uh, is good. That I'm also encouraged that a lot of uh, Nigerians are now beginning to see through some of these shenanigans and trying and also seeing through the distraction that they are trying to create, because these people have understood the way a lot of Nigerians uh, reason, and they know how the public um, opinion usually shifts, and now Nigerians are easily distracted and easily emotionally, not all Nigerians though, but many Nigerians, easily emotionally manipulated. That's what they do. And uh, uh, it's quite unfortunate that all of a sudden, in, uh, what's the name, uh, Simon Epa is now their priority, you know? So they should not, they should tell us why they are not allowing journalists into the community to, to interview the locals and give the real, a, a version of events, you know, they should know they are managing the information that comes out of that space, and then nobody is supporting. Uh, how will anybody in their right mind even go and attack the military? Nobody is supporting that. But what we are asking is that the proper investigation should be done, and they should resist the urge to satisfy every form of barbaric and savage kind of reaction that uh, they are known for by going to destroy an entire community because of uh, the, 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 the crime of maybe a few people, which uh, uh, we don't know exactly what is their motive and uh, how the whole attack was carried out. So they should uh, do proper investigation. They should not take matters into their own hands. Military are supposed to protect the citizens of the country where they serve. So all this thing of... Uh, Somebody, you see some of these um, morons online saying, oh, you, you see the comments, you'll be shocked. You people at that military, they will bring down the place. They will do this and that. And these are people that uh, uh, allegedly <laughs> are human beings with functioning brains. You know, these are the people that, you know, instead of them to be talking about how people should, um, how the military should be careful, and because they're the, they are the ones with the weapon. They are the ones with the only monopoly of uh, violence, like the legalized uh, uh, armed carriers. So uh, we cannot just allow them to do whatever they like because they feel like some nobody had the. Remember the the the, the tweets that he posted the day it happened, which I think they've deleted now. The audacity. So when you're talking like that, uh, uh, the audacity. What are you trying to say? Okay, the people, yeah, but you shouldn't also portray yourself as uh, someone that will destroy everything because of uh, uh, somebody did, uh, you know, wrong against your 
organization, which is uh, also uh, nobody supports that. Like I said, those people should be brought to book because no matter what, you should never take laws into your hands and much more attacking the security forces. That does not make any sense at all. So, but it should be properly investigated. They should allow free press in that area. They should allow the journalists uh, to report exactly what is going on. And also, it should be, you know. So, let me stop here. Thank you. Okay, CBD, God bless you, sir. Thanks for coming mm -hmm. uh, around. Okay, let me call on Oga Consign. Thanks for joining us, sir. Good evening to you. You have five minutes. Talk to us. No, nah, this is rigging. Some people have five, or some people have eight. Yeah, now, five are the gift people. Is the rules of the now. Platform. Okay, <laughs> no problem, uh, Mr. <laughs> Evans. God bless you. Bless uh, every, everybody there. You see, this, this, uh, this, uh, this thing, platform, why well, I usually come here sometimes is because of one, I have some people who are, who are honest, who are good people. You see, Madame Luke is one. Black Panther is two. Unless is also one of them. I have to call names. Uh, what's the other one also? One or two other people. Jonathan, no matter if he's a Yoruba, he's also good. He don't support his people. He, he said the truth. I like people who said, no matter the place where the person is coming from. But one problem we have here is that in the, world, this, the only thing that will destroy us in this in that country is one Nigeria. This issue of one Nigeria, one Nigeria, one Nigeria, one Nigeria. Before anybody become a Nigerian, that person was coming from either Edo, either Yanibo, either a Fulani, either that's we are different nationalities, quite all right. We are. So one thing we are having problem in that country is this issue of one Nigeria, one Nigeria, one Nigeria, one. Nigeria. And whenever we stop saying one Nigeria, and maybe that country will be good. Because that thing is deceiving us so much. Some people are using it to crook others. Now, I yesterday I talked about somebody, but I said the way he's doing things, I don't like it. But not that they were labeling terrorists. And I, I, if I don't know if I should pause so that somebody can give me the description of uh, the full definition of terrorism. Because they said when they arrested in Nandek, they said when they arrested Nandekana, Nandekana was instigating problem in the East. That's why they arrested him. Now, if Nandekan was instigating terrorism in, in, in the East, what of uh, Peter P, uh, Rufai in, 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 in our land? What about this guy in Lagos State who instigated that many people uh, uh, lost their uh, life uh, or beaten when the, the, the election in, 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 in Lagos State? That's the data, bro. That one, they, 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 they packed out. They didn't move I forget his name. Why is not a terrorist? Why is not declared terrorist? Why is not declared terrorist? You see, Yorubas, Yor, some few Yor, Yor, some Yorubas say they have alliance now with the Fulanese. Now nobody should stop, try to stop that. You see, this thing will also bring problems in Nigeria. Yorubas take over now, they are ruling. Now everything is against the South, not the East. The, the military has gone into what they call it, into this thing now, into uh, data and the biasa to I people. Where does, where, where does, where in the world does it happen more than seven days now? People and the bush, they're not eating. If tomorrow they drop people retaliate, retaliate fully, now they say they're terrorists. You can't do that to people. These are human beings. The people who kill the military, arrest them. And the military are the one who first opened fire on them. And the people retaliated. They, what I see that they want to put fears into everybody. Nobody can acquire military. But these military are the one committing atrocities in Nigeria. They are the one. All the problems today we have in Nigeria is the military. The military should go and they go to the barracks. Go, the military for internal, internal, not internal. When they start doing things of internal, that's where the problem comes in. They are trying to make people to become... This Tinibu is using the military because he's, he didn't, he wasn't, he didn't come there legitimately. That's why he's doing everything to appease the military. So they have to give the military free hand to do whatever they like to do in Nigeria, to, to buy innocent people. That's, that's, that, that's unacceptable in any way. Who, what, this is terrorism that calling in, in Nemo State or in the, in the, in the East. What bring up this terrorism? What bring up this problem in Nigeria? One minute Nigeria, left, sir. One minute no, left. Okay, wait. If the Nigerian 
People say the easterners or some of the some of the opposition politicians are the one making the problem. No, the right thing is supposed to be done. Is the government of Nigeria that bringing that to Zodinjo? That is where the problem started in in in, in, the, in the east. Now, instead of bringing in that they can they know that now they can didn't commit a crime. The court have said give leave him. If the if the Nigerian government or Nigerian people love love the east, they're supposed to have released that man so that they become in the east. But they are the one following everything. They are the one causing the problem in the east. Now they are labeling this guy a, 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 a terrorist. That is unacceptable. They are the one bringing all these problems. Let them do the right thing. If they do the right thing, people will not. not nobody is happy that people go and buy people. Nobody. We, we in the east we never do that thing before. East has never buy people, buy the people or anybody at all before. So that's the problem you are having. The problem we are having is even the government is terrorist. Even, they are terrorists. Nigerian government is terrorist. So they should stop all these things and okay. they, let, let the country you. be peaceful. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh, you can't call Nigerian government terrorists. That is. That, uh, ah, my brother, stop supporting You can't call them yes, ah, No. Ah, you can't no, do that. Nigerian government, my brother, you, you forget. You, you can't. You, uh, you are breaking the rules, sir. Please. This oh. is the problem I have with you. You can't call ah. Nigerian government they are terrorists. What does that mean? Please. Ah. You can't do that. The terrorist, Nigerian government is terrorist. They are. They are the one making all these terrorist things. They are not. You are breaking the rules, Mr. Consign. They are the one. Okay, Mr. Consan, please let it go. It's the is the rules of the platform. Please. You are breaking the rules and you are saying it again and again. The day I will remove you from this platform now, you go and join the, the gang that will say Nigeria Watch is a bad person. I'm telling you, you are breaking rules and you are you are doing it all over again. Sometimes I don't know how to communicate with human beings. To be honest. If you want to call Nigerian uh, uh, government terrorists, discuss it with your wife at home, not here. Let me take this call and that's it for callers today. Sometimes it's just so difficult to manage human beings on this platform. It's very, very difficult. You tell them you are breaking the rules, they, they want to repeat it again. Mr. Manuel, thanks for calling back again. You have only one minute. Please talk to us. One minute. Okay, yeah, I really agree with the other man, uh, uh, Makatali. I really totally agree with him. The way that lady, whether Mrs. Luke was calling Nigerian citizen, it is not for very long. We don't. No, she, uh, uh, she said PTSD. She didn't yeah, say Nigerian I citizen. Don't, 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 don't the word. So I totally agree with that, Makatali. Okay. If you want to criticize, you criticize if it's not insulting your citizen. I mean, America is insulting engineers. Okay. It's not fair. Thank okay. you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Uh, let's move on, my people. I appreciate every one of you. I want to quickly say this on this platform. I don't know why some of you just come to this platform. Either you want to deliberately pick on me or... You know, Madam was the first person that started it today. Coming here now to pass something that is supposed to pass on private, uh, 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 as a private conversation to 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 stitch the whole platform. Then uh, Oga Consign came in now. I'm telling you the rules of the platform, and you continue to repeat it. What kind of human beings are we, for Christ's sake? You will tell people the rules of the platform. They'll be telling you, "Let me talk. Let me talk." We have rules that guide us here, for Christ's sake. Why can you be calling Nigerian government a terrorist? Because they call the person you are supporting, Samuel Ekpa, a terrorist. Then you're not calling Nigerian government a terrorist. Everything Samuel Ekpa is doing in the Southeast, you've never ever one day kicked against it on this platform. Many of you will come here, you'll be hypocritically driving around like a runabout. Instead of you to talk about it directly. What do you expect? When you make Nigeria state unrest, what do you expect? Even though we know Nigerian government have pushed many of us to, to the wall. But when you are doing things like this, what do you expect? Obviously, they will reciprocate. They'll fight you back. That's it. You can call Nigerian government a terrorist on my platform. In case you guys are not aware, We've had people before that have been on this platform in the past. Because of one way or the other, they break the rules and all that, we throw them out. 
We don't work with somebody that have been with us for 20, 28 years or 400 years. No. We work with people that continue to respect the rules of the platform, respect the people on the platform, respect every individualism here. Can you come here, insult the Nigerian government, insult the people? Insult, it's not nice, my people. Just imagine, look how many people we have corrected today now on this platform. Some people will come here with, 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 with their mask, in, 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 in pretentiously showing that they care about us. How they want to bring us down, that's what they are looking for. Oga concerned. I have so much respect for you, but sometimes I've noticed for a while now, even Oga CM the other day was telling you to take a word back on this platform. I told you to take the word back. You refused until Oga CM now told you that, oh, please, Oga consent, take that word back before you don't listen. It's crazy. It's really crazy. It's, it's painful that many of us that complain about the Nigerian government, it shows that many of us will do worse. If you sit in the same seat they are sitting on today, you will do worse. I've said this so many times here. How are you even sure you are better than the people that are sitting there right now? Have we have we even sure if you have the opportunity to sit in that seat, you not know, be bo and and and, uh, and and drug you they take on top of that seat? How are we sure? Thank you very much, Mother Iris Finance, for calling in. Good evening to you, ma'am. Please talk to us. Yes. Uh, hello, good evening, everyone. Good evening, Mr. Iris. Um, thanks to all the panelists and everybody in the comment session and our invisible viewer. Thank you all for always joining us and keeping the program going. Um, my reason for calling, um, I just want to say a little thing to Mr. Consign. See, Mr. Consign, not that Mr. Evis is joining Nigerian government, and it's not telling you not to criticize them. It's just telling you the uh, choose the right word according to the rules of the platform. He is the number one person that always called them satanic here. Uh, it just told uh, some of some people right now that don't use the word that was causing problem. You can call them criminal. So. I don't see all these are not names. Names. They are not names. names. So let's say somebody that is calling them this kind of name is, is joining them. So let's be less emotional about these things and be more realistic, you know. I, I don't see any reason for just that argument. You are one of us here, but just try to learn to obey the rules of the platform because there are so many things that could be said here at the time to, you know, YouTube have raw, a law, Nigeria have law. Exactly. Whether you like it or not, the therapist keeps saying these things every day mm -hmm. that important people are watching this platform. Many people are watching this platform. One thing many of us fail to uh, understand here is Mr. Elvis put his face there. He registered this platform. It's his brand. Many of us come here to contribute, to lay our voices and all that. We know ourselves, we Nigerians. If anything go wrong today, 50% or 70% of us will do that. He will be the one to face these things. Important people are watching these things. So for the sake of the platform. If YouTube has to uh, uh, take off this platform, you will not have where to come and lend your voice. Nobody is scared of anybody or whatever. We are just trying to be careful for the platform to remain for us and for us not to uh, bring Nigerian government problem on top of our head because this is a country that just recently they call us out in the CNN saying that we don't have rule of law. Unfortunately, it's like that. So Nigeria is not a place where somebody will pray to even have a case whether you think you can win it or not. So to avoid all this unnecessary uh, problem, let's just be mindful of what we are saying. You can't come here, nobody even know you. So if they are to tell uh, Mr. Evans now, fish out the person that says so in your platform, he cannot even fish you out because we have not even seen your face what, well, one day in this platform. So when he's trying to say, do this for me, try and do this. It's not saying it because he joined them or because it's working for them or for any reason. It's just for you to respect the rules of the platform. Thank that you. being said, in the area of um, uh, the issue of PTSD and all that, I just I, I think I've said it in this platform some time ago, and I will I will discuss with uh, Mr. Evis. Probably will give me one program. I might, I, might, I, might, I might moderate it myself so that we'll talk about these things. Because I said it one day in this platform, 
Nigerians need awareness about these things. Mental health is real. It's real and it's out there. That PTSD is something. Many people are suffering this thing in every country around the world. It's not that sometimes Nigerians don't understand what these things are. That is that thing is, is, is in existence, whether we like it or not. Many people suffer bipolar, depression, different type of things, so that when they hear it, the English will not sound too much as if it's an insult, it's a big thing, it's a big that. No, people are suffering in Nigeria. Unfortunately, we don't have a good healthcare system where they can go for checkup and check themselves for all these things. So let's be realistic. People are suffering, people have it. When somebody says it, it's not an insult, we might not agree with the statistics that, okay, we don't have a number for the doctors to just uh, check 1,000 people and use it to conclude, okay, 600 have it inside 1,000. Now, because of that, we have to calculate uh, about, about uh, 180 million people having it. No, that is what we are not agreeing with. But if it exists, it exists. So I played with people, the Nigerian medical that are giving, uh, medical group that are giving statistics out there, they should do more by creating awareness on these things. Our religious leader, your churches, you have a lot of doctors and all that. You people claim to have foundations. Put your doctors to work under the church. Probably with our salaries, it's possible. Let them create awareness. Let them create a, a session where they where they will can, be counseling people because Nigerians are suffering. Do more. So maybe we'll have a program to throw idea of what they can do so that Nigeria will be aware of all these things. It can, it can be of help to them. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Mother Iris Finance. Thanks for coming in. God bless you. It's, it's just, this is not about anybody trying to take your views you know, your expression away from you. There's rules on the platform for Christ's sake. There's rules on the platform. This is one of the things I talk about in the past as well, that some Nigerians that live abroad, when they visit Nigeria, they beat lights. They insult the police, they insult the immigration, they do whatever they like, they drink alcohol and drive at the same time. But when they return back to America or UK or any part of the abroad they live, they will comport themselves back or reset themselves back to what that system asks of them. You see, that means the problem in, of our country is, 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 is not just the government. It's not just the government, but the citizens as well. We can't continue like this. We are not going anywhere when we are focusing the government, the government, the government, and you, the person, as the citizen, you are not doing the right thing. And you want the government to do the right thing. Maybe now make the CEOs finish, Sha. To be honest, let me the CEOs finish now. They'll say, no, man, then I just talk, they go talk, talk, talk. Even them, they say, are they doing the right thing? So people will come here and call uh, the names. You insult the hell out of them. Just yesterday, I corrected uh, uh, some people here as well. Insulting elderly people just because... You are angry. You are, it has resulted in insulting them. Even though you want to do that, for me, I don't have the power to change that in you. But you can practice it here. We have rules here now. Some of you come here, you pray for me. Some of you support me financially. You, 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 you do everything, your time and everything. Yes, but at least, if I would prefer you follow the rules of the platform than you support me in every other ways. There's rules for Christ's sake. Thank you very much, everybody. God bless you all. I'd like to come to Mr. Jonathan. Mr. Jonathan, thanks for your long waits. Give us your final submission. I'm going to give for five minutes to everybody instead of for four minutes. Five mm -hmm. minutes, sir. Exactly five minutes. Mm -hmm. I'll stop mm -hmm. you. God bless thank you. Very much. Thank, thank you very much, Mr. Elvis. Thanks to everyone, all the panelists, and all the submission and contributions. You know, the... The debate, the argument, that's what it is. Um, but uh, we must always be clear on what we stand for. You know, I want to, well, let me make one correction. On Nigeria Watch, yeah, I've been following this platform at least more than two years before I decided to join. I would just sit down, I'll be listening. Two years, more than two years before I decided to say, okay, this is a place where I think I can lend my voice. This is a place where I think I can identify with three, four individuals consistently, not one month, not two months, not six months, not one year. 
that I will, you know, I will be listening. You know, so before I decided to, you know, to join this platform. So I know what I'm talking about. So when I when I talk talking about fact check, it's not something that I just, you know, just came out of me. It right away when the when this uh, uh, Mr. McAvell. No, I know that already. That's one thing. I know that. So it's not something that I even need to fact check, but I have to use the word, you know, fact check. But I already know that already. More than a, over a decade. So that's a fact. That's the truth. If I, you can even Google it now. You will, you will see articles, stories, some, you know, you know, related to that. That's that. You see, the other thing is that you cannot be, you can be an Igbo man and still hate Igbo. It doesn't mean that because you are an Igbo man, then automatically you love Igbo people. No, it doesn't work like that. It's, that's very clear. We, we, know, we know that. We know that very well. So some people can say, I'm Igbo man, so because of that, whatever I say starts. No, it doesn't work like that. And again, I want to add to this that, you know, we must be very careful because the line is very thin. Stepping out from the position that the platform you know, stand for. And before you know it, you can slip into the other side. Because this, this word, kleptomaniac, psychopath, they are just, they are words, but they have meaning. For me, I don't see them as being abusive. Psychopath simply means lack of empathy. So somebody, can we say that Nigerian people are, you know, you know, display empathy or they have empathy? Of course not. Psychopath is is the behavior of you know you know a, someone to persist in criminal behavior in a criminal activity persistently continuously that person they, they, it is described as a psychopath is that not what we see in Nigeria so I might I might decide to use the word lack of empathy so if anybody come in other words we're just trying to make it you know use a mild word word that is not too heavy who is deceiving who. It's all the same. Either you call them a psychopath, which they are, a kleptomaniac, which they are, which is the meaning of it. The word ignorance, clueless, corrupt. Judges are corrupt. All these things are what, they are the things that are happening. And we all know them for a fact that they are happening. You know. So, finally, I will end on this issue of Falam, people taking a different position, and that when they now come out and say something good, we should just take it on hook, line, and sinker. For me, it doesn't work that way. It cannot be, and it is not the way it should be. If someone, let's take Mahmoud, Mahmoud, Mahmoud Yakubu, we all know. Mahmoud Yakubu can come out today. And start saying the right thing, perhaps doing the right thing, without acknowledging his past errors, it will be difficult, if not impossible, for right-thinking people, right-minded thinking people, to take him, to take everything he's saying. You must first of all acknowledge your error, because if you don't, it means that you are taking the people for a ride. I can do this today and go away with it and then come out tomorrow and do another one and go away with it. You have to admit your error. Accept your error. Accept your... Man, human beings can evolve. That's who we are. I can have this position today. Next year, my position has changed because what I have learned. I have listened. I have studied. So my position can evolve and change. There's nothing wrong in that. But I must acknowledge my past. So when the likes of Fallon are coming and saying this, he must acknowledge that what he did, he did do, whether, you are, whether you deliberately remain silent or you are just saying the opposite thing, you know, directly, you must come out and say, what I did in the past was wrong. Because for someone like me to take Femi Fallon or, you know, in entirety as someone who is coming, it will be difficult. I'm not saying that he's not saying the truth, but I always see it as my, my uh, what, what I call my... 
uh, um, you know, my my antenna is at a lot when Fallon is speaking. A lot. So that is it. So we can, we, as human beings, we evolved. We can change our position. There is nothing wrong in that. But the fundamental part is that we must always acknowledge Thank you. errors. Thank you very much, Mr. Addis. Really Thank you, uh, Mr. Jonathan. I'll respond to you shortly, but I have somebody on the phone. Thank you, sir, for calling in. Good evening to you. Please talk to us. Hello. Off your, off your gadget, sir. So much noise on your background. Hello, Mr. Nigerwood. Good evening, sir. Thank you, sir. Good evening to you. Please talk to us briefly. Two minutes. Uh, thank you for this opportunity. I greet everyone standing upon all the past protocol. Uh, just one or two things I will want to say here. One is concerning this issue of Samuel Lepa. You see, for them to list Samuel Lepa together with over 96 terrorists now, Samuel Lepa has been existing all along. And these terrorists have been there, they've not done anything. Why is it happening now? The Delta State issue has brought up this. These people are looking for a way to encroach the South South and the South East. There is nothing else I can say about it. It's really very unfortunate. They want to come into South East and South South. That land that they may not be able to get through the governors, they will forcefully use the military to come here. And that's the least, least opportunity now. They will say the youth have done this or that there, I will see them coming. That is one. Then two, please, uh, even though I appreciate what uh, Madam Luke said, but I want to say this. When we hear some of these people turn around from being bad and then they are trying to become good, we should please acknowledge them and watch them and see whether they are faking or whether they are being genuine. I had a professor who told me one time, he said, uh, great is the eye that beholds excellence. If Obasanjo, they called him illiterate, called him this, called him that, then he's still much better than so many presidents including the one seated right now that claim to be accountant, claim to be this and that. Obasanjo is far better than this man. Obasanjo recognized what is going on in Abia State, and he, he said so. We are not saying they didn't do something wrong in time past. If they turn around, both himself and somebody like Falano coming out to start pointing out something good or guiding this government or talking to the government to say, try and make it right. For God's sake, let us listen to them and be careful how we talk so that we don't ruin what we are pursuing. Niger Watch, I want to thank God for you. And I pray, I will repeat it, God will not let the voice of people mess up the effort we are making and what we are pursuing. Thank you, Our sir. people are not Amen. doing it. You know, sometimes I listen, sometimes, and certain things are said that you tend to ask. I'm not talking of Madame Luke now. I have nothing against whatever she said. But I'm saying there have been a number of people that will come on air. They will not guide what they say. They will open up mouth. Create room for the people you are talking against. Prepare ground for them. Give them words. Put it back into their mouth so that they will know how to go and act against you. May God help us. Thank you very much. And have mercy on us. I will say about more than this. Thank God you, sir. help Niger watch and God continue to uplift you. Amen, sir. Thank you very much, Allah. Thank you very much, sir. God bless you. Thank you. All right. You're um welcome. Before before I will call on the second person, I'd like to quickly respond to Mr. Jonathan. I guess um, every one of you listened to the submission of Mr. Jonathan that he have been on. He, he, he was watching Niger Watch for more than two years before he decided to join us. So you know what that means. He was watching us to see if this is the kind of platform he can join to pour out his voice. He was listening to every single submissions from everybody on this platform. 
He was listening to myself, me, myself, how I moderate the platform. After two years or so, he was convinced. That means nobody went to him to tell him, oh, Niger Watch is a place to be. He put his time, he dedicated his time to know what is this platform is all about. And it's not the first person. I believe Mother Luke said the same thing from the beginning as well. And there are other people that have mentioned the same thing before. That they, they've watched so many platforms, they've not decided to say, oh, uh, this is where I want to be. But listen, guys, you know why I'm bringing this up again? It's for you to know that any submission you are giving on this platform, people are listening to you. It's not about me. I'm only, I'm just the moderator, the anchor. That's all. I'm learning from you guys. You are learning from me. We all are learning from each other. It's not about me. It's not about me. It's about the people, the spectators that is listening to us right now. There are still some people that is listening to us that have never joined this panel before. There are still people listening to us right now that have never committed before. They are still in contemplation whether or not, whether or not. So it is you or me that we convince them by our submission, by our character, that yes, this is where you're supposed to be because we stand for good governance. All we are fighting for is how we can have a better country. So guys, please let everybody learn from this. If Madame Luke can give that testimony when she came in that no, I was watching you guys. I decided to say this is where I want to be. I hold her so tight. Mr. Jonathan saying the same thing. I hold him so tight. Because those kind of people, not people where you all wake up, they just jump into a platform and say, okay, let me see what they are. No. They monitored. They checked everything. You hear when Madam Luke, they talk just now. She remember to remind me of, our, of my, 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 my statements always on this platform, that Mr. Najawa, you are the one that is saying that we should come with the verified information. Look what I've sent there. So what do you expect me to say? Because she don't hold me for every corner. I don't know what to say anymore because she's right. So come on, guys. Please, when I say respect the rules of the platform, just respect the rules of the platform. You know me saying that you talk past. Not be you talk past for this platform. Please, thank you. God bless you all. Let me call on the next person. Mr. Nigerwood, uh, Mr. Nigerwood, can you hear me? Yes. Um, um, it's just that I'm strained to strain it, but I'm, I'm very, I'm in a very tight position now. Uh, okay. I don't want to leave the platform without not saying uh, in the last point uh, because I have okay. an urgent thing to attend to. Okay. Uh, if I can just use two minutes to address okay. it, and then I'm going to leave. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Give it. All right. Um. Well. I actually listened to uh, my brother, uh, Mr. Jonathan, who was speaking. He said he has been on the platform for two years, actually listening. And he used the word for me that if you have the hate for evil, and I'm very happy that you are here. For two years, I've been on the, this platform for years. And I don't know where he has heard me. And since I've been, and there are many people on this platform who can verify that, if I've ever used the word hate on any of any Nigerian tribes, anyone associated to Nigerian, you can bear me witness. And this is the things I always come. I believe on good governance and I will stand my point. Anyone causing a hindrance of the Nigerian, uh, 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 what's it called, uh, security, or causing a problem of the national uh, 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 to Nigerian national security, you are a terrorist and i will stand by my word good governance it doesn't mean that the nigerian leaders does not understand what is called leadership then anybody who is tagging nigerian to fall down then i should embrace that and and i still stand by it i am a concerned citizen i will stand for the betterment of nigeria that you don't like it because the way i put it that's up to you but my point i have stand on my point and i've been defending it right from day one and i will not change my move Thank you very much. I mean, God Thank bless you. you all. Thank you, Mr. Machiavelli. Thank you very much for your time. Yeah, with me. Mr. Mr. But, but it would have been nice for us. Hold on. 
it would have been nice for him to also listen to us now some of these people that come they say they will talk they will go no, 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 it, no. it doesn't, doesn't make this place good go, it doesn't talk and go he just said, before he gave hold on now before he gave his final submission he said he wants to leave that's his final submission he's been here now for the past one hour so he, he, he's not the type that just talk and go he listened to you and you know he stays with us you know, we, I know the people where they talk. They'll talk, and the next they don't vanish. I know what you're saying, but it's not part of. It's not part of those people. He just said he, he needs to leave, and uh, you know, he needed to give his final submission before leaving. You know, but it doesn't mean you can still pass any message you want to, any response you want to pass to him when he gets to you. You know, he's listening to us when he gets to that. Uh, Mr. Black Panther, you wanted to say something. Yeah, I wanted to tell my brother that. Being nationalistic does not make you a good citizen of that country. Okay. All right. You, you, you will expatiate on that uh, when I come back to you. You know, let me quickly move on to uh, Mr. Ike. Now, even your turn now, Seth. Uh, Mr. Ike, yeah. please just give us your final five minutes. Thank you, sir. Yeah, Mr. Niger, watch. Thank you. Um, that's why I was saying that uh, he displaced me and then he is going. It would have been nice for him to also to hear us out before leaving. But anyway, I won't stop him from going out. He might be listening. Maybe he's going to work, you know. He happens okay. on this platform all the time, yeah. Okay. Um, um, Mr. Elvis, you see, there is this notion that they say, it is because of our bad belly. It is because of the things that we are saying that is making Nigeria not work. Them that are positive about Nigeria, why is their own wish not making Nigeria work? Why? Why is their own? They, since they are, they love Nigeria. Oh, uh, uh, we, are, we, we cannot stay here to tolerate you running down the country. Okay, use your own wishes now and your prayers. Use it to make Nigeria work now. Since we are a minority now, are we not a minority? The people that are calling out the real thing is when you say the truth, they say you don't want Nigeria to work. They say it is your bad belly, your bad mouth. That's why uh, Niger nothing is working. Use your own good wishes and your own good mouth and make Nigeria to work. You know, so uh, coming here to embellish the, 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 the whole thing, we are all Nigerians here. There is no foreigner, even if there is foreigner. And you think if you if you if you don't call it out that they don't know, they know. You said it earlier on that you think the, the international community don't know that that something happened in Delta states. They know. So it is not what we are saying that is making Nigeria not work. The people, the people that put themselves in there, we didn't elect them. The people that put themselves there are not ready to make Nigeria work. If they are ready to make Nigeria work, some of this news should make them have sober reflection. You even see a country where the people would decide not to have anything that had to do with partying. You could see countries where they would decide to wear black, black band, because they are not happy with what is happening. But like I said before, our president is business as usual. They are breaking fast every day. They will come and gather people and breakfast and talk off the scripts and talk. So they are not they are not connected to us. The other day, the wife came and dropped her own. Came and dropped her own that uh, Nigerians are going to go do jobs that they, they, they would refuse to do in Nigeria. It's safety now. Here, people work for 24 hours. As you are closing, some other people are starting. Can anybody go to work? by by 6 30 in the evening in nigeria if not that you are a security man a night watch because there's no safety contractors are working uh, uh, road work they are doing it 24 hours can julius beja work at 8 p.m no way so when we call out all of these things we want nigeria to be like what we are seeing here we are not so comfortable living here and you don't have a place you can call home there are so many. In fact, I was speaking with one of my friends uh, uh, here, and 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 he said, "Do you do you plan going back to Nigeria?" I said, "Why not?" Because of what they have heard. I have not sat down with him before to talk about Nigeria, but they hear the internet has made the world a global village. 
So coming to think that it is what we are saying here that is making Nigeria not work, no way. Is Nigeria not where we have the highest number of churches with all the prayers and with all of the all of the things that are happening? Why has Nigeria not worked with all those prayers? So it is not what we are saying. It's not what we are saying. When you see something wrong, call it out so that the people can, can change. If you decide to say, oh, I don't want another person to hear and things are going bad. Can you imagine the, new, the kind of news that we hear every day from, from that country? And still, our leaders are doing as if all is well. Eh? So we, we are patriotic. When you say, when you, when you, when you uh, speak to power, you speak the truth to power. You are patriotic because what? Why you are talking like that is for those things to change, for them to hear you and stop it. But when we all come out and say, "Oh, let's not speak ill about our country," they will not know that things are going wrong. Because they are not connected, they are not in touch with the people. You see, the kind of when they are when they are driving, now they stop all traffic. So how would they know that people are hungry? They don't. They don't get to see us. They don't mix up with us. You know, the only time we see politicians is when they are looking for votes. But the moment they get in, the same people that voted for them will be driven out of the road with siren. You know, so our people should know that. A leader is a chief servant. That's what it is. It is not when you are elected to go and, and chat away a common good. You go into that place, you think about only yourself. How can a president that is using a GMC, he's using a GMC escalade, uh, 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 he's using a, 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 a escalade that is bomb proof and he's telling us to go and buy Nigeria, made in Nigeria goods. Don't we have not? Don't we have uh, innocent? So why is he using why is he using an, an American SUV bomb proof car? You know, so they are they are you, you follow follow what they do, not what they say. If it is saying, they have a lot to say. You okay? You, did, did you see that uh, um, um, uh, the minister for 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 mines went and formed his own police? I will call it police or his own guards that will these are these are the ones separate from Nigerian police, separate from uh, uh, civil defense. They have a specialized guard that will that will go to guard the mines and all the miners. And you and, and you see them saluting a civilian like he's even a military person. What is that? If you if any community that that stops them from what they want to do, they will clear that community. That's what it is. They are fully armed. They are fully armed, and their work is, is, is their work is uh, 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 um, to 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 protect uh, uh, mines and miners. Have a good night, Mr. Ike. Thank you, sir. I re really appreciate your time with us today. Thank you very much. Uh, to be honest, anybody speaking. Uh, or expressing their dissatisfaction with our country, I'm not against them. I I don't mind you expressing yourself because the state of the nation or the, the way the Nigerian government or rather the Nigerian leaders have been treating us is enough for anybody to talk. You know, my stand is just that respect the rules of the platform. You can express yourself. After all, me, myself, I'm calling them out every day here. You know, so I've never trusted none of them. None of them. Both the past, the present and probably the future. I've never trusted them. And for we to start trusting them, they have to start doing the right thing now. You know, you can't just demand for trust overnight. It's not going to work like that. Thank you very much. Um, let me move on to the next person. Um, Madam Luke, thank you very much, man. Please give us your final submission, five minutes. Oh, thank you, my people. I greet you again. And this was a very um, spirited uh, session. Only because Mr. Nigel Watch had triggered a statement um, saying um, it would have become insensitive to whatever is going on in Nigeria. And I tried to find out why we're that way. And uh, I used myself as an example. When I become insensitive to things around me, I have, a, I have a problem. I have a psychiatric challenge. It's either something is depressing me or something is making me extremely happy. I mean, unhappy. And that can come like by death or maybe a loss of something very close dear to me that doesn't make me function. And I tried to apply it to the Nigerian situation. And it came to me upon me that, you know, 
we cannot be um, inactive for nothing. There's something driving our passivity. And that's why we're being so passive. We have mentioned so many times on this forum. We have mentioned things like Stockholm Syndrome. We have mentioned something about Satanic. We have called on and we have been dancing around the subject. Now it has finally come to you that most of the people in Nigeria, or I say one third at least, are not coping well. Only because there are a series of mental health challenges that can come from stress. You have stress of not being able to feed your children. You have stress from not being able to dialogue with your politicians. You have stress from not being get, getting justice. And to crown it all, you had an election that was supposed to be free and fair and it was taken away from you. I mean, this is stress. And when I say PTSD, people like Machiavelli will tell me, no, it's not happening. You have no idea what it feels to see normal people come out to uh, contest elections, like Mr. Peter Obi, like Mr. Dati Baba Ahmed, like Mr. Alex Oti, people with empathy, people with psychosocial balance, people that are mentally sound. And then you expect me to praise a government who I will not use words because I don't want to break you YouTube forum. And I praise Mr. Concerns for using the right words unfortunately, to break the rules of the forum. If not for the rules of the forum, I would have even used more harsh words. But because of censorship, the Nigerian media is gagged, the social media is gagged, there are certain things we cannot say, and that is why Samanakba is on the hot seat right now. Like I said, we can come here and talk for more we want. I will tell you, kleptomania is a mental illness. Is that an insulting word? Being a narcissist, it's a mental illness. And only because we have narcissistic kleptomaniacs, I'm going to repeat it, ruling Nigeria. And that is why Nigeria can never go forward. And the rest of us, you're talking about answers, answers. Is that not a traumatic situation by itself? The people who went to answers are not a PT, are they not going through PTSD today? Some of them have even fled the country. When you have people like with bipolar illnesses, roaming all over the north, not to talk of substance abuse. And you tell me we don't have a mental health crisis? And you tell me we don't have a mental health crisis when you have the most dysfunctional people in government ruling people who try to be sane and only pray, get on their knees to pray and beg God to come and solve their problems. Passive aggressive folk. People who have lost their way to thinking because they have no education. They have no right to health care. They have no judiciary to protect them. And then you have your narcissistic military picking and choose who they're going to sue and charge for terroristic threats. As for Falana, yes, I said it. He was part of Tinubu's council. So anybody that tries to spin it, run around it, he was one of the ones that said that Tinubu cannot be, put, cannot be prosecuted until he's out of office because of immunity. And after immunity, has he ever come out to tell us Tinubu forged his certificate? You know what? I don't do abusive relationships. You don't tell me to get in bed with my abuser. Do you understand what I'm saying? For those of you who like to play those kind of games, I'm not with you. Once an abuser, always an abuser. You cannot tell me on one hand, you are supporting on the hand the people that are ruining this nation and you come out and be giving yourself some kind of accolades because you want to talk. Meanwhile, your past stinks. Like I said, I don't, I'm not an enabler and I will never be one. Once I see you for what you are, whatever you come out to say is trash to me. I don't pick the good and say no, because I know your game. Falana is playing a game. So those of you that want to buy it, it's all part of the destruction. I wish you all well. Thank you, my people. All right, uh, Amanda Luke, uh, thank you very much for your submission. To be honest, I agree with you. I agree with you. It's just that I'm the kind of person, you know, since we've called them in the past, they didn't listen. Now they are, you know, let me use, let me direct it to him directly. You know, I'm part of the people that call uh, Mr. Falana out so many times on this platform. But now he's speaking. I just decided, okay. But I still agree with you. He has caused the damage, you know, that we all are facing today. Or rather, 
is part of the people that that, that that caused the damages that is affecting every one of us today. And now he's speaking hypocritically. Uh, if you refused to listen to him, I won't blame you, to be honest. I won't blame you. Um, yeah, because even upon that, even upon that, that's why that I'm happy that he's speaking now. But I'm still waiting for when he will just call Tinubu out directly over the, the situation that we all are facing right now in Nigeria. He will but, never do that. And that is so, part of his hypocrisy. He will never. So it's crazy, man. It's crazy. It I have scary. answers to that. You know, uh, when it gets to your tongue, guy, you know, not going to do like Mr. Jonathan, you know, collect two minutes. I not do like Mr. Jonathan. I have answers to why he will not come out and why okay. he has not come okay. out. Talk why him, he came out. Okay. Talk him, talk him. <laughs> okay, may I talk up? Uh, go ahead. But is it my time or may I just talk that one? It's not your time yet. Just quickly okay. say that. Let me, Madam, Madam, um, look, you are right. The reason why he did not come out was like this. His wife, they were politically, to become a son, it has to be politically appointed. They are political appointed, like, like politics. His wife was on the verge of doing that remember when we were calling on him that why is he not speaking he kept silent and he was trying to balance and deceive deceptively he deceived a lot of nigerians and before we know after three weeks or a month the wife was confirmed with an san if you go out you see the picture right there even the son stopped granting interview thank you before leading to the mom mama being an san and after he became an SN, he now came out and started fighting for us. What an hypocrite, for Christ's hmm. sake. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Let's move on. Uh, Madam Luko, you're coming from one corner. Thank you. From the other corner. Thank you. Oh, God. I, in fact, this is my software need to have padlock. We have to the padlock. <laughs> Now the map I draw like that. Now we analyze. Now we analyze issues. No, no, uh, Black Panther. To be honest, let me ask you a question quickly, Black Panther. Our past government, or rather, our government, or how do I put it on both the ones that have ruled us in the past and present, we've called them out so many times. When they start doing the right thing, what will be your position? Are you okay. going to continue to use the past against them, or you just move on? Oh, I don't understand. You see, when our when our leaders start doing the right thing, they have to indict themselves. And they have to seek for forgiveness from the sub, the people that own the sovereignty yeah. of the I, land. I will also respond. I will also add something to it. And when they do that, because when a government comes in and is not following the trajectory of the majority of people that own the sovereignty of the land, then there is a question mark. You cannot do it after and lobby us to deceive, to deceive us, to tell us that, oh, I want to be doing the right thing. When at the front on, you are you are also just opposing and doing the wrong thing by bringing military to take down your own your, your own people. That is not doing the right thing now. We know what they are doing. Okay, okay. let's move on. You will uh, expatiate later. Uh, let me call on the next person. Uh, Mr. Ike, you say you have something to say about that. Please just quickly just do that now. One minute. I thought it was Mr. Ike that said he has something to say because you're giving your final submission anyway. Okay, let me move on. Yes. Well, well, yeah, okay. Just 30 seconds. Go ahead. Yeah, our past leaders, like I said before, if it, yes. Yeah, I just wanted I, I just I just wanted to say I just wanted to say one thing, just 30 seconds. So so what I said is our, our past leaders, when you say if they start doing something right, I said before to say, if somebody cuts off the head, even if he buys the most expensive shoe to put on that leg, it's useless. So when you come back and you repent, you realize, let it be the things that are not permanent, permanent problems. We will not listen to you. We will not listen. That's why Falano's own case is difficult for us now. Because we are stuck with this government for another four years. That's what I'm talking about. We are stuck with the government for another four years. So we, 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 we can't forgive such such inaction. We can't. Okay. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you. Mr. Ike. I understand your plight. Um, 
it's difficult. It's really difficult. I really understand all your plights. Let's let's move on. Let me call on um the next person. Mr. Destiny is still with us. Mr. Destiny, uh, please give us your final submission if you are there. Yeah, I greet you. Thank you, sir. I greet Five everybody. Minutes. Good evening once again. I greet everybody. Uh, Mr. Najawad, I yes, greet sir. you. No verse to, because everybody chat Falano, Falano. The way to me I see for here is that because Falano no support people when some of us support now be this issue where make many of us they call Falano say not talk, not talk. Within the election, Falano not say vote for this one, not vote for this one. After the election now, what do you expect the Falano not to talk? Even if he condemn, okay, Julie, according to that day when I did listen to her for uh, um, uh, Dr. Damage show, it's even the time of OB2, when OB2 the governor of uh, Anabra State. When he tell, uh, after the court case, the court will be saying, make you not go for the, make you not go for, uh, make you not complete the tenure because of the court case. So it's still right for paper, say, no, make it fat. If he fat, huh, he could complete internal. Same thing we still do for the uh, Tunubu case. He argues, say, no, if you go case like this, this guy go winner. He said, because Tunubu get immunity, he not go winner. The one they not call the stay, uh, the one we're talking for, be, well, be go win the uh, side, he come the, 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 the case for, uh, he call it the seat for eight years. Well, All right, Mr. Destiny, Destiny yeah, there's so much noise in your background, sir. So much noise. You know, I'm sorry. sorry. No, okay. you can't take this. Uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I need no. this. Sorry, sorry. Thank you. So sorry. I have to mute you. I uh, accept you'll move out of there. Are you still there? Uh, sorry, sorry. No, I'm not there. Sorry. Okay, People just walking. Right. That's why. You know, today is weekend. So I'm so sorry. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. So, like I was saying, when he make statements that will be must complete his eight years tenure according to the law. People are not saying he did right. He made a statement that because this man has immunity, right now you cannot fight him. Now they are using that one to judge the man. Even if when the case was going on, Fala not say anything. It's what the judges have to do. That is what they will also do. So why is he Fala no Fala no Fala no Fala no? This man have been talking Right from time, no time. Many of us are talking now. Yeah. What that man is passing through in Nigeria, we cannot do it. But we are quick to criticize all these kind of people. But some of us that is saying here right now, Mr. Nanda, let's be reality. If not some of us saw this politician, we will still bow down for them. If we saw them face to face, they discuss with some of us. Did you forget that they, they, uh, they give a... Uh, uh, um, Bwari regime. They offer uh, this the father no chief of staff. Uh, he refused. Many of us here, even if ordinary uh, minister that don't even have any level, they will take it immediately. We are quick to decide when someone he just bring out his own opinion that this is according to the law, not that is his opinion. He said according to the law, this man have it. Immunity, you cannot fight it now. Okay, since the man leave the power, why is it that nobody went to fight him? That your result is not correct. Is, even the uh, Fesos Kiyamo that was fighting the man then, now he's, he's, he's with the man. Nobody is fighting the Fesos Kiyamo. Someone said, This man he has the immunity right now, you cannot do him anything. Then when he leaves, when he leave, you can do him whatever you want to do. Then he leave power, everybody leave him alone. Then you are not here blaming Falano. That is because of uh, his wife is coming for, is going for uh, SN. That's why he's not speaking. What do you expect the man to say? If you ask, uh, ask the judge to do uh, what they, they will not do what they will do. Who leave the election is there? Sometimes we, are, sometimes we are saying, let us talk the risk. It's not because of... Okay, our... thank you. Thank you, sir. 
Thank you. Your time is up. I appreciate you. May God bless you. Thank you. Uh, El Garcia, please just hold on. We'll come to you. Let me, please. Uh, Mr. Jonathan, you yeah, don't forget. This, yeah, this last caller, sorry, just 10 seconds. I don't understand this position at all. I don't understand where he stands. It's not clear. Whether he's supporting Falano or he's against Falano. He's, he's supporting Falano. He's supporting, he's supporting yeah. Falano. Then if yeah. he's supporting Falano, then he said that uh, uh, Falano was supporting uh, Tinumbu when Tinumbu was still was still a governor. What about... I did not say support. I did not say support. Please. I did not say support. I okay. said, what? said according to the law okay, that fine. we cannot start okay, right fine. now that is... Okay, is fine. So which law? law? Which law now? Old Falano in 2023 after the election with respect to the petition tribunal and the Supreme Court judgment. Which law? Old Falano. Which Nigerian law? Old Falano. Old Falano. To come out and say not to do what it is. Eh? No, I, I just oh, want to know. I said which Nigerian law that old Falano, you know, to express himself with respect to the 2023 presidential election petition tribunal and the Supreme Court judgment, which law hold him to not let him talk out? But he starts talking the moment his wife was announced or given the, the, the SAL. Falano now become himself, became Falano back. So, uh, Falano said, uh, sorry, sorry, mm -hmm. sir. Falano yeah. said one thing. He said he did not want to say anything when that election petition is going on. That is and a cheap one, one, my brother. Is that is a, that please, is a cheap please, one. Please, that's please, even please. When, that is a cheap one. Okay, fine. I Can give I you that finish, one. Please? Okay, I give you that one. Please. What What about please. after the Supreme Court judgment? He said he stopped handling all these election petition cases because what sometimes it looks like what they teach you in law that is not what is going on when you are uh, handling all these cases of election because they talk everything outside that the way you don't understand it he said it that's why he stopped handling all these petitions okay, can, we, can we move on now please let's move on Let's move on. When you get to anybody you speak, Augustine, you want to say something or mute yourself then quickly. Or are you talking to us, Augustine? Nami, Nami, they talk now. No, 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 no. Black Party, I know Augustine, they raise and say, I don't know whether they talk for phone. We know they hear you, Augustine. Hello? We know they hear you. We know they hear you. You know, they hear you. You know, say that your system while I don't start again. Sort it out, Augustine, and that uh, will get back to you. Black Panther, what do you want to say quickly? 30 you seconds. See, you cannot, that the last man that spoke, you cannot use what the man has spoken to analyze an issue that has been long for more than 10 years. You have to go back and study it and come to a run a good conclusion so that people can understand you. And you cannot be political when you call yourself a nationalist. You cannot be political. You have to argue the subject and put it down in a very straight form so that people can understand you. Thank okay, you, Mr. Thank Nigeria you. Watch. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Augustine, we still can't hear you, so try to sort that out. You know, let me come to the, the next person to speak to us. Uh, Mr. ACBD, sir, please, your five minutes. Thank you. Okay, Mr. ACBD is not available. I will just move on. I won't wait for anybody. I'm, I'm sorry. Okay, Black Panther, we are, we are back to you now. So give your five for now, five minutes. Thank you. I want to thank you, Mr. Niger Watch, and um, thank God I remember a little bit that I want to speak on. I want to say something here. You can be a nationalist and don't, you at the end run, you be the wrong citizen. A nationalist is a person that loves his country. You can love your country, and when you get into your country, you find yourself in a quagmire, you begin to do the wrong thing as a citizen. Now, what are we fighting for? We are all fighting for the emancipation and a renewed birth of a new Nigeria. And if somebody comes here that, oh, he's talking about... I will not tolerate the insecurity. I will not tolerate anybody coming up to terrorize the country. It is the same thing we stand up to, we stand for. But you have to bring the factors that we are speaking concerning 
and tell us your trajectory and tell us the, how you understand the country Nigeria. You cannot be swerving like a wave, the high sea. You have to stand a ground that this, what we have now is not working. Then the question is, how do, what can we do? What are the ingredients? What are the fundamentals we need to do where we can say that we are starting from a very good foundation and we can be able to see from the mountain top where we are going to. But you cannot build a country under a wrong foundation and expect a good leaders to emanate, even if the good leaders emanate from that wrong foundation. The good leader need to come and dis dissolve that foundation and start to mold it to build another good foundation. Because you cannot, as a good leader, build on the wrong foundation. You will end up, it will end up going back again when your time has elapsed. That is the reason why we are saying we need to come together as a body that believe in the strength and the unity of Nigeria. You preach one Nigeria, but you don't preach what can you do to solidify the one Nigeria. That is what you are preaching. What Machiavelli came here to do is what Buhari has been speaking to us for a long time. That he cannot tolerate anybody talking about the security or bringing down the security of the nation. Is, is that the problem of the nation? No. The problem of the nation is how, how can we be a nation? While one person is talking from Abuja, is saying, oh, I want my own tribe to be leader. The other one is talking from West, I want my own tribe to be leader. The other one is campaigning from the East, I want my own tribe to be How can we annex so that that language we are using, we change? We know that we are from a tribe before we became a nation. But we can, we can annex individual tribal sentiment in us or individual tribal position we have to build a great nation. And I would just suppose and make reference to the Indian politics, Indian nation, as one of the biggest nation, which presently about four trillion dollars have been infused by different parts, different business have been infused into the Indian nation right now. And that is a country, a secular state, ju just like Nigeria. Why are we not annexing what we have? We can come here and speak all big grammar big grammar or come here to to support the government on ground that will not make us see from the mountain top if we are we will still be blind and we'll still continue with this issue i want to say one thing here this nigeria problem some of us has departed and passed before they booted us out of the country we have started it from our youthful days we did not even just jump into it because we are we don't we don't we are just seeing it now we are we love that country because that's where the, that was our best place our umbilical cord is there but i cannot use that to oppress the individual that comes here to tell me that yes this is the problem i have to look into that issue i have to analyze that issue and bring it out and how we can come together and forge on you cannot begin to stand on the trajectory of we don't want anybody to tell our security we all stand on it but you have to look at the factor that is not making us a country that is what you need to look into that we are here to analyze all of us love the country some of us are nationally but we can also be a very wrong citizen when we get ourselves into this system that they gave us by abdul salami if we don't know how it is, you don't know where we are going. We are getting somewhere. It is just we are, we are halfway now. We are getting somewhere. Then everybody will run the conclusion what we have been running. And Mr. Ms. Madame Lute said one thing. He said it is time for us to start organizing ourselves and seek for external force. The external force is not to take your country, but to help you. To help you talk to the people, night in government. This is how you're supposed to go. If you continue to isolate people, you don't want to listen from these people, you will begin to sink and sink down. And when you sink to a level, to a level, to a depth, to a level that you cannot return, then that will lead to the secretion of the country. That is what we are trying to avoid. That is why we said we should converge a new form where we can come, love ourselves, and speak on how we are going to go forward. But Mr. Machiavelli is not speaking that. He's just singling out security. Security is not the only problem we have. We have a lot of issues, a bundle of issues, and it's sinking us right in there in Nigeria, and we are not seeing it. Yes, we have a government. 
Yes, I've been watching Nigeria Watch for the past how many years? Even when Nigeria Watch was in a, in a square room, when he was sitting on the chair bench speaking, Nigeria, that is when I've been watching it. And I've subscribed them, but I wanted to know the funda I wanted to know the fundamental and the and the, and what it stands for. That is what takes me a long time to not come in. It's not a matter of coming in. You have to fit into the right place so that you can be able to exercise your right, and your right will not be pushed as aside. That is what I believe in, and that is what I've been taught when I was in school. And that thing has led me to a very strong place that when I go into any place. I have to look and watch before I take a step. And please, everybody that come here to play politics, and if you don't know anything about anything, we all got to, you know, because we are, sorry, Mr. Nigeria, just 10 seconds. We all have to exercise, want to pay sacrifice. Let us go to the historical antecedent of this man, what happened and what led to it. Not us coming here to play politics. Politics you can play, but not in the state where we are in Nigeria. Thank you, Mr. Nigeria, watch. All right. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Black Panther. God bless you, my brother. Let's see if Oga CM is, uh, uh, if your audio is better now. Please unmute yourself, sir. Let's see. We still can't hear you, Oga CM. You know, I don't know why. Why is your audio have an issue now? Wait till you they plug two more. You can't put one for head. You put As one they tell me. Tell me to throw that laptop. Maybe no, buy another one. This one they plug, 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 plug. It's too much now. That's why we're having this issue. Anyway, Mr. Alex, it's good to have you on the show. Good evening to you, sir. Please talk to us. You have five minutes. Okay, Mr. Najawash, I thought you would give me double of the time because my first time. But anyways, thank you. I'm grateful. Thank you so much. Okay, go ahead. Be talking. <laughs> Let's be hearing you. Thank you. Okay. I I say euphoric greetings from my audience table. I've been listening with keen interest and uh, with the spirit of patriotism and, one's, uh, and love for one's land. You may be in Finland, you may be in England, Iceland, but the only land that you truly belong to is your fatherland. So I, I want us to know that uh, we have become victims of wicked men and women who upon independence, our forefathers had the vision of a country that works. You can't discuss Nigerian progress without discussing the history, without discussing the Biafran War, without discussing the Aburi Accord, and without discussing the 1999 Constitution, or without discussing 2023 elections, the tribal bigotry, the burning of shops, election, broad daylight, my practices, and uh, the so-called people we looked up to in society, the likes of Falana, they kept quiet. A young girl was brutally murdered for the crime she did not commit. In Sokoto State, Falana kept quiet. And these are people that said they fought Nade they used Nadeko to fight Abacha. People that claimed they were fighting for a better country. A country where citizens will have access to electricity, electricity for 24 hours. A country where security will be top-notch, where, where the constitution will reflect the true nature of the people, the unity and diversity they spoke about. Falana was with great Ganifa with me. I thought something would have rubbed off on him. Falana kept quiet when a certain tribe will be, were being proscribed. You can't come and tell us Bugabu. Is this a country they use Nadeko to fight for? It would be better we had left Abacha. If this is the goal of Nadeko, which Falana was an active member, is this the country they really had in mind, fighting the military junta?s Is this the country? Is this the dream country of our fathers? Was this the reason Ojuku wanted to leave? Is this the country right now? Is Falana happy to be a son in a country such as Nigeria just now in 2024? As a, as, as a, as a so-called human rights lawyer. I say Kabu to the detrimental to that. Is this a country? Is, do you call this a country? This fraudulent amalgamation of 1914. Maybe you should go and read the Dodgy 1974, 1975 conference that gave right to the, the local government autonomy of 19, 
um, seventy six. Do we have autonomy? Do we have freedom? Where a certain part of the country is operating a constitution called Sharia law, and you tell me we, we have sons in this country, and another and, and, and another side of the country is having another constitution called the net net constitution. That's not the country where you are a son, senior advocate of what Nigeria or, or of nonsense. The deprivation of justice of Nnamdi Kanu. What is Falana's contribution to that? With uh, Michael Zekome's struggle to emancipate or give the human rights to that individual who was unlawfully kidnapped from Kenya. For me, Falana has been double standard. Double standard. It's a man that should be ashamed of himself. Forget about the boogaboo. Forget about the the innocentiating, you know, stories they tell you. Lawyers have their lawyers are very slippery. You can't get them. Not all of them. Michael Zekome has, has appeared to be an exception. To the last days of Wari's government, Ozekome was still speaking. He came back from the kidnappers then. He kept on speaking. What, what was he speaking for? Against the killings, the rampant killings in Buhari's administration. Was Falana not talking about restructuring under Buhari's government? When last did he talk about restructuring under Tinubu's government? Let's, let's, let's be honest. Mr. Falana, if you are listening to me, is this the dream of the, of the Nadeko movement? Is, is, is this the country you were fighting a battle for? Is, is, is this the future you guys had 25 years ago? I, I, I mean, is this the country where children are being kidnapped on a daily basis and we have a commander in chief of the armed forces and we have the largest infantry in the, on the continent? We are the richest in natural resources on the continent with exception to Libya. Even, even Libya with a divided government is still better than Nigeria just now. Our people are still going there to make a living. Will you call this a country? Where a certain part of the country has been told they will never be president. Never. Where there is an unwritten agreement, I mean, unwritten agreements by some session of the so-called cabal. Do you call Mr. Falana? I leave you to your conscience. Ghani Fawami will be shaking in his grave. If this, is, if this is where you were crying for, going to America, having conferences, going to Washington, going to African Union in Addis Ababa, going to European Union in Brussels, is this what you people were fighting for? To bring a drug baron with drug, with drug activities, with drug antecedents? If Tunubu was from, 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 from another tribe, will you be this quiet about this issue? Telling me that because the matter is in court, you cannot talk? Really? You are telling that to stupid people? So, Father, now with all the, all, all the cases you've gone across African continents, e.g. the cases of Yaya Jamez abuse of power in the Gambia, the, 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 the human rights abuse in Senegal, and so on and so forth, is this how it is done? You call this a country, sir. As a social scientist, I say Kabutu regetamenta to you and your ideologists. It's a tribal thing. This is the same card Wole Shoyinka played. He kept quiet. He kept quiet. He said Tinubu gave him, gave him hospitality when he was being haunted. He stayed in Tinubu's house. <laughs> Guys, no, Falana for me is double standard. Yes, at the time, maybe he was right. But now, I think he has been bought. This is, Mr. Falana's SDN is a shadow of himself. The Falana of the 90s, of the late 80s, that, that went abroad, went across the nook and cranny of the planet, looking for emancipation of Nigeria from the military junctas. It's not the same Falana just now. You can't talk while you are eating. The guy is busy eating. He's eating with the powers that be. His body language says it. With the frequent and rampant, Abacha regime did not kill people the way people are killing people right now in this government and, and, and in Buhari's government. Tell Mr. Falana to come out and tell us about the restructuring lectures he was organizing for young people under Buhari. Where has that word restructuring gone to?
Let's restructure. Let's decentralize power. Let's have a, dev a devolution of power. With those are political terminologies. Not so you can tell me about that, sir. With, with due respect to you, sir. He said the president was too powerful. The president was too, uh, he was a mini god. That the constitution must be amended or, this, or, or, or according to you, sir, quote, abolish. To have a cons that we should revisit the 2014 jo Jonathan Confab, National Confab, so we can have a new constitution where every faucet, every area of the country will be ably represented. These were your words, Mr. Falana, under Boris government. Now you are singing a new song. Okay, round up. I challenge you to a debate, sir. I, I will challenge you to a debate, sir. Sir, with due respect, you may be, you may be more than me in age. But history is always history. Okay. I'll turn it to a debate. Okay, let me let me let me let me round up with this due to the moderating, you know, apparatus or apparatus of the platform. Gentlemen and ladies, Falana is eating. He can't talk like before anymore. He can't verbalize like the like he used to do with Ganika with me. So he has forgotten his pain. He got too much food on the table from the drug baron Kum president. I'll leave it here, Mr. Nigeria Watch, and as usual, this is my humble logo marquee, uh, my logo marquee, I live here with our logo Apacha. Thank you, Mr. Nigeria Watch. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Alex, for coming in to put your voice to this. To be honest, uh, maybe I'm on a different side. I'm trying to really find the offense of Falana because a lot of people have committed uh, a bigger offense more than Falana, but it looks like a lot of Nigerians are very, very angry with this man. You know, but what about I don't know, Mr. Elvis. Mr. Elvis, yes. it's yes. one question, one question, and one question alone. Can Mr. Falano, with all this platform that he has access to, come out? Let us know his mind with respect to the 2023 presidential election. Let us know his mind with the announcement of the presidential election results. Let's know his position. Let me put it in another way. Let him come out and let us know. These are the fundamental issues. Once we know all of this. But he, but he talked about it today. I played the video no, here. No, no, no. He he, he, Mr. Evans, we, he, that is not it. Let him come out and tell us categorically. No, uh, Mr. Alex, Mr. Evans, let me tell you. He talked about the dust state. Did he talk about the uh, It was a dust state he was referring to. Let him, let him come out and tell us that the 2023 election was rigged. Was and I say something. Let's okay. and that and that Tinubu has a forged certificate and it was a drug Let's baron. Those are the key issues. They can I can I say something, Mr. Najawash? Why everybody's okay. angry with him? Okay, quickly as well, please. Yeah, it's straightforward. You know why everybody's angry with him? He has been at the forefront of the emancipation and also at the Nigeria converging for a new constitution. He forced Jonathan to do this. He was part of the group and he backstabbed exactly us exactly god bless you my brother when right. we are being exactly. done wrong he did not speak so when he's speaking now we don't look at him anymore he's part of it okay all right thank you let's see augustine is your audio okay now oh we can't hear you augustine i don't know what's happening you to wear everything just talk directly from your gadget now eh ah the same thing will be happening for the past how many years is still not yet sorted i don't understand you remove everything you are plugging the way you put on your head so whether one now 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 england network it's not network this one doesn't have anything to do with network now it's not network but nevertheless uh oga chris thanks for joining us sir. good evening to you let's talk to us five minutes uh, and good evening mr nanjawash um Thank you for the opportunity. Since I have five minutes, I'll just go straight and uh, try to just uh, cut corners in trying to give my submission. And first, the issue of nationalism. And like Black Panther said, if you are a nationalist, it doesn't make you a good person at all. And because you can be supporting your nation in a very bad way and speaking up against your nation, speaking up against the evil and atrocities and going on in your nation doesn't make you a, a bad person. It only makes you a good person. It's just like um, they say, you, you spare the rod and you spoil the child. So the people that are supporting the nation, even though the nation is going 
on a downward trajectory. Those are actually the bad people compared to the people that are speaking up against what is wrong. Then talking about the issue of PTSD, I think uh, I am forced to revisit this issue. Now, we, we must understand that um, for me personally, I think that 60% is even an underestimate. I would be surprised if nearly all of us are not having PTSD in the country. You know, maybe just the few 10% that are, uh, that are just championing the wealth of the nation. Even those guys, they have PTSD. That's why they are stealing everything. PTSD is essentially post-traumatic stress disorder. It's like a stress disorder you get after you have experienced a traumatic experience. Now, taking all of us on this panel, how many of us say, can we say, is not having a post-traumatic stress disorder from the last election? Anytime we remember the way they, they stole that victory, don't we feel stressed? Anytime we remember the way a section of uh, people from this country were stopped from voting in Lagos, and the things that they are still doing to them, don't we feel stressed? Anytime we remember the way people are being kidnapped and people are being buried everywhere in Nigeria, don't we feel stressed? Anytime we remember that salaries are not paid, roads are not tarred, there's no electricity since the beginning of this country, don't we feel stressed? If you have felt any form of stress in any of this situation at all, at all if you remember any of this situation, and they give and any of these situations give you stress. It simply means you are suffering from a post-traumatic stress disorder. So in um in the in the real context of it, the number of Nigerians actually undergoing that is more than that 60 percent. It's nearly all of us. Then um about Mr. Falana, uh, Mr. Nigerwatch, I think um I don't know the best way to put this. I think you are just too good for the politics of Nigeria, because uh, you want to see all these people as normal human beings. They, because I, I have heard you repeatedly say that, okay, if they've not said something before, now that they are speaking up, they should be encouraged. It is because you are looking at these people uh, as how people should be looked at. They are just looking at them normally. But you should know that for every action these people do, there's nothing they don't do anything by mistake. They know exactly what they are doing. It is planned, it is orchestrated. Their stupidity should not be taken for ignorance. There's a nuisance value in whatever they are doing at every point in time. Falana knows exactly what he's doing. He knows exactly what he's doing. Why has he not talked about the 25%, the, the drug, the false certificate, everything? And why has he refused to talk about the way the Igbos, the way the Igbos, I'm forced to use Igbos because um, at times we, we try not to use tribes so that we don't go to, um, we don't go on the uh, big, we don't, we are not seen as being bigots, but in most cases it's better to see these things the way they are. We all saw the pictures, the images that came out from Lagos. We all saw how people were deprived from voting not just only the Igbos now, but these guys, they kept quiet, and now they want to talk. For example, uh, Mr. Ninja Watch, you see, there are some evil that has been done that you cannot undo. You can never, never undo them. Now they have allowed Agbado to come to power. That's why I say their ignorance, it's calculated. They know that once Agbado gets to power, he starts to enjoy immunity. So even if they talk, then their talk will literally mean nothing. And once Agbado is in power, he has the technical know-how. He has the band of witches that can help him manipulate the system so that they will remain and perpetuate themselves in power forever. And again, it is also important that because we are asking why should people not um, try to um, reconsider Fala? Now, no, we can't do that in the sense that things should be called by their appropriate names. Otherwise, uh, we will misuse the the function of those things. For example, if you have a plate, if you have football and you call it apple, people will be forced to try to eat it. But if you call a football a football, people will take that football to the feed and play games with it. So that is why names should be called appropriately. Falana has fed Nigeria 
He has failed the Constitution. He has failed what he was supposed to be known for. And there is no way any person can tell me that um, Falana is just doing what he knows best. No. There are three main considerations why he has decided to toe this path that he has taken. The first and foremost of them is not financial gains like most people would think. I think the first consideration is ethnic consideration because um, Farana is not known as somebody that has given to a uh, flamboyant lifestyle. Moreover, he has just one son and the son is doing well. So um, I think it's ethnic consideration that was the major driving force. And apart from that, we cannot also rule out economic uh, factor. And lastly, career progression. The sound in the SAN, we know they've politicized it. Like, uh, <clears throat> what was his name? Aviation minister, that's um, Festus Kayamu. You know, it was after the dirty job he did for Buhari. After that, when Buhari came to power, the records are there. Immediately the following year, if not the same year, he was made a senior advocate of nonsense. Then, um, if you look at the election videos, like I said, there are many instances that Falana could have intervened, but he refused to. He refused to. So that's why we must call these things the name. And the name is, it is tribal bigotry against the Igbos. These guys, they have sworn that an Igbo man can never be the president of Nigeria. And that is exactly the way it is. No matter how any other person look at it, I simply do not give a damn. Now, I want to leave, if you still have doubt about Falana, um, everybody listening all over the world, do you guys remember that Falana and Ozekome, they had a fight on national television? Both of them, they featured them on channels, either channels or TVC, and we'll go through that, uh, uh, um, and that um, um, interaction that they had. Mm -hmm. The battle was so much. I remember, I remember. Yes. Yeah, the battle was so much that people were calling uh, channels that they have to bring both of them back again for a replay. That was how bad it was. Right on, brought, Mr. C. Right on. Yeah, they brought Falana and Ozekome back again. Now, everybody listening, for Falana and Ozekome to be at different side of an issue, they fought against each other on national television. So that's and both you. of them were with Ghani uh, Ghanifa were those days, oh exactly. Uh, yeah. So it's true, both yeah. of them and, and uh, Ezekome was the second lead um, uh, uh, man in the chamber after Ghani was the second man. Yes, yes, it's true. And it's true. And what we are saying now, it's not 20 years ago, it's just like five years ago, or four years, even four years ago. The video is there for everybody to see. So, um, in summary, um, I think we should call things the name they are so that we can appropriately deal with such things. Mr. Nandiawos, thank you. Good evening for the opportunity to contribute. Mr. Um, Mr. Nandiawos, can I ask him a question? A, a question, yes, if, I, if, if I'm allowed. But he doesn't have, he does have any minutes to respond to your question. Okay, okay. Just that's, for, that's for 10 seconds, good. if you can answer me next time. Oh, okay, go ahead with the question quickly. Okay, my dear, my dear brother, thank you for your for your analysis. Uh, if this is the Nigeria Falana and uh, Nadeko were fighting for, was it not better they would have left it in, either with Abacha or was it was it not better uh, they would have left go one would have left the Afra to go? This nonsense we call a country. What do you think about that? Yeah, see, it's, the, the it's, issues it's, are very clear. I don't know why it's so difficult for people to understand. It's, it's, you know. It's, 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 Excuse me, Chris. Okay, 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 continue, continue. Yeah, the issues are so clear, and I don't know why it's difficult for people to understand. Um, yes, we don't have the benefit of hindsight. We cannot say that, oh, it could have been better or if we had known. But if they had left it the way it, it was, it could have been better. And let's make this very clear. People that are against the Aburi Accord, what Ojuku did, especially those of us that are from Edo and Delta states, what Ojuku did, what Nam Dikano did, is not different from what we did to get our Midwestern states. When we exactly. felt that we were being surcharged by the Yorubas, so we called for a referendum and we said that we want our own states. And we went for it and they gave us that our state, Midwestern state. So how is it different from what Kano is doing? 
How is it different well, from sorry? Jukai? The referendum is in the ninety six three constitution or this present constitution. Mm -mm. So it, was in, it was in the it was in the uh, Western Parliament and the people represented in Midwestern states, they opted that they want to leave the West because we'll be a part of the uh, Western Parliament. We opted God that we want God to bless you on our own, just like Unam the canon, because it was there in the in the constitution that I will all, yes, I, I will always say we didn't vote for him, so he was not meant to develop us and, and yes. we opted to leave. Yeah. And that was that was that was those were the, the because we left. We were now able to quickly started doing things very in a very fast pace. We brought University of Benin. We did so many things, and we know before you knew it, okay. Midwest State, Bender State became a household name. So, uh, Mr. Alex, to your question, yes, they could have it could have been better, but unfortunately, we've messed up everything. So every Thanks. time you from Edo and Delta State, any time you point your finger to Unam Dikano and Ojuku, remember. This was the same way we got our own states. It's just that the Eurobars didn't declare war on us, like Nigeria declared war on the Kanu and declared war on Juku. Thank yeah. you very much. God bless you, Mr. Dublin Chris. God bless you. The you. just as an addition, the of that of that please, please, before you do your addition, uh good evening to you, sir. You are now your submission you want this, so there's no just addition. Say, my microphone don't they work now, so all, uh, yes. all, all, all lost times where they why bank all the minutes why the bank scenes I go recover them now. No, you know, no, see, Najawo, Najawo get <laughs> you, the same sense where you get you get up with, with, <laughs> in, with interest. You know, so they put my minutes in the bank. Anyway, thank you okay. very much, Najawo. I'm I'm really, I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk to us. You are the last in the panel. Exactly, exactly. I'm really whatever. I'm really sorry that. Uh, that's a technical issue. I greet everybody. All protocols duly observed. Actually, when I wanted to come in was this idea that uh, Falano spoke for Obi that Obi should have his ATM mandate. No, Obi was impeached twice in his first term because he wanted to save money. He brought that his system that Ndanambra didn't want. Did nobody wanted. So he went all the way to Supreme Court. He won on his own accord. It's as simple as that. Not that the one human rights lawyer was putting maybe one type of manu for a make it a lie. That one didn't work. And second time, he won clearly. So there was no need for that. The issue with Falana is hypocrisy. And, and then let me establish it or double speak. Falana, Falana stood at, uh, where is it called? Freedom Square or Jota. I saw him. He was there. He was the person that told the gathered crowd. Tomorrow, when you are coming, bring your food, bring your mat, sleeping bag. We will all, we, we, we will stay here. They we, this government must we it must capsize. Something like that. Because Jonathan wanted, based on the advice of Okonjo Iwal, to remove this subsidy. Not because that they shouldn't subsidize Nigeria. There's nothing like that. Not because subsidy won't be good. But the, what was happening then? And that's why I always refer people to this book written by Okonji Iwala. Fighting corruption is dangerous. The, what was happening then, Falano, they knew all these things. So, was people will come and say they need, people will come and say they bring check or bring a bill that they should be paid so so amount for importing petrol. Now, where is the shipload? Ah, if they, if they do more age, if they somewhere, if they this thing, they will approve. So this thing was getting too much. One day, Okonji Iwala had to pick phone. Saraki knew about this. He made, this, made mention of it in, in the Channel's TV, one interview. Um, Okonji Iwala picked phone, called Lloyds of London. They are number one marine insurer all over the world. They are the biggest. Lloyds of London. In fact, they started marine insurance. Every ship, the way a person they come say this now in office, you know, everywhere. Now, so Lloyds Insurance has the whole high sea, Atlantic Ocean, Indian Ocean, Pacific Ocean, everywhere where they're on this war earth, they know. Okunjiwala asked them, say, look, how many cargo, because they call them cargo, are carrying, I mean, how many ship are carrying a cargo to Nigeria? As we are speaking on the last one, week, they say nothing. Ah, the woman surprised. He asked, even from Argentina, where then they claim everything. They said nothing. He documented it in her book. 
Only I couldn't get off that for sure. Don't show him here before. Fallon or their way because they organized a seminar then. Okonjo went to Jonathan and said, look, the CNC, my president, what we should do is to scrap this. Because the moment you scrap it, that we are no longer doing it so that we will not say this is the way we want it. So that we end all this idea of a subsidy. People will just come and listen to people. That was what made them to go to Jordan. It's not because of the interest of Nigeria. It's, interest, it's, the, people, it's the interest of those fat cats. Falano is aware. Those fat cats. So there's everything on him on Jonathan. They call him, call him all sorts of names. We all know it now. Or just every time Nigeria, we occupy Nigeria, everything. Fala not them. Will they show you they all there? All of, I mean, we all saw them now. Jonathan letter capital. Oh, by force, so he, he capitulated. They now tell him one of the so Kojo should resign and get out. Because the woman, that's why the coordinating minister. The coordinating minister means that for the first time in the history of Nigeria, every minister must pass. Their budget, anything through Okonji well. You know, it hasn't happened before. That's why they started coordinating. When you get to Jonathan, you say, go to Ngozi. If he approves it, then we come. We present it to executive. Every minister, so they don't like it. That was the time Nigeria should have had it good. Eventually, see where we are. So why people are not asking Falanese? Now that we are now in this, why are you not leading the people on the street? So that is because he has an interest. The wife wants to be a son. Somebody said it before me. That's why I was itching, but it's okay. We all know it. So all these people you are looking at, they are not our friends. They are not. Nigeria is all about interest. It's as simple as that. So that's why when some people talk, because the problem with Nigeria is, and that's why I always emphasize this here, here let us try and cultivate the habit of reading. I now know why they say if you want to hide any truth from a black man, put it in a book. Even if you dump him for in, 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 in house, he wouldn't know. Because would, nobody, until I read that book, I know, and I know why the woman titled him, Fighting Corruption is Dangerous. It's, it, it's, it's everything in black and white. When I read it, I shake my head. I said, what? This was what is going on in Nigeria. And so somebody stepped in to stop it. She wanted to stop everything and rebalance our economy, which she did with Nollywood. That's why Nigeria became the highest, became ahead of South Africa. So there are things that when I hear some people now talk, only that Nigeria, they will enjoy, but just keep quiet and then be talking. Go ahead and read what they did that time. January 2012, it could have been the turning point in Nigeria. Jonathan came. That's why sometimes when we criticize Jonathan, because I read his book, which is called uh, My Transition, my transition hour. This is it here. This is Jonathan. Some people haven't read this book. So if I'm speaking about Jonathan, I'm talking with authority. My transition hours. Good luck, Ebele Jonathan. One of the things he faced, just his regime and everything, when you read it there, you now know. So the man came with a very, very good intention. Jonathan, that's why he said the blood of Nigerians. But because of the fact that the interest, this Tinubu you are seeing, you know, now them, they had to collude. They have to collude just to paint Jonathan in a bad light. Jonathan being PDP, Jonathan being PDP, PDP shares their six top positions in the country according to six geopolitical zones. Good luck, Ebele Jonathan, Bayelsa, South South President. Nama Sambu, Kaduna State, Northwest, Vice President, number two. Anim, Pius Anim, Ebony State, Southeast, Secretary to the Government, number three. David Mark, Benue State, North Central, Senate President. Then um, uh, there's somebody from Bauchi, I think something, uh, something uh, forgotten the former banker. PDM from Bauchi, Northeast, PDP chairman, making number five. Number six, that you go to Southwest, Mulika Konde, Speaker, House of Reps. Tinubu cornered it and gave to Tambua, and then said Jonathan didn't give Yoruba. 
anything. He marginalized the Southwest. That was where the thing started. All these Falan of them, this where they gang up. Oh. Nothing they didn't do. They, that's why Tambua has to be speaker. He's not supposed to go to. These are the six top positions in PDP. Jonathan did all this and then said, well, it's the house. They, they cornered it. So when people are now coming, and that was how the heat started. So that was the chance Nigeria lost of being a civilian regime. Since then, nothing. And all those people that did it, now look at where they are. Look at where Nigeria is today. So sometimes, because we haven't got a sense of history, or some of us do not know the events of the past, they can't put it in context. When they come and speak, they will only talk as if maybe they saw today's headline. You can't fool me like that. I may listen to you for hours, but if you talk Finnish, me self, and I know say you need this, you said so many words without saying anything. So me, I could just look at you, say, well, you can't fool me. So this is how it happened. When you see all this lack of imperialism coming now, I just look at them and shake my head. They are not doing anything. But the, today, the headline, just to tell you hypocrisy, where they're Nigeria today, the headline I saw today in Niger World that made me to say that I must come in. Army is declaring uh, Simon Ebb and 96 others wanted. You see, the way Nigeria do things is just that it makes you as if we are really illiterate. I've suggested it here. If it's me, CM, you want. I mean, the UK, you know what to do. You don't need to make noise. Nigeria has diplomatic relations with Simon. If Simon, you need. All you need to do is to call Attorney General, draft a letter, call Nigerian ambassador to Finland, give it to him. He contact Attorney General. They, they talk government to government. You state what you want, everything that you need him. That is how to do. This is what they call his tradition. It has, it's done everywhere. Then they will now ask you, Okay, provide us this. The Simon may express uh, something like, um, um, uh, what is it called? Fear. The fears will be written down that I won't be tortured. All this is. Then you bring the. That is how civilized things are done. But all this playing to the gallery you are looking. Is it not here they publish names of people sponsoring terrorism in Nigeria? Yeah. See, today. Mr. Ansian, can I ask you a question? Yes, please. Can you extradite a, a military man in another country who is serving military man? A, a serving military person. A serving, a serving military person. There must be. Yeah. There must be. A, I mean, you speak on. You speak on diplomatic terms first. There must be. As long as. As long. Yes. As long as you feel that there is a and uh, something like something for the person to answer. After all, Bakiri though is a police officer. Um. Um. Uh, yeah, yeah, Black Panther. Yes. Definitely. Yeah, that's what I'm saying now. Because yeah, so that there must be a way. There. There must be. There must be. You can. Because, yeah. be, Yes, please. Dr. Sia, Mr. Najawas, everybody, please oh, join me. It's my it's my birthday. Thank you. Today's my birthday. Thank you. <laughs> can can you imagine? Birthday? How can you birthday. tell us? Happy birthday, my brother. Happy birthday. Ah, yes. wow. Thank you. It's I past 12 years. Thank you. you forget Happy them. birthday. Very soon we Happy birthday, Alex. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Happy birthday, Thank my you. Lord, brother. I wish you anyway. the best of life. Anyway. Anyway, let's Amen. Oh, thank you. I'm sorry for the intervention, Mr. C. I'm sorry about that. No, Just uh, no, not to, no, because, not to worry. It's a positive. Too, Mr. Uh, Mr. Mr. Nigeria should say I'm I'm going to close now after this is my submission. No, oh, nobody says anything. <laughs> we know we can. Anyway, happy birthday to you, Mr. Alex. Alex, uh, many happy returns. Long may you live. It's as if I know. No, I've I've already paid my tribute to you. So whatever happens, I'm settled in life. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is. Uh, now, if they need, this is how to do it. All these things, I don't really, because one thing with me is that I so much believe, believe in fairness and then the rule of law. Now, if this is what you want about Simon, why not? Today, the Niger Nigerian government on their own published a list and told us, like, uh, uh, maybe may commoners, these are the people sponsoring terrorism. Then what are they doing about it? Rather than going to Niger Delta and be buying people. What is the point? You know, today, I'm sorry that I'm just happy that when this Niger data issue broke away, the first that I spoke on it, I was kind of trying to be something uh, a bit academic by saying we had it in uh, OD before, had it in Zakibian, we should have learned a lesson, do inquiry, know what to do, and then maybe in future, what lesson, how do we avoid it? I was just speaking in this thing because I know it's a developing news. Do you know that from what I've we gathered now, it is not really peacekeeping they are going there to keep. 
is high level bunkering that is going on in the Niger Delta. And it's the military that are doing it. It's just that they want to displace this. God as bless as, you, Mr. CM. As, as, Thank as, you, Mr. CM. Thank you, Mr. CM. Organize yes, with you, Mr. Yeah? CM. Yes, I can, I, I can also confirm that. Yes, yes, yes you are right. Yes. Listen. Thank so, you. Listen, listen. That is why they have to, what is it called, a, a blackout for the media. How can you be keeping peace and you avoid the media? Is it not the media that will be your, your, your eyes and ears? The media will see you dead. I mean, peacekeeping, you see them just, something like they just, you know, peacekeeping means that every car entering maybe Okuawa or so, you open the boot, you close it, you allow the people to go. In the market square, you see that is what they mean by peacekeeping. You see, they maintain physical presence. The the what is it called? The community will be there. I mean, that is you are keeping peace, such that anybody that wants to foment trouble, the moment they cite you, cite you, everything calm down. And then the villagers will be giving you information. That is thank you, Mr. CM. Thank that you. That is that's the same thing they are doing in the north. That, that oh, that's that's CM. Oh, that's CM. Ten seconds, please. Ten seconds. You know, I called, I called very to specific person. You know what the person told me? He said I should go and watch the movie The Godfather. I will understand okay. what happened in Godi. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I watched and Tony Montana, the one that said, uh, if you have money, if you, if you, don't, just don't worry. If you have money, yes. you get the power. If you get the power, you rule the world. That is yes, he said I should go and look it. Uh, I'll see Tony, how Tony Montana was using the, the police, the military for his own thing. Exactly. Say that's so, what happened. So, so you see, what is happening in the Niger Delta? Now, what is happening in that? That's why they are going to the barriers. They have to coordinate everybody off. Some tough people, because the guys over there knew what was. They are just trying to. You know, there is something like the poverty you will be in, and the military will be there. You know, when somebody come here and tell you that the military are guarding the critical access of the country. Do you know, have you people have, you know, that's a coded message. I don't want to, there are some people I don't want to discuss. They are not worth my time. They will come here and tell you, don't you know the military are, Military is guarding our, the critic, they are not guarding. They are, they are, they are overwhelmed. They are, they are overwhelmed. What they, are, what, uh, what they are doing there is that they are the people aiding, doing the bunkering. The villagers are just there to collect the environmental degradation and they don't like it. They don't have to stand up and then talk to them in the course of trying to look let me tell you ordinarily nobody will just cock gun and start to point it towards the military man nobody no but no blood no no matter what it Thank is in the, it, it it is in the attempt to tell them that look this is easy then they now want to try and feel that they can buy them then the thing happened for somebody to buy the soldiers, it means that you, the soldier, you can't have. I mean, we see soldiers everywhere. How many people do buy them easily? You have to fear. So that is what is happening. That's why sometimes when this type of news break, because I studied it, some I was somewhere today with us. I said, no wonder. I said, I knew that is exactly what is happening. And why must it this thing happen? This is a high-level government conspiracy. You can never know. That's why quickly they just authorize them to go down there. Why should they go down there? Let us. Don't quote me, quote the governor of Niger State. Niger State has 25 local governments. By the admission of the governor, he said 12 are under the occupation of ISIS with their black flag and that Arabic inscription. Peter B.V. mentioned it. Why is it that military are not going there to dislodge them? 12 out of 25 local governments in Niger State are having flag ISIS installed in there. How many ISIS are occupying Niger Delta area? Nobody. Yet it is there you are going to send troops. You see, people, Nigeria should wise up. That's why when certain things happen, you don't just take it. Nigeria has been occupied. What is happening now is like this is the dying time. They just grab whatever you want to grab. High level bunkering, oil stealing is ongoing in Niger Delta. That's and why they don't. At, and then look they, at how many, and look at how they, many people they had to kill to they get don't, to they, Who is the real terrorist now? They don't want they don't want the media anywhere near. Somebody spoke on channels or whatever. The guy was almost crying. I think you saw it. He said, My people, even the we even the old people, they are in the bush. Somebody will put, he said they are in the bush. Okuama is like a deserted area. They deliberately did it. They know what they are doing. So you see, certain things happening in Nigeria. It's not just that's why when you hear this conspiracy, oh, that's people, if you say they deliberately do them, why, 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 why? What? Because, what because, oil because, bunkering. Yeah, they, they, oil bunkering is oil that is issue. Some people it's have not, come to power. They see, want new settlements. They want new ones. See, listen. 
Niger Watch. If two communities are having land case, all you need to do, the moment, just like they say it's a land issue, Okua and then and the, the other town, neighbor, you know, the county, their county goes to each other. All you need to do, I mean, it happens everywhere now. Land, land dispute between communities is common. It's common. When you get there, all you need to do to make peace is that traditional ruler here, traditional ruler here. Amen. Are, uh, you just get there and say, we arrest you unless uh, this is it. This traditional ruler will go and sit in council with his community. This one will sit in council, everything. You call the youth together, a die down, case in court, when I go start. Police go just there. there. Peacekeeping means the road entering Okuawa community. You go see police checkpoint there. So when you are passing, they say, oh, God, open your booth, let's see. Any person that that is the meaning of peacekeeping. People, life will continue because the community will even like it that you now come to keep peace, not army coming to wipe everybody away and then do what they want to do. That thing you are seeing is high level bunkering that is going on. Later, the, re, the secret will be revealed. The chap who okay. spoke, uh, one chap who spoke this thing, that's why this is the oh, that's CM. that is what yeah. happened in Ogoni land when they have to take on the Ogoni head and yeah. name it. And That's yeah, what exactly yeah, happened. Yeah, you're going to do it before they get to Sarawa. So that is exactly what is what is happening there. So let us not be fooled by all these people not coming out immediately. Military just rush there. What is happening? Okay, what of bit? What of me plateau? Not be here with day, 24, 25th of December, then 28th. Is it not here? Plateau has it stopped? Benue State, people are still in refugee camp in Benue State. Till today. See, today, you know, I told you somebody who called me from Nigeria one day asking me all the time I see you on Niger Watch. Is there nothing that President Tinubu will do that you will give him a pass mark? And I now resolve to tell the person, say, look, oh yeah, pen and paper. Tell Tinubu to come back from UAE, wherever he is. Immediately he comes back, they drive him straight to Benue State. Get him to Benue, he go to refugee camp. He will make pro presidential proclamation similar to what Abraham Lincoln did at the Gettysburg, or called the Gettysburg Address in the city of, in somewhere in a Gettysburg in Pennsylvania in 1850, 16, either, I mean, 1850, 63. I said, Tinubu will say, by the power I have at the CNC, this refugee camp stand closed today. All your chief of army staff, all your battalions, match these people within one week to their respective homes. What that means is that those people that displace them, you now want to send them away. If he does that, leadership is not all about tarry road and giving electricity. Sometimes you have to be humane. Nigeria has no need. There's no need for Nigerians or Nigerians to be in refugee camp for more than two years running now in Benue State. What it, the impact is that there won't be food production because most people are mainly farmers. People displace them from their houses and they've been in refugee camp for two years. That's not their home. I said, if President, if Tinubu could have done this, by, because he has the power, it's the executive power, that these people should be removed from here within one week, you give order, they move. Said if he does that, I know that, yes, he's responsible, that is a president. But they won't. They won't because his hands are tied. The Fulanis are in charge. That's why Erufai is just trying to make money. They said Erufai want to enter SDP. No, you know, they go and he just want to shake body. They are not doing anything. Nigeria is under a very tender hook now. Whether whatever happens in the Niger Delta now coming out, I don't know. But every day the story is developing. There are a lot Mr. of CM. Thank you. You know what? All right. Niger uh, Watch. I need to round up, sir. Quickly. Yeah, you round up. I asked one question. Who are the friends of Nigeria as a country? Is Nigeria a friend to the United States? Russia Question and mark. China only. Russia and answer, China answer. only. Everybody should try and research and answer that question. Russia can and China take, only. Can somebody take the mic from Madam Luke, please? Take it from her. Off the mic, Madam, please. Oh, yeah. Go. <laughs> because people come here to stalk. They don't even know. They look at the fact Dr. CN brought out now. We, we, when we say some of us are ignorant of something, I might be included, but look at the fact he brought out now. You will see what's going to happen in the next one week. They'll start bumping, bringing information out for Nigerians. You will see. So when Nigerians sit down in their comfort zone, start talking about, oh, we want military, military, anybody that will go against our military, you don't know what you are talking. You don't speak fast. You relax and watch and investigate and bring out your what you, you're finding. That is how analysts do work. And that is how we critically analyze issues. That is what PO said. 
We don't have critical thinkers. We only have talkers. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much, my wonderful people. I would like to appreciate you all uh, for your time with us. <laughs> ah, wow. Saturday, I see dragons go six hours. Guy, every day. I want to escape for this six, six hours. No, yeah, Mr. Evans. We, 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 we talk as a weekend now. Weekend now, weekend now. We talk as Mr. Evans, when you yes. started today, you said you are going to close early. I was laughing. You don't know that was the silence before before the storm. The storm. Kai. That's why I be talk. Oh, that's why I be talk. <laughs> yeah? From the beginning, I proposed finishing this broadcast early. I don't tell you say if they bring topic out. No, they talk say you want close early. No, they just don't talk that thing. See the topic yeah. where it bring yeah, out I want, now. We are one car on a go now. We are one car on a go. It's not bad deal. Is that, uh, is Mr. Alex, somebody don't dash you money oh, for your birthday. Oh. <laughs> ah, really? Thank you. Uh, uh, Where uh, say Jesus is Jesus is my father. Eh? What? Really? Thank you so thank much. You, Jesus. Thank you. Jesus you know, is my father. God bless you. Thank you so you know, much. You know, like that what I told you that your time will determine how the topic of the day, how the in public interest uh, test. Let me just put it then at the topic Jesus, of the day. Jesus, my father, I'm grateful. I'm grateful. God bless you. All right. All right. Uh if you are supporting Niger Watch on this platform financially we always appreciate you because uh it's coming directly to us we don't talk about the conditions that surrounds it but if you are supporting somebody on this platform through super chats you know the rules you know by youtube not me you know youtube take 30 percent from all super chat on every youtube channel so I have that in mind though even uh, better gift even better gift yeah, you know, concerned the way that a birthday gift. YouTube, leave my birthday gift now. YouTube, la will always not hear me. YouTube. You so, <laughs> know, concerned the. So no, because there was a time we raised money for somebody on this. I can't remember. Okay, that woman we raised five hundred thousand for, right? I think it was five hundred thousand naira that time. Yes, you know, but unfortunately, all the money raised for her, I gave her everything, forgotten that I, I supposed to. I'm supposed to remove that 30 percent and i ended up paying it by myself but that's fine that's fine but it's good everybody know this everybody are intellectuals here you can do your own research about that youtube collect their percentage they're not the they're not the joke with them uh -huh. you know but that's fine may god bless you all uh for your time with us today i understand this weekend i just uh you know let's let's round up and move on tomorrow you know, I appreciate you all. I understand that uh, some people wanted us to continue, but we get full house. Or what do, should we vote? Should we end the show or we should vote? No, vote. Make Democracy. Make vote. Like vote. a capitalist state. Okay. Aye, God. Even if we Madam. vote, what do we, what do we want to talk now? What do we want to talk? We don't talk tired. Let's, exactly. Let's, let's, ah, allow, no, no, let's, you. let's allow me to say that I was rest. God bless you, Madam. No, I know, no, 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 they, we rest we go here. Ah, for um, once, Madam, look, where, don't support me. Where, where, where they rest? Where, 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 all of us know they rest now. <laughs> Nigeria, they are hospitated. We want to hear. We want to hear more lights from from today, one. Today, where okay. we get, where we get Jonathan, the, Alex, we and Mr. CM. Hold on, hold on. See, see, our marshal, la, we people don't see he don't sleep. Yeah, he they ask for a link for comment session. That yeah, one, no, we ever sleep now. How much on our bed? Go to bed. My man, did that one now. No, 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 great no, no, IHS. I beg, let, let IHS center. I beg, let IHS center. I beg, I beg, I beg, and my brother. Let our man show up. But Elvis, Elvis, you must be, you must praise me and uh, Mr. Uh, Jonathan. We are the one that came in early and kept this platform working until exactly. others came. I know. Eh? Go, 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 bless two of you. Go, bless two of you. So, <laughs> Um, see, let me tell you something. You they ask for a link. Somebody will not ask for a link, don't enter platform. Chooks was be busy. This you don't pass window enter. You don't choose so be busy, don't pass window enter house. My black panther root. My black panther root. In fact. <laughs> <laughs> I the don't, don't go learn, learn how to jump from the window. I don't sell it. I don't know how she goes. You'll be busy, take off here. <laughs> Give at least make we enjoy make we enjoy Chris today. Black yeah. Panther don't not teach me. Not every time. Black Panther don't teach me. <laughs> <Not so. laughs> make, 
<laughs> Make you enjoy Chris today. Man. Kai, man. I felt tell you last say you, una, you guys must understand how to get to this panel in case for late, give, late like this. Give, eh? you know, they ask for link. We don't go via may, the post every second. May, may you pay your tight. I go teach you how to get the link. <laughs> <laughs> they say, they say if right. you want, if you want, if you want, make your we make your stuff no they miss. Make your carry teeth. Take okay. Get All right. Take, what will happen, market. guys? What What will yeah. happen? Um, everybody, you mute yourself, it. please. Let me end this show, and then you guys can continue for the next one or two hours if you want. Since is um, you know, once Oga Chris don't the you know, you know, so Oga Chris. He, he, he always analyze it. They take time, but they talk and they nail and they shook their head. So let me give them. Are they call and silent, silent as a scene? Now I'm the Chris. You go talk as small, small. You go to talk as small, small. You go to hammer you. You go to hammer you. Me, I know, man. I know. I know. <laughs> That's it. I better go put me for God. All right. Okay. Um. You know, I'm not sure I will post the link once I end the show. But you guys, every one of you listening to us, all you just need to do is to refresh and join the new show. Uh, but I'm not going to moderate it. They are going to continue by themselves. But nevertheless, uh, I want to appreciate every one of you that came to the show today on this particular uh, uh, broadcast before we start the other one. I would like to appreciate you, uh, Mr. Jonathan Kingsley, uh, Mr. Ike. You know, that these people that I really start this broadcast with me today. And God, I go bless you, my people. Thank you so much, Brother Luke. Thank you, Black Panther. Thank you, Oga Chris, Mr. Alex, and Mr. Truth so be busy. And God, God bless you, my people. I appreciate you all. And those of you that came in that already left as well, thank you so much. And God, God bless you, man. I want to appreciate, um, I like to quickly appreciate those of you that supported the channel. Love of God is my strength. Thank you very much, Martin Benjamin. Thank you very much. God bless you all. My pocket never run dry. Uh, Oliobi, thank you very much. You did it twice. God bless you. And Jesus is my father. Thank you very much for the support for my brother, Mr. Alex. I really do appreciate you, my dear sister. Now, God, God bless you, my people. Everyone right there on the comment session, if, if you want to join us on the new one, please try to join us. Michael, uh, Michael and Amaro, thank you, sir. Chidima, Chidu, thank you very much. I appreciate you. Mother of all, Mommy Daspora, thank you very much, Mommy. I appreciate you. Mommy Daspora is with us 24 7. That's a wonderful mother uh, that is always there, you know, to see Peking grow. Yeah, thank you, mommy. I appreciate you and I love you so much. Thank you, Mother Iris Finest, for always being there. I appreciate you so much. Uh, Mr. Abu Azi, thank you very much. Madam Martina Abbas UTV was with was with us earlier on. Thank you very much, madam. I appreciate you. I'm not taking none of you for granted. You know, thank you, thank you, thank you. And Tony Amanduke, I can see you, Lily Omonge, thank you. Uh, and many others right there. Although we have not closed. We're going to continue from where we stop. So thank you, thank you, thank you, my wonderful people. Uh, I'm not sure, I just hope, say, because only one spot remain. I hope, say, once we I post that link, you feel grab them because the, the painful part of it is that I don't post them. Another person can use an enter, and you know, comfy enter. He can't pin, you know, because now only one spot remain. He can't pin. As you know, say, me and a person, I know they post me, go give people privately. So, but let's see. If you can cash it up, but nevertheless, I appreciate you all, my people. If you are watching us from those of you watching us on Twitter, I'm gonna continue with you guys. Don't worry, I'll switch it off and switch it back on again for you guys there. Coffee and when I attack with the other day, say I beg switch our own on for us. I will do that. Um, then those of you watching us on Facebook, yes, I'm also gonna do that as well, and various other. Uh, because we are streaming from 10 platforms. So uh, all the platforms, I'll switch all. I'm not going to switch all of them on anymore. Uh, ETV, I'm not going to switch you on anymore. And I'm not going to switch um, NW blog anymore. So you guys can come to Niger Wash. And I don't want to switch all of them on anymore. So just come to Niger Wash. Uh, blog Niger Wash, I'm not going to switch you on anymore as well. So I can see some of you there. So please, come to Niger Wash. Zev against Niger. Uh, I'm a likely switch you on, yes, you know. But let's say I go now, go now, go bless you, my people. Press on the like button before you leave and help us to share. I'll go on this break when I come back. We have switched already. Be like, say now, nepa, nice is like the way to the switch. Thank you, my God.
God bless you, my people. All right. Uh, thank, thank you very much, my people. I appreciate you all. Um, I don't know what happened here, but can anybody hear me at all? You are echoing. You are echoing. Yeah, yeah. but you are coming two times. Like you two times. I can hear you. Like okay. a double voice. Or can you hear me now? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yes, better now, better. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you, my, my wonderful people right there. Okay, I'll leave the platform for you guys now to continue uh, with yourselves, but I'm here listening. In case you want to, uh, you need my attention, let me know. Uh, I'm going to post out a link now for, um, let me post a link now for Mr. Mashallah to come in. I just hope, say, if he grab him. And Mr. Mashallah, please um, bear with me and let me do this one. But uh, you guys can continue with the, the, the topic. I don't know why moderate. And moderate yourself. You don't need to give yourself minutes. Just moderate yourself. Okay, let me, let, me, let, me let me take over for the next few minutes so somebody else can come in. If this is what freedom fighting is all about, this is all this, they, they, they will call it democracy struggle. What Nadeko, I, I don't want to say Nadeko because they have good people in Nadeko too, but unfortunately it has roped all of them. What they did against the military junta from the 80s to the 90s up to now if this is all they can give if, if this is the kind of country they're fighting for the warriors because of this world and the followers of this world for me i'm beginning to have my doubt about the so-called freedom fighters i dissociate myself or disassociate myself with freedom fighters because they've proven to be just the same as the oppressors nothing has changed it's still a continuation of the insecurity of the love, love, lopsidedness of the constitution, the reckless financial rascality that we accuse the, the, the military boys of doing, it's even triple times with those that were struggling, the so-called Nadeko people and the freedom emancipators of the Nigerian people. So for me, it's still on the case of Mr. Falana. I've been angry with him since 2023 presidential elections, because I know how vocal he has been against the oppressiveness of the dictatorial regimes across Africa, even I mean, even across the world. So when I expected him to do, you know, to, to be a spoken, he, he kept quiet. He kept quiet. They, they did not see the images. A woman who was almost blinded. They did not see the burning of shops, houses. A particular tribe was told that they can never, they can never vote yet in the Tios and local government. Did you not hear all those things? Thank God for his son. His son is a different person. Did you not, did his son not brief him about, about the happenings in Nigeria? Mr. Falana, I know you are listening. Were you not there at your puta panel? When Ganifa Wemi was, you know, talking about the struggle and for a better constitution. So all your, all your restructuring, devolution of power, according to you, devolution of powers is one of your favorite, you know, grammatical expression devolution of powers this this is the word you you always use under Buhari's government 
when insecurity was at the apogee or at the zenith? Were you not at spoken there? Were you not calling? Were you not even indirectly supporting the Oduduwa Republic, Mr. Falana? <laughs> of course, when people are eating, you maintain good table manners. You don't talk. So you can't talk again because obviously you are eating. You're eating with your oppressor, just like your friend, Wole Soinka. I'm sure Granny Fawemi will be rolling in his grave. So for me, if, if I'm not talking now, for me, it's just, it's just a, it's a pitiable piece of this man. There's nothing to write to me about that. So I, I would have advised that they didn't struggle against the military. 